Any morning's a good morning to be playing Seven Days to Die. Unfortunately for me, it's already the afternoon. It's quarter past twelve here in Hungary. Wrenches, ratchets, and impact drivers. Yeah, I wish we could go beyond what we have right now. Right, I am weak, I'm infected, I am wet, but I'm alive. Our pathetic little wagey KG held out through the Horde night. And I gotta say, I was pretty impressed with the performance of this. It was very simple, right? Just block up, block up, block up. But when we observed zombies trying to climb up this earlier in the run, we noticed them just kind of jumping up, leapfrogging, which made them excellent for just popping as they came up. Unfortunately, lever action rifle here just didn't have the oomph or the speed to take care of it, although maybe part of that is using my silencer. Uh, problems we need to solve then. Make this better, make this not reliant on one single trapdoor, and also not be here, but I can't not be here until I get this job done. Also I need to treat this infection, and we have no meds for that. I've already run out of honey. Okay, right, well what do we do then? First thing I reckon we do is sort out our hot bar. It's mostly okay. Mostly. I don't think I want that door here anymore. Can I just scrap it down? Yeah, I will scrap you down. Uh, read the books that I have found. Sort this out. Get rid of things that aren't meant to be in my hot bar here. And we have to do one more job for Trader Jen, I believe. Yeah, there we go. We're at uh, 28 out of 30. I need to do a job for Trader Jen so I can unlock opening trade routes with Bob. And then we'll find out where Bob is, which I reckon is rather important information. Good to see that we actually have bullets, but what else are we taking? I want my Dukes back for one. I'd like my shovel. I want my wrench. I'd like my pickaxe. I'd like my actual axe. Cannot remember at all how I normally order these things. Mega crush there for mega emergencies. I'm sure I keep something else here, but God knows what. Mm, yeah, God knows what. Right, as for the rest of the stuff, can we ditch anything and everything? Mostly. Scavenger boots, you say? For scavenger salvage? Did I pick these up in a chest? Sounds like something that might have happened. I do appreciate the extra armor rating. Uh, we're going to be over 5% infection anyway. Let's just live with it. You have an extra modifier slot, so I'm more than happy about that. So let's take off our Clown Shoes mod and install it onto you. Mm, there we go. Should I repair you while we're at it? I rather think so. Might be the best we get for a wee while. Um, 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 um food and meds. Get rid of these seeds for now. I think I just plucked those. Got some stuff I want to sell. I really can't remember what used to be in here. I'm sure I had stones, right? Yeah, but raw stone is no longer on my list. I'm going to need to sell stuff to Trader Gen. Sell all my brass. I don't think I want to sell a full stack of iron, but I can't take it all with me, so I might as well turn it into money. That sounds reasonable enough to me. How much iron is in the forge? None, it's mostly brass. Heck, it's all brass. Alright, give me back that wood. Give me back my anvil. I'll throw the anvil over here for now. And whilst I would like to take the forge with me, I don't want to extract all that brass and that clay. So here's my brilliant idea. We're going to break the forge. Why are we going to break the forge? After we make sure all the stuff is out of it. Because broken forge drops everything in the forge without you having to smelt it. That seems like a pretty big win to me. We're going to be migrating, and we don't have the space for everything, so I'm just trying to part with everything that I can. Everything that I don't mind losing, that is. Other things to sell to Jen. That is entirely too much cloth, but it doesn't sell very well. Sell the mechanical parts. I don't know if she has any more patience for my batteries. I've got a spare double pocket mod. Yeah, but I don't really have spare space for it, do I? No, no, not at all. Um, 
I gotta sell you, I've gotta install you. Those are the best minor blocks I have. Uh, minor gloves, I better keep hold of those. Oh, that's right, I don't want my enforcer glasses back. Don't wanna sell my polymers. I'll need those for setting up more dew collectors. Certainly want my treasure hunter mod back in my face. For now though, let's put you in so I can drink. There are my stones. Mm, I swear there's something missing from my setup here. Hard to remember though. Probably should have reviewed my old footage before jumping back into this, but I did not. Oh well, never mind that. Can of tuna, uh, just chunk it down your throat for now. Yes, I'm aware of that infection just piling up. We'll deal with it in due time. ditch any of this stuff. Uh, just scrap that down. It was probably plant fibers, right? I do like to have plant fibers here as well, considering that it's just stuff you pick up. Yeah, there we go. Right, anything worth selling here before I go-go? I don't usually bother with beer, so I'll just sell that. Certainly want my nasty meats there. <laughs> Intellect mod, hold on to that now. Mmm, that's entirely too many pipes. Let's sell some of that to Jen. I think I'll just sell the helmet light mod. That's not how we operate anymore. We use Sam Fisher night vision, if at all needed. Don't sell that ammo. We need that ammo. But I think I'll sell the robotic sledge. I already have a new better one. Actually, maybe keep it as backup. What if this one breaks? Can they break? Mm, probably. All right, if there's something I'm forgetting, then so be it. But yes, get over to Jen, also find a way to deal with this infection. Also, also, wouldn't mind quite a bit of my building blocks back, but I'm not sure how much time I have to bother with all this, especially knowing that that infection is growing. I need to go out and cut some trees. Also, we need to get our migration done today. I do not want to be here another night. This place is horrible. Now, the desert is going to be more deadly, but at least it's not this horrible, bleak, musicless area. Actually, I think the stuff that's playing right now is meant to be considered the music, but it's just awful. Well, what's playing right now is just generic music, huh? If the sledges break, you repair them, as you do with weapons and repair kits. What if they have the area underneath them fall out? Do they crumble from that? Time for you to stay dead, Voomer. Away you go. Right. Uh, maybe there was more stuff to sell, but that'll do for now. Let's just get moving. Get moving, get the job. Maybe find some trees to cut down for honey. Uh, traders over there. Let's move. Yeah, I suppose getting rid of this infection is something of a priority. Fortunately, we did pick up that steel axe. So chopping down trees shouldn't be too big of a deal. Shouldn't be a deal at all. Also gets us some additional wood that we're probably going to need for a bazillion traps that I want. Yeah, here we go. Dealing with this infection is a bit of a priority. I could just spend my way out of the infection, get some antibiotics off of Jen. But the way I see it, this deals with the infection and gets us some... Very well desired, uh, wood. One big swing, two small swings. One big swing, two small swings. <laughs> the way those ones fall over is just hilarious. One big swing, two small swings. Gets us some coal as well. Also some tree seeds, that could be useful. I do plan on setting up something that resembles an actual base over in the desert. And part of that is ensuring that I have renewable access to wood. Not enough wood, my lord. Quite right. Seldom enough wood. I was curious about this investment into the steel axe. I didn't think it would be all that worthwhile. 
did it anyway, and I have certainly not regretted it. Nice clean numbers when swinging this thing, I like it. One big, two small. I think the honey drop is only 5% chance, so it's not great. But we'll get it eventually. Unfortunately, we need two of them. <laughs> But I could also do with this kind of downtime. It has been entirely too much stress ever since I got here to the Burnt Forest. So it is lovely to just sit back, chop down trees, not be under immense pressure of dying. We drop everything on death. But the real pressure is that we haven't died so far. And I don't want to start now. I think Frostitude just turned around at the last minute there. That cheeky beggar. Okay, I am evidently unable to land a shot today. Very much looking forward to upgrading this spear. It is not performing as we need it to these days. It was a great upgrade when we got it. No doubt about that. But times were much easier back then. We weren't on game stage 100 and something. 119. Okay, this rate I'm going to be needing three honeys, so please start dropping some. Can these burn trees even spawn honey? Yes, they can. I was curious about that myself, so I decided to check, and yes, they do spawn honey. With the book, of course, and we did read the book. There is a specific book that lets you get um, wood out of trees, not just stumps, although the drop rate is lower. Yeah, considerably lower from what we're seeing here. That's right, honey used to be on my uh, on my locked bar of goods. That was one of the things I'm missing here. Is the 5% reduced by the lower loot settings? I don't think so. I'm under the impression that lower loot is specifically loot containers, not drops from things that you mine. Notice that when we salvage cars, we're not getting reduced payloads out of that. Okay, come on, game. Don't make a liar of me. Where's my honey? This wild burnt forest deforestation. Also, it's the time that I'm more concerned about. I don't have time for this. Although perhaps we always have time for wood acquisition. It's starting to feel like the honey is a lie. I think if I clear all these trees and I don't have any, I'm just going to be going over to Trader Gen buying some antibiotics. There's some honey. Hey, we knew it all along. Be sure to drink something when I get the opportunity. A second bit of honey and we're good to go. Ah, not the first drop ever. We had honey back in the pine biome. Alright, don't want to stray too far from my bike in case we end up running to our good friend the feral, so... Let's mosey on over in this direction a bit. Good lord, this is embarrassing. Land your hits, please. So, so many more zombies to deal with. Yeah. 
So how was the game before everything was skill book gated? How were you getting unlocked recipes and such? Were you just grinding out actions? There's our second honey. Alright, done like dinner. No need to spend that money, although we did spend time. And time, as we know, is money. I would like an additional bit of honey for backup. Just takes that one little scrape and then you get another infection. But I'm not willing to grind out tons of trees for that. I think three, four more trees. One. Two. Three. Four more trees. As well as Crispy Jones over there. Ah, oh, let's try these little baby trees as well. Now I'm curious if these things can even drop honey. Those ones certainly wouldn't. All right, I'm out of here. Jen, give me my final job so I can be done with this horror show. I like the do actions to level them the best. Yeah, that feels nice in Rune Factory. Level up your sleeping skill by sleeping. Although in Rune Factory, farming will level up everything. Because the better quality the drop, uh, better quality the crop, the more likely it is to drop just a rune drop, which levels up a random skill. So you could completely level up axe swinging without ever having swung an axe. I suppose one added bonus of doing all that swinging is that our dew collectors are dewier. That's good. We're going to want a lot of murky water where we're going. All right, J -j -j Jen. I must part with my items, take a final job, with the intention to get out of here. Beds, drugs, booze. I got it all. Uh oh. Well, this all looks bad. Give me the clear zombies mission. I need someone who's. I had a good feeling about. Need some relief. Trader Jen's got what you need. You don't know the half of it, Jen. Right. Get rid of that brass. Get rid of the steroids. Uh, get rid, get rid, get rid, get rid, get rid. I know, I know, it's horrible selling off all this stuff, but... Needs must, for you see, we're going to migrate and we have limited space. Might actually buy those vitamins, get rid of this weakness and chow down some nasty sandwiches when I'm back at base. Otherwise, I do like buying that corn. Books are good as well. You know what I completely forgot, as usual, was to wear my sunglasses. Oh, man. I'm sure I have something you'll need. Well, at least I hadn't sold the beer yet. Sell, 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 sell. I just sold all my good bulk items, though. Um, urban combat. Medium and heavy boots have no stamina penalty. And reduced noise when moving. That does sound quite good. Got any good tools, though? Our level 5 ratchet. Boy, that is tempting. Did I have thoughts about getting that previously? Thanks for the business. We're open from dawn to dusk since... You know, we don't have clocks. I can already make a level 6 one. I do have the legendary parts, but that makes me more interested in an impact driver. Which I can already make. And it's not difficult to get these parts, except mortar tool parts. I think I might have some of those, actually. They look familiar. Feeling a little rough around the edges? Do you actually sell mortar tool parts? No. I think I'll hold off on that, cause, uh, considering I could make a better one and even make an impact driver. I believe I have an anvil. I don't think I have advanced bellows. Smelting speed is good. I want that. Yeah, if you're going bo going to Bob, stocking some dukes is one idea. Yeah, but some of these things I do really want. Hmm, still no steel spear. I really need a spear upgrade. And I also want a cement mixer. Ooh, electric fence posts. You know what? I'll be having those. I'd love to start setting up electric fences. Do you have? Do you sell a um, wire thinger? It doesn't look like it. You sell glue. I'm gonna need more glue where I'm going. Hmm. Well, let's not talk about Rune Factory Five. That was not so great.
you know, preacher gloves, got some minor stuff, but I don't like paying for armor. Paying for armor is expensive. Burning shaft, night vision, semi-auto, structural brace. No, I don't think I want any of this. <laughs> Could definitely be tempted by a steel shovel, but no thanks. All right, that'll do me, Jen. Thank you kindly, I think. Vehicle plow. Hmm. Hmm. Tempting, but... Said I was looking at this. You know what? I will take this. I hope you get feeling better. Just love those uh, those passive bonuses. Like so. Hold on, hold on. I didn't sell I everything. My selection. I wanted to get rid of my light, and I think that's it for selling. Unless I sell this excess wood, but I'm gonna want right, that wood. Stay safe out there. I uh, will do my best, Jen. Thank you. Right, we got a job to do. We need to do the job so we can find out where Trader Bob is. We'll pick up these dew collectors once I'm back from the job. Leave Crispy behind. Historically, Rune Factory spin-off games have been a very mixed bag. Did anyone at all like Oceans, aside from the characters? And even then, I don't think the characters were that great. Righto. Just don't uh, don't screw me over. Get this job done. Get the heck out of this horrible biome. This is really close to Jen as well. That's quite handy as well. Um, no, no time for super scrapping. Just hit it. Don't know where the fun loot drop is here. Just know that I've got to kill everybody. I'm all about killing everybody. Hmm. Duct tape and forged steel on that thing. That's pretty good. Hmm, what's in the car? <laughs> Again, I would love to just disassemble the car, but I don't have time. I want to get out of this biome as swiftly as possible. Hmm. I don't think I see where this one's going. Here's Jakey. Oh, hey, there's the loot. Well, more than just the loot. That's a biker with a ton of hit points, so that is actually a feral biker. Meaning I already want some traps set up for when he comes out and has his nasty way with me. And he will have his nasty way with me. Definitely not alone. Jeez. Well, that's careful thinking forward planning paying off right there. Give me that. Can be hard to target loot that's stuck in a trap like that. Harvesting tool, good. Peas, whatever. Ammo, definitely good. To get any reasonable amount of vehicle books, greasy monkey is needed. I'm planning on just buying my way into vehicles. Of course, that does mean I'm going to need a ridiculous... Hmm? Zooming needs less stamina. Good, I think. That's for selling. That's just for drinking right now. Steel two parts, also welcome. And another little box down here. Hold on, were those the motor tool parts I was looking for? Excellent. All right, let's not muck this up. Craft armor-piercing ammunition, I doubt I will. Craft traps, I will likely have to. Well, this is a problem. Guess we are going to have to go in the other way, but at least this part's already cleared. Oops. 
I have been told a few times, in fact, that if you just follow the light, you go through a POI the intended way. But the way I see it, if you give me a game like this, why would I follow the intended way? You know, here's a game where you can... Oh boy. You can just Minecraft your way through problems. Feels like a betrayal of the game to not put that to use. Boy, Erdnot Rex. Genophase has done in his fighting abilities, it looks like. Feral, and I took out the wrong weapon. You're no feral, you're just a fat ass. Ain't that right, fatty fat fat? Yeah, everything being destructible is just so good. Yeah, the only thing I believe is not destructible are the trader posts, and you can mod that out, and the bedrock. Probably better not to mod that out. You fall through the world and cause problems. Okay, I mean, I've got competing feelings, right? I want to loot, but I know I've got to get moving as fast as possible. Pico is a feral. And Pico is dead. Now, I don't know if that's Boku no Pico or if it's Pico from Rune Factory. I did not add most of the names on the names list. I outsourced that. I better hope it's Rune Factory. What are you trying to say? Boku no Pico, such an ancient meme. Predating the usage of the term meme. That's a zombie, and with a health bar like that, it's a feral zombie. It's also a very dead feral zombie. You know, I was under the impression that rifles are going to be a lot louder to use indoors. I don't even have stealth gear or particularly good stealth specking, but it's doing an excellent job. Uh, I am going to need every drop of nasty, nasty meat that I can get, so when I see a corpse like that, I really should be shanking. Did this just go around in a square circle? Yeah, that means I have an upstairs to clear, right? Now I've got a downstairs. How are we cleared downstairs? What is doing? What is doing all of that? Oh boy! <laughs> Feral biker is never not scary. Fast, heavily armored, hits hard. They're just a horror show. Oh, we're still not done here? I don't even know where all those people woke up from. And speaking of all those people, there were other ones. Maybe they died in the traps. Feral bikers are a bane. Still amazed at how good Jake is at handling them after such a short time. Handling them? If you mean just throw down trap and run, then yeah, I'm pretty great at handling a situation.
place is bigger than I thought. I just followed that around, didn't I? What am I missing here? Some cardboard boxes. Ah, uh, some empty cardboard boxes. I think I hit- I missed all of my shots there. There was an attempt. Just not a good enough one. As one would expect from Tyrant Leon, he's too strong for me. Not thrilled at my lack of uh, health though. on the roof a uh, bird. Well, it's not the roof at all, it's uh, in the attic, or attic adjacent. Feral soldier. Similarly bad news. Feral's galore here. Alright. Oh, it wasn't a soldier, it was just the biker. Oh, the biker is never just, just a biker. Alright, I am, I'm feeling messed up here. Should I even go back and check if there was loot worth my time up there? I'll have a quick glance in the attic and then I'm out of here. Now this is the way up. Yeah, the extra XP is uh, severely hurting due to game stage. But we knew that was happening, that was a big part of the reason why I put it in. But my goodness is it hurting, we are not equipped for this. Right, enough of this. I should keep this in mind, the, the McCormick residence, great easy way to get the end of the POI loot. While I'm here though, do you have any corn that isn't dead? That well, looks pretty dead to me. So if I were to start beating this up, I'd get nothing but plant fibers. Half decent plant fibers. But still just plant fibers. Also better to use a bone knife for that. Which I don't have. Alright, get to Jen, get the job done, get loaded up, get out of here. Also... Get to drinking. This being so hard is why it's so good, says Ali. Mm. <laughs> it's fulfilling. I am being fulfilled by this situation. Why did I not carry my first... Oh, I do have first aid on me. Hmm. Hmm. If I don't use that, I might severely regret it, you know, by dying. But let's uh, see what's to be done when I'm back at base. I'm going to eat some nasty old sham sandwiches, most likely, which means I'm going to want to eat the vitamins, eat those, and have something that cures me. Glad I didn't get infected all that being beaten up, though. All right. My dew collectors, give me what little you have. I need to take you. Unfortunately, that requires a land claim block.
Also, I need to take these items back out of you or else I won't be able to pick you up. Land claim block. I can't put it down, but I think that's because it's too close to the trader. Cannot claim the trader lands. At least that's what I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't put them anywhere near the trader. And I think that puts these out of the range. Oh no! Oh no, I can't pick them up! I'm just gonna lose the dew collectors. Ooh, what happens if I just axe them to death? What do I get? A uh, bump kiss. It's fine, they're cheap to build. Yeah, they are relatively cheap to build. Alright, I'll just take that back. It's a polymer cost that's pretty high, but whatever. Okay, lesson learned. Don't build anything too close to the trader. You won't be able to take them back. I did the job, Jen. I did the thing. Oh, good job. I knew you could do it. Yeah, me too. Um, blueberry seeds, grave digger, wood, shotgun weekly. I don't really want any of these things. Uh, give me the shotgun weekly, I suppose. Melee range, nail gun, food, mini bike parts. Yes. Give me the mini bike parts, please. Infected? No problem. Uh, might be a bit of a problem, Jen. Anything worth my time buying out of you before I blow? Anything worth selling you before I blow? Definitely need to keep a lot of this stuff. I just knew you find something you like. Mm-hmm. And yes, I know I forgot to change my glasses again. It's so hard to remember. Let's keep that over there. You should have the special job for me now. You look like the trustworthy type. This is there we go. Work, but I believe you can handle it. There's the get out of the burnt forest mission. Unfortunately, we're going to arrive in the desert and it's already going to be evening time. So it's probably going to be a trepidatious first evening there. Current game stage 121. What'll it be in the desert? Also, what direction do we have to go? Ew, okay, we're taking the long way around. I'm not going back through that wasteland. Not in my current situation. I'm also not going to open up the mini, bar mini bike bundle until we get back home. I need things to be as dense as they can be for traveling. Because we have limited inventory space. Even with my massive inventory space mod, it's still limited. I was trying to look into a way to make it even larger, but I failed. That is a good find. Mailbox is good. Are you a mailbox? Yes, but you're opened. Oh yeah, man, this biome is horrible. It's so bleak, but worst of all, there's just no music. And I would rather like to have some music. Where, where am I going? I'm going here. Oh, I didn't get rid of that land claim block. Right. Oh well, I'll just disable it on my uh, minimap for now. It'll get disabled by me putting down other land claim box anyway. Alright, hello, what's left of my measly base? Um, right. With you, bicycle, I want you to hold on to things that are one slot anyway. Um, take a full stack of wood. I need to read my shotgun weekly. Take my... Gosh, I don't know, is anything here something that's single stacks? Should have sold this mod. Hmm... Hmm... Nothing I can think of that I want to throw in there. Alright, well, know that I can put two more things in there. Also, I do not have time for this nonsense, so please just leave and die. Or die and leave. And I better keep you in case I want to demolish something. And I do. I need to demolish my... 
Uh, not demolish, but take my workshop. You come with me. I wish you could pick up your storage blocks as well, but you cannot. Good day, Jake and Chat. How goes the oppressive difficulty? Oh, it's oppressive, Baron. I'm already half dead from just doing one POI today. But we cured the infection. And, 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 and. Let me chow down these. That way we can satiate our need for food with disgusting sham sandwiches. Whoa, I've only got one? I suppose that's fine. Need to eat other things. There we go, we get health out of the blueberry pie. And it's almost certainly not coming with me. Anything else that gives health? Aloe cream gives health. But aloe cream also makes the good bandages. Make those, please. Right, I need to stock up on stuff that's important. Give me all of my raws and let me consider which of these raws are worth my time. If I have a small stack of something, like these stones, just ditch them. Mm, any small stack of raw materials? Okay, how about food and meds? I certainly don't want those pine cones with me. Uh, the recog can wait. I quite like those painkillers. In fact, why don't I just use my painkillers now? Sure, they need water, but uh, I could do with being healed a bit better. Mm, things like the mushrooms and the meat and the red tea, I don't think that's really worth my time. I should leave behind a bunch of that stuff. Yeah, sadly, a lot of this stuff isn't really worth my time. Rotting flesh I actually do want, because I need that for making my farm, my farming blocks. But couldn't I tighten those up by making them into farm blocks currently? I need to condense as much as I can. Farmer blocks need oh, a nitrate that I don't have. Okay, never mind that then. Harumph. Otherwise, I don't need seeds. We can pick those up as we go. I do like eggs, but i got to be very fussy about what I bring with me. Just chomp that down. Chomp that down as well. Glug, glug, glug. Coffee is good. Good coffee. Alright, consider taking the coffee. I don't think I need those aloe veras. We'll find plenty of those where we're going. Ammo is absolutely yes. Even those shotgun shells, I dream of the day that I... Oops, I dream of the day that I have a shotgun. I don't dream of those buckshots, though, or that single pipe bomb. Right, as much of this as I can gather. Not the campfire, not the bullet casings, maybe the bullet tips, not the grenade. Maybe the farmer outfit and the minor gloves. Double pocket mod? Mmm, I guess so. Definitely you, definitely you, definitely you. All of you, the bones, yes. The cement, the acid, some of the cloth, forged iron, fuel, glue, high-level batteries, gunpowder, leather, legendary parts, other parts, other other parts, kit, anvil, treasure maps, yeah, I guess so, parts, parts, cooking pot, snow, I don't think so, huh, I thought I'd have more stuff to bring, that allows me to be a bit more uh, selective, or a bit less selective even. You know, give me all those pine seeds. Give me my grilled corn, my chilies, my golden rods, my animal fat. God, I almost overlooked that. The ears of corn, coffee beans, hops flowers? I don't think so. You left duct tape in the other box. Oh yeah, don't leave behind duct tape. Give me the extra bandages then, or the cloth. And the bandages, the oil, the springs, the pipes, the nails, even more of that, I suppose. At this rate, I could bring my stones. Ooh, eggs are good. Dream of the day that I make the yucca smoothies? Seems bizarre. Take them anyway, I've got the space. At this, at this stage, I have the space. Might as well just take more. Might as well just take more. Got at the point where I'm taking snow. That seems bizarre. All right, but that that weighs me down a bit too much. Also, that's a suspiciously fast-moving zombie. Oh, 
Why are they all moving so quickly? I didn't agree to this. Wouldn't mind getting a whole bunch of these back as well. Huh, why are so many of them injured? Maybe if I ever want to come back here, removing all these is not a great idea. Oh, my farm blocks! I want those back as well. Could you guys just let me be? Sounds like a no, but I do want my farm blocks back. Those things are expensive to make. Are they more expensive than the time and the oi? Time and the ammo I'm spending to get them though? Unclear. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Move it! Deeply unclear. Jings, after everything, that would be an embarrassing way to go. on steel pickaxe don't cancel that that's better than what I have must remove all attachments okay Okay, now I'm fuller than fool, but I want my farm blocks back still. Uh, take that, since it takes up a whole space on its own. Same with that thing. There we go. Heavily overburdened. Heavily. So it's not going to be a good time to be back in our location. Or, yeah, what am I trying to say? When we get... To our location, times will be bad. That's what I'm saying. I want those farm blocks. <laughs> Goodbye, horrible. Pretty much not a POI. Okay, I need to actually make a path around here. Get to there and follow the road through the pine forest. I think I'll be spending more than just five days in the desert. I need some time to actually make an economy. Uh, wait a second. Uh, there we go. Setting out at almost 7pm, a bold choice. Yeah, well, I'm lacking good alternatives. I would not get rid of all of my iron. God, I even took my bucket with me. Also, how am I on wood? Where is my wood? There we go, good, good wood. Because I'll need to find somewhere, set up a storage box, and call it home for the for a wee while. Yeah, first night's going to be a doozy. Where do we go? We're not going to have time to clear anything, surely. Mm -hmm. I'm also very unhappy with my current health. 
I should pop some more painkillers just to get my health back up. I'm not wearing the water purifier mod, but I think it's important not to be in the I'm about to die range. Alright, take a stop. Chug those painkillers. Thinking about it, chug both the painkillers. Uh, actually, maybe that'll do us just fine. I should drink something nice, though, like you. There we go. I'll just be so happy to not be in the burnt forest biome anymore. So horrible to look at. Who wants to see any of this? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. This is not as simple as I made it seem. Whew. That's good. Because of my over-encumbrance and the goods in the bike, simply picking it up and moving it's not much of an option. I'll take the longer way around since it avoids going to the wasteland. The wasteland has landmines, wasteland has terrifying zombies, wasteland has vultures everywhere. I know the burned biome is a historical part of seven days, but I liked when they removed it. They did not need it back. It's one thing for them to constantly change the game during development, but it seems schizophrenic the amount that they've apparently brought out and then put back in. And why is that? Do they have different people coming and going on the development team? Anyway, I hate this biome. Maybe they should just improve it. Just add some music. Add some color. Then maybe it wouldn't be the burnt biome, huh? In my eyes, it's just the biome that I will always avoid when playing in the future. And if I ever generate a map, I'll make burnt forest the smallest possible size. I like the winter biome, I like the desert biome, I like pine forest. Wasteland, eh. Wasteland has a bit of the problem that burnt forest has. Except there's also this constant smog everywhere. I don't think I'll want to spend much time in the wasteland, but once I get that far, I plan on changing the game so that the wasteland modifier to difficulty applies to all biomes. That way I don't need to feel so bad about hanging out in lesser biomes in terms of difficulty. There's a console setting to remove fog and weather. It makes it much more tolerable. Why am I in the wasteland? Oh, I didn't, I didn't follow the right route. Get over there, get through this as soon as possible. Oh no, I like the I like the snow. Very cozy feeling. I knew it. I knew it. Zombie vultures also get the bonus from my spawn mod. For extra fun. Fun with a capital F U birds. Now that has told everybody I'm here, so let's get moving. Hello, bear. Goodbye, bear. I like the weather, it makes it more realistic. Almost never find realism to be a good argument for things that are good to have in a video game. Immersive, perhaps. Yeah, the wasteland also doesn't have any music, does it? It just has these ambient sounds. I'm probably gonna hate being here. But I'm almost not in here anymore. In fact, let's just biome switch as swiftly as possible into Pine Forest. Uh, no, there's no space in my inventory for hacking you apart. Mm, no, there would have been. Rotting meat. I don't think birds have animal fat, but rotting meat is always welcome. Nice wheelie. Wasteland has a good few creepy noises. Yeah, I'd just rather have a bit of music going on.
All right, that's more or less the direction I want to go to, so let's go. Should I stop by Wrecked for any reason? Looking at the 9,000 Dukes I've got, maybe. Let's go and see Wrecked for old time's sake. What would I hope that he has? High level steel spear would be nice. Finally upgrade my ability to do melee damage. I don't think I'd buy an impact driver now that I'm able to make one. I just got myself a steel pickaxe. What are the other big upgrades I'm looking for? Cement mixer, of course. That alone is a reason to go and see Wrecked. If he has a cement mixer and I can finally cementify my defenses, that would be good. My good friend, Wrecked. No, I don't think there's any kind of Walkman or similar sound playing device in the game. Eh, Yucca smoothie, another Mega Crush. Do you like Mega Crushes? Let's remember to wear the glasses this time. You're welcome here if you shut the mess you're paying. You're leaving. Don't think I have a lot to sell, but what's interesting to me is what you sell. Hmm, <laughs> honey. Iron sledgehammer. Machete, tactical assault rifle, pump shotgun, a little tempting, but he's not selling me a steel spear, so never mind that. Iron pickaxe at high level, but we just got a steel pickaxe. He does sell an impact driver, and it's quite high level. Ooh. Ooh, now, I just said I wouldn't buy one, but now that I've seen it, I'm a little tempted. I can afford it. Pump shotgun's pretty damn good. Yeah, but it's pretty damn expensive, isn't it? Pump shotgun for 9,500. If I buy that, it comes at the expense of everything else. 180 a blast? Yeah. Be a long time since I make anything, until I make anything like that, but I'd rather have the, uh, the AA-12, or discount AA-12. Ooh, acid from cars. Yeah. Yeah, give me that. Man, I treat you that good, and you don't even. Well, look who decided to show their face again. Acid can be a royal pain. Crafting cigars. Oh man, I also want that. But don't I already have a cigar? Yeah, I do. Craft the axe modification. No, I don't think so. Robotics, assault rifle, medicine, clubs, harvesting, harvesting tool, crafting. I could do with that, actually. Don't get rid of the sewing kits. Get rid of these lead batteries, though. They're worth dosh, after all. Hmm. I have a lot of motor tool parts, so making my own impact driver is totally within the realms of possibility, but it's only level one. You hungry or something? Sell the turrets? No way. No way. I'm keeping these robotic sledges. Still eyeing up that impact driver. I want it. I want it a lot. And I've just gone and bought it. Which means I no longer need this wrench. Thank you very much, and now you can go fuck yourself. I'm nasty, nasty man. Uh, out you come, out you come. Switch impact driver with you. Impact driver gets the mods itself. Anything just to make the thing super swole. What the hell do you want this time? I want to sell you something. Calm down. Actually, I better scrapping the wrench, right? No, not if it just scraps to iron like that. Don't think I have anything else to sell, and I just spent all my money. So oh, thank you, Rekt. Well, maybe you should try Shamway. Tells me that I better repair this thing, but now I'm out of repair kits. Can I make any more repair kits? Because I'm going to need those. Yeah, give me four of them, please. I know I'm short on duct tape. Speaking of duct tape, I need a ton of this stuff, so just make me a whole bunch, please. All right. That is nice, but life is still bad. Life is bad because life here is about to get quite dangerous. And I'm still on the move. I've still got a 1.5k to cover. Goodbye, Monsoon. Goodbye, Wrecked. Let's go. Uh, where are we going? 
Not that way, that's for damn sure. Just cut more directly towards it. Where am I going to set up in the desert? I've got no idea. I need to have one very quiet, undisturbed night in the desert. At night time, there's going to be all those Speedy Gonzales zombies out to get me. I think I'll fill wreck places up with screamers next time I play. I have an idea for that, Kane. And I want to try it in the desert. Not that Bob deserves such nasty treatment, but I have a cunning plan, maybe. Isn't the desert very shy on trees? That's why I brought a bunch of pine cones with me. I think trees grow a little slower in the desert. It mentions as such in the description. They prefer more fertile ground. Well, hopefully that's not a problem. Because I can put them into farming blocks. If I get enough farming blocks, I could just make a little forest. Or I could not care how long they take to grow and just plant loads of them anyway. Should be enough. Plus you have tons of wood. Yeah, but I think I want about uh, an infinite number of wooden spike traps. See, spike traps I used to look down on because you don't get experience from them. Now I look up to spike traps because you don't get experience from them. Not getting experience suddenly quite useful on this run. Okay, okay. So we're going to find Bob, but we won't have enough time to interact with Bob, I reckon. And even if I can, that's not of much help. What am I going to do? Just ride my bike all evening? Whilst nasty zombies try and chase me down? Maybe I'll make an incredibly poor uh, elevated station to uh, cower atop of through the evening. Mm, just look at all that sources of yucca. Was that house on a hill POI? Oh, back there? Unsure. Just trying to get to Bob as quickly as I can. Maybe I can make it before sundown. Ah, crap. And double crap. Maybe up there. Maybe just uh, hold out on top of the billboard. Trader Bob's is now closed. I've got one wheel down and the axle dragging. Not what I need. There we go. Right, well, life feels dangerous now. Very dangerous. Hang on, what's that? Is that Bob's? No, I think that is Bob's. All right, cowering atop a billboard it is. That thing looks very fragile, though. Where else can I go? I should not have come here. Not like this. I even know what there is to go to. I could just hug the side of Bob's. <laughs> After all, this is indestructible barbed wire. Hmm, probably better to sit on full hit points. Saving a few bandages and wood is not worth the vulture hassle. Yeah, but I don't have a lot of bandages. Or anything else for that matter. Quite a few zombies hanging around over there and everywhere. I can, I can feel my visibility rolling around on that thing. Oh, that's true. There are aloe plants. I don't know what they look like, but I should probably learn that. Seems like vital desert survival information. Say absolutely no to those things. They don't know I'm here. I'm all sneaky like. If 
Barrel. This is a bad, bad time to be over encumbered. When is it not? All right, life is bad. Hmm. Life is very bad. Let's get rid of that. I'm a little curious about this thing, though. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh god, more than Jesus. See what it's saying about the health, huh? The water needs at bay. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy. What am I meant to do? Where my good top for one? They're everywhere. Maybe place down a box by the trader and get lighter. Ugh, it would only make me three lighter at this point. Oh man, they know I'm here. I think they heard me interact with the bike, actually. That was interesting. feel so vulnerable out here. I should have got here maybe two hours earlier, claimed a POI, at least have a roof to stand on. This is a roof to stand on. Doesn't look like a, an easy picking though. No, it's a four skull white residence. The right residence. Hmm. Ride, Jake. Ride like the wind. Riding all night just to not have to deal with zombies. Oh, by the way, game stage. Game stage 121 here. Hang on, isn't that the same as what we had over in the burnt forest? Why didn't it go up here? Don't know what to make of that. We're very frightened here. This is definitely the 8x zombie mod coming to its own, though. No way, no how would we be seeing all these zombies normally. Right, how sturdy is this thing? Not very. Am I willing to cower up there anyway? Maybe. Some good cowering. 
<laughs> when I just watch these things all night? That's going to be a long 20 minutes. Yeah, I know, easy to break your legs when you fall down here, but I think you can still ride a bike fine with a broken leg. Also, how do I get down? Those suspended ladders don't look useful for me. Yeah, the problem with sniping zombies is they are surprisingly good at knowing where that sniping came from. Also, I have no scope. And I've wanted a scope for a long time. Oh, I didn't check the traders for a scope. Alright, well, Bob. I should have checked wrecked for a scope. A scope would have beaten impact driver. Impact driver is great, but... Uh, doesn't keep me alive. Just makes me richer. Alright, well, this is so tense that I need to take a water break. So I will be back momentarily. Ah, uh, okay. I shall forever remember my first night since seven days to die, cowering in a random POI through the night in fear, says Wombat. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, oh, God, what am I doing? I wanted to aim, not power attack into this. Don't like that they keep coming towards me. Did I keep my stones? I don't think I did. Did I keep my snow? I also don't think I did. If I had stones or snow, I could throw it to distract the zombies, but I have neither. Hmm. At least I have food and water for the evening. Hang on, I do have stones right here. It's not a great trade, but... I think they're running over to where I threw that stone. Except for this guy. There we go, get out of here. Did I keep that Molotov? Oh, Christ. Mistakes are absolutely made. This thing is going down. I got more of those, right?
Mm. Oh boy. My bike is stuck on all this, isn't it? Maybe. Move! Oh, Christ. And this is why we have things like Mega Crush. Run like the wind. Abrasion or no abrasion. <sighs> if I got anything, it's going to give me a decent amount of health back. Well, I got my first aid kit. I'd rather not use that. That is for Big Pinch. Flamethrower is another thing, and fire is just horribly weak in this game. It's very sad to see. But that was nasty. I threw that well over, right? Mm. Oh well, game disagrees, and the game is the arbiter. If I fire this weapon, they'll all come running. This is actually where I kind of wish I had a bow. Uh, yeah, a bow. Absolutely silent attacks. Can't you climb a tree? Yeah, not really. I should be very grateful for my Sam Fisher vision. Being able to see them before they see me has helped me out rather a lot in this whole campaign. <laughs> Dig your way down to the other side of the earth? Digging my way down is not the world's worst idea anyway. Looks like they don't like to shuffle their way up little hill areas like this. Perhaps my real absolution is the world's crummiest little base. There we go. They'll never get me up here. And I'll be able to see them coming. Brilliant. How do I make aloe vera? Because I think I have some cloth bandages on me. Yeah, I got two. I just need aloe cream. Aloe cream needs aloe vera. What do the aloe vera plants look like, though? Hey, a chicken. Oh god, zombies. Is that an aloe plant? No, that's a yucca plant. It's coming unpleasantly close to me. Don't do that. I think I heard that stone. Hear this stone then. Huh. 
All right, aloe plant. Where's an aloe plant? Small with big thick leaves and spiky edges, thank you. Small with big thick leaves. Like these? No, it's just grass. And that is yucca, I'm sure. Yeah. Nighttime danger horticulture. Can't believe I'm scrapping these for stones, but I'm kind of in dire need of distraction for things around me. You're almost at. Ooh, look at that aloe vera plant. I should have looked at it for longer and made a mental note of what it looked like. But I didn't, eh? And now I've already forgotten. It's pretty good. Pretty good the way that works. These look like aloe vera plants. Good, 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 good. Goodness, yes, if I knew this was my life, I would have actually invested in a boat. Don't like creepy zombies like that. Going to immediately use this just so that I don't get harassed by the uh, the crows. Where did it go? I'm sure, it's in my inventory somewhere. There we go. What a miserable first night in the desert. Still better than being in the burnt forest, though. Is that a sandstorm rolling in? Maybe just a breeze. One thing I am going to actually need is a bedroll. Mm, maybe not now. I was thinking about putting it down to try and prevent some zombie spawns right now, but the zombies are already here. That's a bunch of aloe plant over there? No. Just normal spiky looking desert grass. What about this little sucker? More yucca. My bicycle being compromised adds a whole nother level of horror to this. At least with a bike, I can out pedal the zombies. They are closing in on me. Mm -hmm. Any base locations picked out? I have only just arrived in the desert. 
Wish I could make Trader Bob's my base. At least that's invincible. All right, one more hour of sitting on my thumb out here. And daylight will arrive and the zombies get a lot less frightening. The ferals are, of course, always frightening, but the regular zombies will no longer be Speedy Gonzales. Don't be here. Be over there. And you guys be over there. Can't believe how much that Molotov cost me. Well, I can believe it. It did happen. There we go, that stone seems to have made those fannying about zombies go away. it. I need, I need to actually put a bit of time into thinking, what am I going to do come daytime? I'm going to see Bob, of course. I don't have any money for Bob, but maybe I could be convinced to part with some of my valuables if he has something amazing. What would be amazing? I don't know yet. A steel spear would be amazing. I wouldn't settle for a higher tier iron spear. I want steel spear. Because with our low, low level of technology, we really can't make these kinds of goods. We're getting there in some of them, but overall, our tech just isn't there. The low loot settings cripple research. I didn't know you could throw rocks, lol. Uh, throwing rocks and throwing snowballs distracts zombies. See that zombie? I don't want him to be there, so let's make him not be there. He hears the stone, he runs for the stone. So does one of his friends. Ooh, boy, you guys go away as well, please. It's one of those long, dark moments when you have almost nothing. you got to squeeze the blood out of every stone. What have we here? Ranger gloves, lever action damage and medium armor. You know, that's not bad. That is not bad. What are my current gloves anyway? Primitive gloves, that's probably a good step up. Do not be coming closer to me. Go and investigate that stone. Can you trigger landmines with stones? I've never tried that. Landmines have never been my problem. Uh oh, uh oh, you've got to not be there, lady. There we go. Another half an hour of this shenanigan. And we'll be moving on. I'll be going back, getting my bike, seeing Bob. All will be well. Still like more aloe vera, obviously. Hello, aloe vera. Hello, aloe vera. Oh, you know what that means. That means aloe vera cream. And that means bandage. You know, I should probably start favoriting some of these things. Takes a bit to make that, huh? I should start favoriting these so that I can get them quickly in a pickle. And heavens knows we've been in a fair few pickles. Already. I'm not even on full health. Come on, what's going on here? Keeps telling me I can make the bandoulie if only I had the schematic. 
quite like the faster reload. Don't want to sleep on that again. Especially since having to reload my lever action is what's often costing me these hits. Don't be here, be there. Another bit of nasty old garbage for me. And nasty old garbage is still stuff. You can make something happen with something, you just can't make something happen with nothing. Alright. Night time is gone, times are much less spooky. I have far less of an issue just clearing out zombies now. Knowing that they're not going to be ultra sprinting their way towards me. I swear their senses are better at night as well, but that could be just imagining that. One shot, three reloads. Alright, get back my bicycle, please. Yeah, sweet, sweet sunlight. And it is so sweet. Uh, also makes spotting aloe vera that bit easier, huh? But yes, most of all, just not having to be afraid of random zombies is great. At least until random zombies start including a lot more ferals and glowy zombies. We don't like the glowies. Don't really have space for impact drivering these cars. I need to ditch my stuff. But I might do exactly that. Maybe I could just set up base right next to the trader. Build my own base rather than take over an existing POI. That is increasing in promise. Because it looks like there are plenty of buildings around. So it wouldn't be far to go for looting. And correct me if I'm incorrect, but zombies do not spawn on blocks that you have placed. Oh, where's my bike? Let's mine you out of this. Can't believe my lack of bunny hopping skills cost me so badly during the meltdown earlier. But I'm alive, my bike is alive. Our character must be knackered. You know, you know when you're up all night doing unpleasant things? You just feel so grotty in the morning. Usually after, say, taking a long distance flight. Ugh. Don't know what, if anything, I'm going to want to take off my bike for you, Bob, but let's have all of our options at our fingertips. Are you an option? Bye, Riku. You will not be missed. Not by me, at least. Right, fits in the box. Nothing that I want to sell. Actually, I want to sell that improved fitting mods. Sold improved fittings. And I want to pop open the mini, bar mini bike bundle. Handlebars. More parts. Yeah, we've got the handlebars, but not the chassis. And I sincerely doubt I can build the mini bike chassis. No, I'm 10 levels off. Which is quite a bit, but it's not that bad. All right, we made it. Also, I have no space for the reward, right? No, I got one space for a reward. Good enough. Hey, my favorite customer. What are you fixing today? That's the first time I'm here, Bob. Well, hot dog. Let's shoot out the lights. Good work. Crafting seal, absolutely, please. You got any jobs while I'm here? Fetch quests at tier three. Sign me up. Sign me up, Buttercup. I should have some work. If you keep your gun saddle old, then I'll be double double. You're tighter than a tick. Right, there we go. Here's what I've got. Mini bike chassis. Mini bike entirely. But the chassis should be better, I right? For losing. Unless I don't have the tech to make a mini bike. But no, I do. Wheel, chassis, handlebar, engine, bar, battery. Yes, yeah, so I absolutely want that chassis. But I have a couple of days to pick it up. What else do you have? 
Tripwire, Lantern, yeah. Die, Ergonomic, Cigar, the good armor placing mod on the cheap as well. I would really like more tarps, more gatherers for more water. Yeah, always on the lookout for a scope, but I don't see a scope here. Steel Spear, level 3, 4 grand. Um, more or less doubles the damage output, so that's very much something that I want. Compound bow as well, very cool. Vehicles, sharp sticks, yeah, I want a lot of what you have, but I don't have money. So what I need to do is triage my goods, destroy cars, uh, get money, get rich, buy his stuff. Yeah, one day to make 8k, that should be easy, just destroy cars. Anyway, like I said, I need space, uh, but I don't want to sell a lot of what I have. Get rid of that improved fittings mod for sure. But I don't think much of this, if any of this, I'm actually looking to sell. I'd rather sell you the higher tier car batteries. Yeah, no, this stuff ain't for sell. Uh, ain't for sale. You can't beat that with a stick. He's also got stuff to loot around here, but I need to ditch a lot of my stuff. So how are we going about doing that? How are we going about doing that? Hmm. Is there an exit to your wee home up here? So yeah, I actually like the idea of just setting up base next to Bob. Don't like the idea of there already being a bajillion zombies out here, though. Yeah, look at it. There's stuff over there. A proper city? I don't know, but certainly enough buildings keep me busy for a while. Now we learned our lesson about building too close to Bob. We can't pick things back up if we do that. So let's maybe just set up this area here as our industry. Sure. Sure. How am I going to start that? Didn't think that far now, did I? Um... Land claim block will help out to begin with. Ugh, got so much stuff. Um, no, no, oh, right, I barely have space for it, but yes. Land claim block, which I can't even have because I lack the stones. What a world. Is this full of stone? No, it's full of sand. You're a stone. Is that enough for a land claim block? No, I need one more stone. I'll just take that stone if you don't mind. Craft that land claim block and find a good central location for it where it actually fits. So it needs to be valid, but as close to Bob as possible. So somewhere like here. All right, there we go. This is my land now. And I think what I'd like to do is dig out one layer of topsoil and then put down my own flooring here. It doesn't need to be good level flooring, just flooring, and I have hundreds of that. Okay, I'm not injured, so I don't think I need to fear the, uh, the traveling birds. So from this land claim block, we shall build out our base. Now again, I'm not good at base design in this game. I just like building what comes to mind, and if it survives, great. If it doesn't, then too bad. And to be clear, this is my industry. We will probably do horde-related stuff on the flank of Bob's over there. But this will be the start of our industrial empire. I actually wouldn't mind doing stuff on the ground floor this time. Last time I built up. And whilst I think building up is a great idea, I would like to avoid doing that this time. Just see what I can do on the ground floor. If that means I have to dig down to make traps, so be it. But actually, my ideal defense around my industrial zone is just a, a lot of spike traps. Building down is also an option. See, I've wondered about that. When you are up high or down low, does that also stop the zombies from hearing you? Do they actually calculate the distance to where you are up and down as well in terms of hearing you? 
Maybe you can be nice and quiet by doing a lot of things underground, and then you're only at the risk of the witches finding you from... Uh, not witches. The screamers. Do not know. The range is 30 blocks, so you'd go very far. Yeah. Poor Bob can't win for losing. Alright, it's not much, but it's almost a start. I will probably take my time here in the desert place and actually build a, a base. So I won't migrate after the first blood moon. The migration sounded great on paper, but it's been so unbelievably stressful. I actually want to finally build a bleeding base. Right, uh, if I'm going to be building bases, I'm going to be needing some storage crates. Not iron, not steel, just wood for now, please. Is that a zombie? Sure was. Four unspelt, unspent skill points. I need to... Oh, Christ. What? <laughs> what did you do? Maybe I will need to upgrade the flooring a touch. Glasses, Jake. Ah, you're right. Switching those out is such a bother. I wish you could just constantly augment one bit of... Um, one bit of armor. Yeah, it's not surprising that these crummy plywood blocks don't last so long, but still. Did he swipe at that? Because I landed all my shots. For every shot ahead. I found myself building a floating craft base to cancel out annoying screamers. Yeah, I want to build bases that actually feel like bases, though. I have seen some floating base cheese, which I wasn't too keen on. If I was going to have a base that was suspended, I'd like to actually have some reasonable looking suspension built for it. Not just a suspension of disbelief. Yeah, I think I might actually build up all the way to the edge of this so that I know that zombies aren't going to spawn on all of this. Don't know what that's going to do for crows though, uh, vultures rather. But yes, there's a base in the making here, that's for sure. Alright, how about those storage boxes? I need them. Where'd they go? Ah, jeez, how do I even start this stuff? Storage, 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 storage. Meds. Uh, ingredients. Food and drink. Ingredients include seeds. So maybe I should say ingredients and seeds. That looks ugly. Thank you, center justification. Uh, ingredient, 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 ingredient. Food and drink, food and drink. You are a seed. You are a seed as well. You're an ingredient. All right, good enough. I'm gonna want to. Uh, divvy out my raws a bit better, but for now it's just raws, uh, crafting ingredients, 
and ammo. Right. These rolls I like to keep on me. Same with the wood if I had any. Where's my wood? Right. Raw wood. Bones aren't that raw. Soil is raw. Hmm. You know what, maybe I should start with crafting ingredients. We've got a ton of those. Bucket is a crafting ingredient. That's a trap. I'll need a trap one as well. Maybe I do need a couple more storage boxes. Uh, that's ammo. That's also ammo. That's also ammo. That's also ammo. That's armor stuff. Crafting, crafting, raw, crafting, 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 raw, crafting, 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 raw, raw, crafting, 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 raw, crafting, crafting, keep, absolutely keep, crafting, food and meds, Crafting, let's crack that thing open. Salvage tools, armor crafting, electricaling, miscellaneous. Okay, and you go then. Crafting, 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 kind of. Raw, 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 raw. Your boat, gently down the stream. You will be armor. I speak the king's English, so my armor has a U in it. Ooh, I'm running a bit low on the old 762s. Hmm. Wait, is this armor or ammo? It's armor. What am I doing? Get the armor, get the armor, 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 armor. I'll have a separate one for mods later on. Hmm. Aloe vera is kind of meds. That's kind of meds as well. Ammo, 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 ammo. Traps go with ammo for now. Sand is a raw. And there we go. An inventory. An inventory to be somewhat proud of. Those are treated as ammo for now. Guess I'm all right with having all this stuff out, although I do want my wooden stones. Wood and gosh, if I could just chuck one stone in there so that all the stones I pick up get lodged in there. And is there another stone with my name on it? There's a whole heap of stones with my name on it right here. Feels good mining. It's going to feel even better if I get some proper mining gear. All right, good enough. I'll have to modify these things. Actually, that's a good enough reason to put down a mods chest already, isn't it? All right, where were those mods at? Mod, mod, mod. Mods. Soon I'll want a weapons mod and an armor's mod, but for now, just mods, 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 mods. Really want to extend this out a lot. I might not even do any looting today. It's just... Uh, Build up something to survive on. Zhang Hei. Stick to racing. Alright, so as I was saying, that rolls, I want a single stone in there. Because I like to keep stones. Since it's something I always dig up, I like to have them locked into my inventory. Less so with the iron. And then when I just hit this button, triage stuff. I'm also going to want to do farming here. Maybe farming on the more edge part of all of this. Then again, I really want those goods, don't I? Hmm, catch-22 here. What should I do? Maybe dig out the perimeter and put up all those spike traps. Yes, I think I'll do exactly that. Uh, helps if I know my directions. Trader restocks tomorrow. Might not loot enough to get those steel goodies. Oh, it's tomorrow. Oh, crumbs, right? I need to put my foot down then, huh? Still want to dig out my perimeter, though. Then again, the whole point of digging out the perimeter is putting down a bajillion traps, right? Um, wooden spike trap. How many can I make? 
kind of good, but is it good enough? Make me 200 of them, please. I've got some get out of jail free card, Mega Crush, at least I'm starting with that. Surprisingly hard to dig in a straight line in this game. Because when you dig out soil, it actually creates a, a rotated 90 degree square. How about somewhere to hide overnight? This is kind of where I plan to hide overnight. I know it's my industrial area, but... Um, actually, no, I might might actually clear out one POI and cower there through the night. But do not be surprised if my entire plan for Horde Night is to just cower on a roof somewhere with a backup roof cowering location. I don't think I have the time to set up anything resembling a defense. I'm trying to get my economy moving instead. This is where some wise Alex says, isn't it your plan every night? It's my backup plan every night, but now it might finally be my primary plan. Having a bit of a trench outside of this seems kind of good as well, but anyway. Um, looking fine. I guess for now I'll lock you in. Ditch things. Be gone. Be super gone. Where'd I leave my bike? I think I left my bike with Bob. My bike still has goodies in it. Nice kick flip in there. Right, what you got? Give me approximately all of that, please. It's all kind of mods, so I just leave that over there. Uh, the wood. The wood can go to somewhere else. There we go. Let's trash some vehicles and make some money. We already saw some. Put it to good use. Can I ride over this without taking bike damage? I wonder. The longer you stay in the desert, it might be worth trying to figure out a base that you can build with a stack of blocks when you move. I think once I do the, f the the winter place in the wasteland, I'll probably be coming back to the desert for keeps. I quite like the desert. I like the desert and I like the winter place, but I might like the desert more. Unsure. Oh man, look at that! I think it's about three times the strength of my level five wrench. But yes, we are going to be scrapping cars. Even these burnt out ones. In fact, can I do one, two, three? Oh, so close. But I can do one, two, three. Lovely. So we're going to be doing this as much as we can, as safely as we can. And then get that upgraded steel spear. Was there anything else, by the way, that I was looking at in the shop? I know the steel spear is a high priority, but wasn't there something else? Mm, nothing comes to mind, but my memory is terrible. Mm, more cars. If I can get cars for free, we take cars for free. The shotgun? Uh, do I even want the shotgun, though? Did it have a scope? Did we check for a scope? No, I'm pretty sure we did check for a scope and didn't see one. Gosh, a lot of trashed cars around here. The trashed cars, of course, don't have the best loot, but... Look at that. I still give the radiators. And whilst I would love to smelt the radiators, we're just going to be scrapping them for now. Cars are plenty. These cars don't respawn, so they're a good... Uh... Well, actually, respawning cars would be the better thing to prioritize, but we're nowhere near POIs right now.
The chassis, of course. The minibike chassis. Okay, so there's a lot of things that I want Dosh for then. Hmm, we've been fortunate getting so far without trouble. That ends now. Boy, I would love, love, love having a scope. I'd love not taking damage, because of course that's going to make the wildlife want a piece of me, huh? Clearing the road makes driving through it easier later on. It's well worth it. That's not even a consideration here. It's just a case of, I want these goodies. Hell, I need these goodies. Lovely radiators, but no space to start tearing them apart. Maybe that's a higher priority than doing that right now. How many different biomes are there in this game? There are five. Wasteland, Pine Forest, Burnt Forest, Desert, and Snow. We've had our five fine days in the Pine Forest, our five miserable days in the Burnt Forest. And now we are probably going to have more than five days here in the desert. Let's go check this direction for vehicles. The game does not have very good draw distance on parts like that. Also, strangely enough, roadkill is a good priority because I want the disgusting meat out of them. That disgusting meat equals... Yeah, look at that car just fade in there, and I'm pretty sure I've got my level of detail stuff maxed out. Um... Yeah, that nasty meat will be used for farm blocks, and I do plan on setting up some proper farming here. All those goods. Mmm. Look at that, even more stuff going on there. The desert looks like it's going to be rife with stuff for me to check out. Or is that one big POI? No, it looked like a bunch of POIs. Is the biome a self-challenge or a useful tactic? It's just something I want to do for fun. Because last time I played, I almost exclusively hung out in the pine forest, so I wanted to spend some time in other biomes. But I think I might have stacked the difficulty a little too high in insisting that I... Hello! Oh, damn, it's made of iron. I thought that was made of steel. Got too excited. Anyway, it's better than what I have right now, so... Out you go. In you go. Give me the rest of the stuff. Let me tear this apart. Ah, oh, man. That would have been such a find. Take that out. Is this worth selling or is it just worth scrapping? Well, I don't have space for scrapping anyway. Uh, take that, modify it with the tempered blade. Extra slot, although I think the other one had it anyway. No, Lyrico, cease your crawling towards me. Also, a nice reminder that I have five staggering skill points to spend, but not enough time to think about spending them. There is scrapping to be done. I need that money. Well, I want that money. Need is a relative state of being. Those things actually give polymer. Not a bad thing to scrap. Yeah, there are cars all over in the wasteland, but aren't they very much burnt out in the wasteland? Sorry, coyote. No free meal for you today. Although it might disagree. Well, maybe I'm the one to think that you're the free meal. Is it coming? Stay away from that. The zombies love to eat your kills, but that food and animal fat belongs to me. 
Cybertron and all of its minions belong to me. Should I take stock in how much that I've got out of selling this nonsense? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> all those crawling zombies in there. Somebody was telling me that they jumped into one of those uh, trailers that's being pulled by this car for cover one time, only to find all the crawling zombies. Apparently it spooked them bad. I was amused greatly by that story, so thank you for sharing. I, on the other hand... Well, I wanted to grab the goodies in there rather than having to deal with these things, but... Seems like it doesn't want to target. Right, on the lookout for cars. We don't even care about the POIs. Well, except for insofar as they have vehicles. Like you. Although if I find a POI and I know that it has an extremely quick and easy end of dungeon loot box to acquire, maybe I'll go out of my way for it. Dr. Robotnik skill and smack. Smack, smack, there's a lot of smacking to be done here. I am with the belief that it is a myth. The people that say power attacking does not give the same yields. Another bleeding coyote. Mine, mine, not yours. No Vino Paolo, stick to the wine, not the coyotes. Cop car, huh? I made that mistake before, I'm not making that mistake again. Cop car triggers a very speedy, dangerous horde right next to you. I didn't think they'd be so egregious with their spawning, but they are. The mistake people make is that the amount of loot you salvage from a car is, uh, yeah, it's varied. It ranges. Never wrap my head around if the loot from a tractor is particularly good. I think it's actually great. There we go. The headlights are certainly welcome. Headlights sell particularly well. While I'm here in the forest, I do plan on enacting my scheme to make more money than God, which I haven't been informed is a line from GoldenEye. Oh, I watched that film as a kid. I watched it again as an adolescent. It was fun in different ways. I guess I believe that's a line from Trevelyan. It's like, all you need to know is that in 48 hours, we'll have more money than God. Or words to that effect. That's just something to sell. Oh, it sucks to find that. I paid for that, and I paid a lot of money for that. I think this is the POI that... Oh boy, that is not what I was thinking. Oh god! There's another one, isn't there? That situation evolved fast. Yeah, this is a POI that we ran into nasty feral guy that gave us a run for our money. I'm running out of 762, I need to call Canny on that. Thank you, zombie spawn mod, for making this uh, enjoyable, question mark. <laughs> I think I got like a deep laceration or something, right? What's that uh, two hour problem that I have? I'd love to spend time investigating. 
These zombies don't want to give me time, though. James, what was our problem? What was all of their problems? Right. Deep laceration. Maximum health lowered, critical hit resistance down, bleeding, something, something. Uh, I have sewing kits, but they're back at home. Yeah, the boar, the boar changed matters for me. I didn't even notice it when I was strolling on in. There's also some corn, which I am noticing. Canadian wrist syndrome. Oh, I wouldn't wish that upon anyone other than Canadians. Time is a valuable thing. Let's watch it fly by as that pendulum swings. I just caught up on your Tay 10 Horde 9. I'm impressed you survived that way. Thank you, Swag. It wasn't easy, but of course, you know that, don't you? Has corn seeds in those. Well worth having. Don't know if you disassemble this thing. That's a no. Also, holy smokes, 10 grand. 10,000 health on that thing. I'm having the corn while I'm here. It's double yields thanks to my living off of the land. I don't know if there's any chance of corn like this dropping seeds, though. I think if... If there were, they would have dropped by now, because I think it's 50% chance. Thank you, marginally more powerful... Iron Spear. Yeah, a lot of people doubted my Day 10 Horde base. They were right to do so. But I'm alive. How are we looking on everything here? Keep with the scrapping. Scrap some of that while we're at it. Keep with the acquisition of spoiled meat. Going to be good for my farm blocks. Speaking of, that's what these animals are as well. If anything, I should be grateful for the game just handing all that delicious food to me. Food for my crops, at least. How are you even here? Be gone. Still on the quest for cars here. Don't want to get too distracted. It's cars all the way down for me. Despite those howling coyote noises. This looks like a big flat area that would have a lot of cars. Car park with one car. Oh, miserable. Not sure I just want that one car given all the heat that I'm accruing here. Come on out, cars. Uh, not cop cars, though. Cop cars are a bit of a liability for me. Another car park sans cars. Hmm. What's a car-loving man to do? Kill some coyotes, perhaps. Uh, fail to hit any coyotes, perhaps. Uh, that went wrong very quickly. Thanks to this ugly mother popping out. No, come back. I want to eat you. Oh boy, I'm not the only one wanting to eat. Please don't make me bleed. I don't have bandages. Perhaps I should fix that. I don't have cloth either. There's a car with my name on it. God. Damn. How much of a problem am I making for myself here? A pretty big one. And I've got to park my car in an unfortunate corner.
Not my car, my bike, but it's still unfortunate. Oh lordy, there's a few of them. That's why we have things like this. Kind of. Fire is so bad, so incredibly bad. Just does almost no damage. Tiny area of effect as well. But at least it is area of effect, right? God, I love this mod. This is bigger than a normal wandering horde that I would find on regular settings. And it very it was a very organic moment, right? Oh, I think I'll just take this car. What do you mean I'm making noise? What do you mean all these zombies are here? It's a good feeling. I like the oppression. There we go. Very nasty of these guys not to drop anything for me. I guess the vulture can be counted as a drop, kind of. What's the end game here? I have not decided on that. I would like to set up and have a proper base, both for manufacturing and for surviving. I agree that is a very flimsy endgame justification. I'm normally very good at coming up with sentence hic pardon the hiccups there. I'm usually very good at making some set in stone goals for my runs. But this one less so. It's only my second run of the game. Now we're talking. Here's plenty of vehicles with my name on them. This thing was already quite injured for some reason. There's gas and gas pumps. Hang on, I don't recognize the layout of this pass and gas. Doesn't have an ATM on it either. Hmm. God, everyone wants a piece of me. Also, I'm injured. I should really do something about that. Something other than just always alerting every enemy where I am. Oh yeah, look at that, they all they all want over to where they heard that noise. And my ammo for dealing with this kind of situation is very low. Alright, here's my grand master plan. And take one shot over here. Lure them over to where they had that shot, and I go around our uh, sneaky like. Oh, that's a little bit too high for me. Then I get back to my bike and uh Cycle off like the world's sneakiest Dutchman. Except that's not how it went down at all. Hmm. Okay. Change of plan. Snowball, go! The fools! I wonder if I've raised enough money to get what I want out of Trader Bob. Boy, this is downtown-ish, isn't it? There's a car, but the heat is too high right now. Don't think the heat is too high for checking these, though. I want this bus, but damn, what a zombies. Oh, cripes. <laughs> I changed my steering mode there to try and look around, but unfortunately, I just brought troubles for myself. I'm about to say, sure hope there's nothing behind me. 
You come with me. All right, let's just search this from the safety of above the boss. And hope it doesn't blow up beneath me. Because it can do that. 13, 10, 7. It's going to pop. That was a miscalculation. That's a feral. I think that's a feral behind you. I need to not be here anymore. <sighs> we. This looks cozy. Mm, is cozy the right word? It's something all right. It's oppressive, that's the word I tend to use. Might need food and drink while I'm here. Let's just cut down these yucca plants. Let's also consider that night is on its way and I don't have anything resembling a defense currently. Nice looking parking lot here. There's this pickup, a car over there, there's a truck around the other way, there's a coyote that I spy. It might just shank its brains out. Shank it with a bullet. With bullet. Of course, the zombies want it as well. Oi! Is this about to become a bigger problem, or is it just you two? Mm, looks like just you two. That's fine, then. A Ramsey, down you go. You didn't serve me well enough in RimWorld. You won't serve me well enough here. Yeah, I have eggs, so it can be a bacon and eggs breakfast. Well, a very late breakfast, a 3 p.m. breakfast. The neat breakfast. Who's creeping up on me? You. Mm, you're not the only ones around here, huh? Uh, there are rather a lot of zombies around here. Hmm. Hmm. I guess as long as none of you are feral, that's not a big deal. Uh, I want this stuff, but I should really head back now. I shouldn't get any more greedy. Greed kills, but who does it kill? Also, where am I going? Bob is in this general direction. Oh man, there's a whole lot more cars here, but it's too dangerous. And too late. Alright, Trader Bob, the cogs are oiled. some better car batteries to sell you at this rate as well, which is rather nice. Did I already check this passing gas? I don't think I did. Let's uh, be a little bit greedy here. Couldn't help but notice how very banged up I am, though. Can I have this? No. Now you see it, now you don't. And there's that police car. 
And that's certainly a don't get greedy drop right there. All right, we're good. <laughs> but I want to go to the UFO museum. I know, we all want to go to the UFO museum, but we cannot. By the way, I want to get back to making my spiky wooden traps. Give me 200 if you could, please. Probably want those for this evening. Just make a perimeter of wooden spike trap, so if anything does come too close, they're at least going to eat that. And I shouldn't leave this open. I'm just asking for uh, zombies to come in here and surprise me. Mm, give me that. What's the police car? It's a really good loot box, but uh, if you try and break into it without lock picks, the alarm will go off and bring a lot of zombies to town. There's a way to get around that, which I was tempted to use, but the, si the situation did not present. Let's go and root around for some droppings from Bob. How about his reading material? Salvage tools and armor. His medicine. Ooh, aloe cream. Uh, aloe cream. Thank you, please. It's funny that you can just loot the traders. Jen calls you out on it, actually. She says, oh, some stuff's gone missing, but you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? And the answer is no, no, I would not. Interestingly enough, the shells that you see behind the traders... Ooh, great. That's going to deal with my laceration. Done like dinner. The shelves that you see behind the trader can be looted if you can get close enough to them. I've not found a way to do that without debug commands, though. See all those shelves behind him? You could have that. Come on in. Cool off and have a look around. Yeah, I have a look around. I mean, take your stuff and sell it to you, Bob. I feel a little bad, but this run has been very, very rough on me, so spare a thought for poor old Marvin Branach, Bob. Lockpicks, huh? If he sells the hacker sweeties in in his vending machine, they're actually worth buying so I can pick open his ATM and give uh, sell him the money I find in it. But yeah, time is not on my side here, so let's get a move on. I know there's more to loot, but there is no time. You there. Oh, hackers is not what I'm talking about. The one that lets you 100% um, succeed in lock picking was what I was after, but we don't have it. Put on the sunny glasses and Looking sell, sell, sell. Sell, sell, sell. Sell just about everything I can. Keep some of these just in case. Don't want to sell the polymers, I want to set up my dew collectors. Take these springs, these nails, this oil, these lights. Lights are good, good for selling. The brass, absolutely. Not the acid. The arrowheads. I think I said to sell this iron spear. Sell this book I've already read. And I got 1,200 denarii. That's pretty good. I got more than that. Okay, what did we say we were buying? I want that chassis. So I can get my mini bike on the go ASAP. I wonder if that's true. Do I really want the mini bike? Well, I guess it's not a huge overhead. I'll take it. But I absolutely want that steel spear. There we go. Uh, still have money left over. Was there anything else that he had or might have that I'd want? He, uh, he does not have a scope. Or is it a sight? No, he's got neither of those. Any books, though? Wiring, knives, spear crafting. Not something I need now. Vehicle crafting, we know what we need to know. Seed crafting could be useful. More damage to bears. Oh, that could be useful. Find more Silver and things. Yeah, please. Please do. I also wouldn't mind making my own bandool. Am I willing to pay for that? That feels really bad to pay for, but the reloading speed's probably going to save That's my bacon. Good choice you made right there. So I'll take it. Take that. Modify off the serrated blade. Well, I'll be double -dog Sell you that back. And modify that on. All right. There we go, go. Hmm. 
Actually looks worse than the one I just had, but hard to argue with the damage output. It gets a big boost from all of our specking. All right, now, 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 now. Uh, where did I leave my bicycle? There we go. Sorry, bicycle, you're going to be replaced soon-ish. If I can remember the way out of here. I mentioned how good I am at getting lost. Terrific at it. Hmm. Alright, you stay there and be good. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? I would quite like a perimeter of spiky traps so that anything that does come my way they're going to start making nasty noises and I'll know they're there first. To be honest I'd like a lot more than one of these on the perimeter. Also I should try not to run into them myself. to my needs as well. Um, like a bucket of water to bring some drinks over, although I suppose it's not a big deal just to eat and drink what I have. I should also certainly be setting up a campfire. Give me two campfires, please. Which does mean cancelling out of that, but that's okay. I'm sure campfire on this plywood won't be a problem. It won't, but uh, it's bizarre to think about. And I believe I had some things to put on there. You and you in particular. There you go, and there you go. And now, well, you're not going to get anywhere without any fuel. Probably be using this for a long, long time. Maybe I should be a little bit less stingy with the amount of fuel that I put on. Thunk. All right, what am I looking for? Bacon and eggs. That's like the best thing you can make currently. And then just grill up the rest of the meat. That's easier to come by. Do the corn as well. Do the tate. And then make me all of the water, please. Yeah, that'll keep you going for a good long time. And build up that heat. We all love the heat. Good few trees around you. Plenty of material for the spike hell zone. It's not going to be hell enough. That's my problem. But it's a start. Also, I should certainly put down a sleeping bag. I believe you can only have one, eh? Where's sleeping bag? What's it called? Hmm? Bedroll, that's what it's called. I was looking right at it. I'll put down that momentarily. And I forgot to grab the initial drink and perhaps food that I wanted, otherwise stamina will be an issue. What do I have? I got coffee? Good enough. Down the hatch it goes. This stuff, also good enough. I should grab my bucket, come to think of it, and go and grab some water so I permanently have water to enjoy back here. Nearest water is... over there? Is that worth my time, currently? I got a lot of things to do, you know. Yeah, give me my bucket. Let's go and get that water. Uh, there we go. Hmm. Alright, feels like I'm rushing, but I'm going to try not to rush. Even if you're just jumping from rooftop to rooftop, the Blood Moon should be survivable without making an elaborate base. Although maybe I... We'll see how I'm doing on day 15. Maybe I can make something. There is a bit of a plan that I want to do. 
and it involves Trader Bob. So yeah, I had this epiphany in the middle of the night. I was just lying there in bed, just about to drift off, and then I suddenly, in my head, saw this idea. And I don't know if it can be done, I haven't tested it, but we'll be trying anyway. Give me that water. Also, while I'm here... Put that on... and drink deeply. And my problem with doing this is it's slow. I don't think I'd want a long-term water filter on my headgear. I'd rather just have a stack of extremely good uh, drinks on me, some yucca-related drinks. And nice thing about being in the desert, you can have all the yucca you want. I have to say, I haven't been able to watch all of your development, but this is a far cry from when you started playing. Oh yeah. If a game interests me, I'm not messing around. I will learn what I can to try and play to a high level. Wee. You know, going underground might not be the worst thing in the world in this base. I will need to leave support pillars, of course, but... Right, for now, let's just leave our water here in the center. I think it was left-click to put it in. Or is it right-click? There we go. And now, if need arises, I can always just drink from here. Although the need does not currently arise. Out you go. In you go. Crafting ingredients, you and you get in there, keep it sorted, and get back to work. Buying this level 5 shovel, good investment because it one shots topsoil. As long as you keep the area small, your trouble should be low as you can cover where they may try to dig down. Yeah, I think the idea is just don't let them dig down. Anyway, it's just a thought. Another thought is that I am very, very low on ammo. Yikes, uh, I'll need to deal with that. That'll be what a forge is for, forge, bullet casing. I've always been short on nitrate though. But I think the desert's pretty good for ores overall. Can zombies swim? Yes, they can. They're not good at it, though. I'm pretty sure it slows them down a fair bit, being in water. And I think some early horde designs in this game's development revolve around dunking zombies into water. But I think these days they handle water just fine. But I don't know this, because I've never played around with zombies. This is just what I've read. And I don't like to trust what I read. I like to confirm things by doing it myself. Yeah, one of these days I'm going to remember to put down that bleeding bedroll. And yes, zombies take fall damage, but they go into rage mode when they fall, and that just makes them attack things around them. Oh, thank you, aloe plant. Never trust nerds to take the time to write stuff. Well, things can get outdated. People can take things that they hear as gospel and then continue to share it. Plus, you get that smug sense of satisfaction when you read the stuff yourself and then find out that everything you know is wrong. Don't like that sun setting. We've been here at night time and had a bad time for it already. But hopefully I just set up my perimeter of spike traps and anything that comes along to cause me trouble, I can deal with from a distance. What the? Okay. Those were made of bones that I was meant to hit with a pickaxe.
Of course, if we have to spend another night just cowering with our Sam Fisher goggles on, then so be it. I just hope that's not the case. You might be wondering why am I digging out the first layer of topsoil and starting building a foundation under that. I don't have a good reason. The best reason I have is that I heard that zombies don't spawn on blocks that you've placed yourself. That sounds like a good enough reason to have my base just have this floor that I build out from. On top of that, by digging this up, I'm getting plenty of sand. And sand is good for concrete in that far-flung future where I have my own mixer. I do dream of that future. Have I been getting stones from the topsoil? No, I have not. Hmm. It's alright, you get plenty of stones through regular mining, and I do hope to do some mining at some point. You don't want to build on sand anyway, still looks a bit more overkill. Eh, I'm happy enough with what I'm doing here. I'm going to build away from you because my spike trap is over there. If only I had an ogre to speed this up. Ogre, auger, well I don't mean Shrek. Right, let's go. Don't forget you can abuse bedrolls to disable spawning. Maybe I should have mentioned this when you were stuck this morning. Abuse them to disable spawning. Well, I know they stop spawning, but they, the area that they see spawning in isn't very large. Look at that, it's tiny. Absolutely tiny. It does enable this comfortable music, though let you know you're back in relative safety. Trouble is, ferals, in fact zombies in general can just run through this, but at least I'll soften them up a bit. But the idea is I want a lot more defense than this. You there. Let's try out our new spear. No hard feelings, Gurgly, but you gotta go. slightly too fast for the placement. I have had it previously where I placed a spike trap into myself, so I'm not keen on trusting that. And spike traps do a fair bit of damage on me. 20 odd, I believe, and considering I'm still in slightly dire straits, I could do without that. Alright, there we go. It's kind of a perimeter for me. Uh, no, you are petrified wood. Yoink. Still not trusting this setup much at all. What am I meant to do when all of this goes horribly wrong? Well, I'm actually meant to make sure that I have some meds on me. And the bandages don't come easy. How about the aloe cream? I can get three of them. But don't I need four for a medical bandage? No, just one. Good. But regarding those bandages, I actually need some bandages. Make me 20 or so of them, please. Have you tried a hole with multiple levels of spikes? Like a castle mode? There's a lot of things like that I'd like to do, but I'm very, very resource-starved right now. We've had to bring all of our resources around with us as we move from biome to biome. This is the first place where I've set up anything that feels a bit a bit more like putting my stick in the ground and calling it mine. Alright, these things give health, so chomp it right down. Wonderful. 
I'll want to set up a proper forge and a proper workbench. I'll actually want quite a few forges. Might just make a general area here full of forge. As for the workbench, I suppose it can just go down here, can't it? I believe I somehow called it a mod. There we go for now. I didn't take the forge with me. How does one make a forge? They don't, not without a wooden log, which is such a weird thing. I know it makes sense to have, but I just feel like log isn't used for anything other than this. Perimeter seems a bit large, no? Mm, no. I don't want the zombies knowing that I'm here, so I want to kind of cower in the center a bit. Maybe to that extent I should put a closer wall around here? Nah, no time. Although, while it's still daytime, maybe I should go around and try and grab some more aloe, some more wood. Things to keep me busy through the night. Oh, right, I'm loving the extra damage of this thing. Yeah, extra stuff is good. No, not that. It's a good thing you don't do extra damage to your tools by hitting the wrong thing with it, could you imagine? I can imagine. Eyes peeled for that sweet, sweet aloe. I was actually wondering if those little guys actually hurt you, and now I know. And the next question on my mind is, which of these desert so-called trees actually drop uh, honey? Severely lacking in specialized gear like miner gear, farmer gear, looting gear. Haven't had much of an opportunity to make good armor altogether yet, but someday we will. Biker, eh? I think we can somewhat handle bikers now, even if they are Conrad. There we go, that was a lot more comfortable than normal. I'm doing it in my knife like this, I should make something like a bone knife strictly for harvesting. gets asked most streams, why do the zombies have names? Well, I've got a mod that puts names to all the zombies. And the names list has been created by you. You put together this name list by adding either your own handles or some fictional or historical characters, and I like it a lot. Yeah, we finally got a steel spear. We had to buy it from Bob before he restocked. wearing out my poor knife. Let's use our fists instead. It's all the same for the amount that we gather. Oh. Hmm. I was hoping for more aloe, but it's probably there and I'm just not seeing it.
Like there and there. You there. How do you feel about being shanked? <laughs> Could I, at this point, make myself a better knife? No. In fact, even making bone knives I am very poor at. Interidesting. Can I post a names link? Absolutely. Still worried about this knight. My perimeter defense is very lame. Just gathering the riches of the environment while I'm here, though. I should check and see how my cooking skill is. Yucca smoothies. Well, I do have some blueberries. I recall finding, what was it, four blueberries in an end of dungeon crate. What a lucky man I was. What a lucky man I continue to be. I think there's a, a home that I have labeled. Yeah, see that? Let's not have that show on our mini-map anymore. I just want to know where my proper home is. Ah, nitrate. Very, very welcome. You are gunpowder to me, and I am severely lacking in gunpowder. I feel a bit bad doing this without any minor gear on, but... I am a little desperate for extra bullets, so let me just at least take the surface amount. Already more nitrate than I think we've ever had. Goes rather deep. Uh, now I'm pretty sure that when you dig down into this, it actually spawns out into rather large um, subterranean deposits of the stuff. But that is not our purpose right now. Just wanted to grab some. And now I really would like to head on home. As I understand it, the area underground only spawns as you continue going underground. So all the stuff isn't there until you start digging it through. Because if you god mode your way underground, you just fall through, it's all empty space. Alright. Uh, where'd the water go? Oh, it is there. Thanks for everything, Bob. Now I feel pretty bad about my uh, lack of aim, for one. Come on, I don't have the bullets to be doing that. Actually, that is a real concern. I do not have the bullets for that. I'll make a few more, as I can. And I wish to make that forge. And I really wish to make those first aid bandages. So here's hoping that this nice this night is nice and pleasant to me. Without all the zombies coming along and ruining my day. My stealth skill is pretty good, so I'm not very visible here. Although this fire is certainly lighting me up like a beacon. But we kind of need the fire. Into the food and drink you go. Ditch many of the other things. Some things like that, just scrap. Probably could have just smelted you instead. I'm going to want some more storage crates for a few other things. 
I'm not very happy with how I've sorted out my storage crates right now, but they can be sorted later on. For now, I need something functional, not dysfunctional. For example, I rather like somewhere to keep my spare engines since they don't stack. And the same could be said for batteries, because yes, they also don't stack. That means crafting ingredients. That one battery comes on over. Gathunk. And these two engines go over. Gathunk. Not really it. Crafting ingredients should definitely involve you. Not happy with those buzzards, but they don't come for me if I'm not injured, I believe. Seed, seed, seed. Kind of food. Hey, we did find a silver nugget. Uh, snow is an ingredient, funnily enough. Bandages are medicine. Keep all of these on me, because I don't trust myself not to get banged up horribly. Hmm. What some people do is place the fireplace one block down. It blocks the light. Really? I'm going to try that. Spooky, spooky noises. Placing blocks does make you more visible. Alright, so where were we with you? I want to put down some wood. Where's the rack? That's already got the rack. Grill the meat. Bake the potato. Yeah, look at that. My visibility didn't go up. Very nice. Boil all my disgusting murky water, please. Good thinking. And now we have some actual food and drink to survive if we end up getting hungry. Well, we've got food. Well, no, we've got infinite drink right here. As long as we remember to put on our sippy sippy cover. Okay, okay, this is agreeable. Maybe I should start digging out a bit more, make this whole area a bit larger. Uh, although maybe I should also put down the forge. Hey, can the forge also uh, be put down into the ground to block it? No, I think what I'm going to want to do is have a large array of forges. So I might dig this out and just begin the forge array here. One is all I'll have for now, but forges are going to be an important element of me making an obscene amount of money. Besides, this won't all be out in the open for that long. Well, eventually it won't. For one, I want to have a lot of ground underneath to prevent zombie spawning. Jake, just make a too high wall around your little base. I did that once before. It didn't help much. Now I will still be doing that, but not right now. That would that would require me going towards the edge, and that's a problem right now. Don't want to do that. Going towards the edge means any zombies near the edge will be alerted to my presence, and I'm not game for that currently. I'm trying to keep a low profile because our first night in the desert was very, very scary. And I want to be a lot less scared. Now, where's that forge? There you are, taking up my valuable 762 space. I wish locked icons locked the good there Factorio style rather than just, well, the current way that it locks things down. Guess I'll have you thinking how I want this to be a proper array. Um, 
I don't know, things can always be moved later on. For now, I'll put you there. I do have some bits and bobs for you. I've got an anvil and I've got a blower thing. I'm pretty sure I bought a blower. I recall looking at it going, yes, 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 give me that. There it is, the bellows. So here's your anvil, here's your bellow. Here's a load of wood to keep you going. Of course, you're not really going to do anything unless I smelt some stuff into you. So what do I have in terms of raws? I need some bullet casings, so have some brass, even though I like to sell brass. Have a ton of iron, and that should get you going to begin with. See, when I'm next to this, I think I'm more visible. Or am I? I'm still only on 31. Hmm. Does that mod that stops the fuel waste work with smelting? Yes. Once there is nothing left to smelt, the fuel will turn off. However, smelting has a capacity of 30,000. If, if I had 30,000 iron and I was still smelting iron, the game would try unsuccessfully to smelt more. It would not reduce the amount of iron, but it wouldn't turn off the fuel. So make sure you're... Thought I heard a zombie nearby. Looks like you're just dilly-dallying near Bob's. Bit of an unfortunate dead zone over there that I can't interact much with due to Bob's. Anyway, um, make sure that you're not more than 30,000, even counting the amount that you're smelting in there. As for you, I believe I need some bullet casings. Where's bullet casings? There's bullet casings. Needs clay. All right, well, I'll shove clay in there once the brass is done. Fortunately, it goes down nice and quick. Anything else for us to concern ourselves with through the night? Other than digging out our perimeter bigger and bigger? That's all that comes to mind currently. The water is being made. I can't think of anything I'm desperate to craft. Maybe the mini bike. And we can just make the mini bike. What a lovely... Oh, it doesn't say that I can, though. Why not? I've got two wheels, the chassis, the handlebars, the engine... Ah, the battery. There's an issue with my build from boxes mod. It does not like things that have quality levels. And batteries are, I think, the only thing to do. So there we go, the mini bike is ours. That'll do us until we're able to outright buy a motorbike. Which should be a lot faster than when we got our hands on the motorbike in our previous run. Look at those guys, they are getting stuck on my fences. There goes Isaac Clark. Peach with 500 health. I don't see if they're a biker or a feral. I'm glad they're killing themselves. Yeah, so I need, I need stronger spiky defenses. Iron traps last twice as long, but they do just as much damage. I'd rather just stack out more wooden ones. Speaking of wooden ones, wooden spiky trap mod. Many, many more of them, please. Uh, like, I don't know, 200 more of them. Don't even know what's the point of high quality batteries anymore. Uh, they work with battery banks for charging your electrical defenses. And I do intend to have electrical defenses. Right, anything worth my time making here? I do like repair kits. Give me a few more of those, please. We love duct tape. Make more of that. I love cobblestone rocks. Uh, I severely lack small stones, though. I should probably be a little bit conservative with that. Going to need armor crafting kits for better armor. So make some more of that, please. <laughs> we don't make our own weapons and tools. I bought that impact driver, right? Yeah, definitely. And I still think it was a good idea. Oh, hello. I do have the technology to make myself a steel shovel. How about a steel pickaxe? We're only on level one. I'd like that to be better. Although, truthfully, if a level one iron shovel does everything in one shot, that's not a big deal for me to be making. Need more aloe cream. You can make wheels. Ooh, that doesn't seem worth your time. Just scrap for them. Right. 
I can make level three armor and I should consider what kind of armor I want to make, if any. What do we have over there? Greg. Yeah, see, I'm very glad I put up these traps, mainly because of this. They can and will just stumble their way over towards me. And there are so many of them thanks to the eight times zombie mod. But now if they do stumble this way, they will get caught in the traps and hopefully die. But if not, they still fall over and then recalculate where they want to go dossing around to. Right, yes, I should put some thought into what kind of armor I'm looking for. Preacher gloves are just outright more damage. They are brokenly good. 30% more damage just by making some preacher gloves. And my current gloves are just primitive nonsense. So I do think preacher gloves is a great investment. I just wish I was slightly more leveled for doing it, but we should do it anyway. Preacher gloves. I think these are part of anybody's build, right? They're just so strong. But I'm lacking an armor crafting kit. That's all right, we're working on it. The cobblestone can wait. Didn't you get ranger gloves, or did you sell those? There's ranger gloves, but would I rather have 10% more lever action damage or 30% all damage? The only thing the preacher gloves won't deal with is killing things like boars. Every other zombie it works fine on. Also, preacher gloves are light. These are medium. I think overall later into the game I'd want more medium armor, but that is fine by me. Minor gloves for ore damage, farmer outfit. Yeah, these are things to consider, but not right now. Preacher gloves. Wait, what do you mean I still can't make you? Because I never took this stuff, that's why. Make me one set of preacher gloves, please. Anything else worth my time making? Mm, the preacher outfit is fine. I like that undead resistance. What are the other armor things I was thinking about? Scavenger outfit. Actually, preacher outfit's probably the better one to consider for keeping myself alive. It's a light armor. It's not going to get that much better than what I have right now, though, which is level 2. I can just make level 3. I should consider the boots, though. What kind of boots would I like? Commando boots make me sprint faster. But that's not significant compared to my scavenging boots, which at least let me do better salvaging, so that's fine. The biker outfit was pretty good from your last uh, playthrough. Yeah, all medium armor with the biker stuff, but I... I don't have access to a lot, so I gotta be a little bit stingy with what I choose here. Alright. Take off the pocket mod. Take you off in general. Nobody buys this nonsense, so just scrap it. Put these on. Be happy that it has two whole slots, so I can put on the pocket mod. And I'm starting to really wish I'd bought that extra armor mod that Bob had. Either Bob or Wrecked, it was really good. I like this, just 2% armor additional. Feels good. Pocket mods, pocket mods, oh, pocket, pocket mods. I believe I have a spare pocket mod. I do. You know, I'm going to put that on. You can stack different kinds of pocket mods, and now, even if we get encumbered, it's not going to be by a lot. So that's a good time for me. I'm going to keep this in good working order, I think. Uh, okay, no, I'm not. I'm too busy with this. I think you got a book that reduced the noise of armor, uh, medium armor boots. Yes, and I'm currently wearing medium armor boots, so thank goodness for that. Alright, can I dunk a bunch of this stuff? Yes, I can. That's for selling, that's for planting, which I should get around to. Don't want to jump around too much. Do not want the zombies to know I'm here. Make more first aid bandages. They're very handy. Yeah, this is the lovely armor plating thing, but we don't have the schematic for it. I now always want to be carrying fuel on me. If I'm going to be using a mini bike. So crafting ingredients, fuel, stay with me. I never needed these farm blocks on me, but I do want to do some farming around here. I don't think farming generates heat. If there aren't any zombies over here, and I'm not seeing any. Oh god, do not do that. That's what I want to do. 
Turning on the flashlight and turning on my Sam Fisher goggles have the same input. to do me for now. And let's go and see what kind of what kind of seeds do we have to plant right now. Those are beans. Mushroom spores can be grown anywhere and I don't really care about mushrooms, but I care about coffee. I care about corn. To a lesser degree, I care about blueberries. I could turn them into blueberry seeds, and I think I will. So let me think, I got four or five, that'll take me up to seven. Wait, you can plant grass seeds? I guess if you really needed plant fibers. Look at these spiky traps are getting in the way of too many things. Keep that thing, not scrapped, absolutely not scrapped. We found this knife, we can't make knives like this. Get it repaired. Mm, the steel pack X still has a bit of life in it. Wooden spiky traps, I still want a lot of them. But I want a lot of trees as well. I'm going to need to find somewhere to plant trees, but as we've learned, we don't like planting trees near our base, because for some reason they're a massive hog on performance. The game slows down to a stuttery mess when there are trees growing nearby. Right, corn is good, coffee is good. Someday I'm going to have significantly more than this. Isn't golden tea useful as medicine? Golden tea for medicine? You mean the goldenrod stuff, I think. Yeah, see the goldenrod flower. Good for making goldenrod tea and pure mineral water. But we don't really care much about water for satiation because we have our nasty little water pit that we drink out of whenever we need to. At least for now, I don't think it's worth the resources to be dunking into that. Right, when it comes to making these farming plots, how many can I make? Quite a lot, thanks to the nitrate that we picked up, but I want that nitrate for bullets. Actually, it's rotting flesh that's my current problem. That's fine. Craft loads of them. I do want to get big time farming. How do I get seeds, though? I know I can smush things down for seeds, but... Hmm. Well, maybe I should make some farming gear. I should have, like, a little farming gear that I switch out to when I go farming. But the farming stuff really takes off at high levels, not medi uh, mediocre levels. Look at that. I can currently make 6% seed harvesting chance, but I want the legendary ones for 20. The gloves, rifle damage, yeah, naff to that. Chance of seeds in loot boxes. Well, I'm not going to be wearing this when I'm out looting. And the farmer outfit. Harvest extra crop chance is good, actually. But I already have a level 2 one. I don't want to build one of my own. So I guess that's okay. Where's that 762 ammo, by the way? Yeah, there we go. Another question, where's all my wood? <laughs> I'm meant to have wood here. Alright, it's starting to look okay. Nobody's bothering me through the, throughout the night, which is also very welcome. Eight oh eight is over there wanting to bother me though. Yeah, you get away. I'm not heckling anyone, and neither should you. Yeah, so farming is done at a loss unless you have perks and or the armor. That extra noise spooked me, but I think it was just something that I dug out under. A piece of grass or whatnot. But we already have one level of living off the land, and that's all we need to make a profit off of farming. Of course, it's not a lot. It means of all of our yield, as long as we're replanting everything, we'll get, I think, 30% back? Because we get four of whatever we harvest from our planting, and 50% of the time we get a seed back. So for 50% of our harvests, we're going to get the four and the seed to replant it. For the other 50%, we're going to 
get no seed and four things. And you need five things to make the seeds out of. So, for example, I grab four bits of corn. I need five to make the seed. So I lose the harvest and a little bit of one of the other harvests. But in the ideal world, I get everything I need for it. And I plan on making a relatively ideal world here for myself. Still fully addicted to this? It's not an addiction. It's more of a dependency. I can stop playing whenever I want, but why would I? This is the life that I chose. Who's out there making noises? I did not permit the making of noises. I'm a little concerned about the wood situation. I might just have to do a wood run in the morning. I have liquidated much of my wood into traps. And those traps, they're doing good work. They're doing damn good work. There's Aurelia. Deciding they want to become one with the trap. What are we making here? More of those spiky traps. No, I need to make farm blocks. Oh, tell you what I really need to do is invest something with all these points. I'm raising the game stage with all this leveling. I might as well use the points on something. I'd love to work towards intellect for robotics, but... Look at that, level 10 needed for the most advanced one. There's nowhere I'm getting that much intellect. Items craft 20% faster at the forge. Gra craft glue cheaper. This might be worth it for just one, right? Get one in Apprentice. More likely to find the uh, the books on the matter as well. I don't care about lockpicking. It's not worth the points. Daring Adventurer. We already pretty much have the levels we need for getting stuff out of the merchants, I think. Or trader tiers. Let's see. Is I'm at level 66 to 70 or so. Is there anything vital that's over 70? High-level blade traps and auto turrets. High-level armor, which I don't plan on buying. I want to make armor. The motorcycle can be outright bought at level 75 and above, but I wouldn't have the money for that anyway currently. And all tiers of steel tools are available. Mech tools might be a consideration. Top-tier weapons are all 100-plus in trader tier. And every point in Daring Adventure gives you 10 points in trader tier. Normally, it's just your level. In general, there are some extra things, but it's just your level. 56, 66, I don't think it's worth it to go for that. Not what I need to put points into intellect, no thank you. By the way, let's say I got intellect 4 and took plunderer. If I then lost intellect, I went down to say intellect 3 or 2 due to getting a concussion or removing a mod, would that deactivate the perk that I got? Never tried that, I should have tried it. Interesting thought. It deactivates, yes. Ooh, that's nasty. Good reason not to just temporarily grab what you need. I already have what I want from parkour. I love In the Shadows. You know, I'm more of a stealth build than I ever thought I'd be in all of this. Forager. 50% chance to gain one additional crop. Cheaper farm plots. That might be worth it. Cancel making those farm plots. How many points do I have anyway? Five. Take uh, two in fortitude and one more in living off the land. Makes my machine guns better, although I don't use them often. What's the alternative? More miner 69er. Lucky looter, treasure hunter, spear mastery. You know what, I'm willing to go with that. If I'm focusing on farming, let's actually put something towards it. So I need two in you, one in living off the land. Farmer only needs fortitude five. That's actually quite low. All right, let's believe in the farming for a bit. Look at that, triple the harvest of all wild or planted crops. And thanks to that, I can make my farming blocks. I think I'll make them over here. Now I can make a lot more of them, sweet. Uh, how about those 762s, by the way? What's the problem? Bullet casings. I thought I was making bullet casings. No, this needed some clay. Well... Here's your clay. Keep smelting that stuff down, please. Yeah, Farmer Jake is indeed born.
All right, darkness recedes, the light proceeds. Look at this bugger. He made it all the way in, and he's got some friends as well. Let's wait until 4 a.m. to engage. Ishanix, with 500 max health, you are a feral. I suppose to that respect, the hit point mod is a bit of a cheat, because I can tell if someone's a feral without having to look at their eyes. Whoa, that I didn't know! Ferals that spawn due to nighttime just freaking die in the daylight. Is, is, is that enough of life? Which is good, because I've had enough of him. Anyway, what have I learned from this? That I want to double layer out my spiky traps. I do not have the resources to uh, make better traps, but that'll do nicely. Do I want to do that now, or do I want to get, go and get some trees? I'd love to cut down some trees right about now. I don't think the threat level is high to just run out and do it, so we shall. I would like a bone knife for harvesting, though. I think I'd want a bone knife over this knife, because this thing... Ah, no, nah, just use that thing. Repair kits are cheap. Time is cheaper. Also, Bob. Bob restocks, uh, restocks today. We should get a view as to whether or not there's a priority on getting something out of him. Also, bicycle. Um... There's nothing in the bicycle. I think I'll just pick you up and keep you around here. I guess you've become a crafting ingredient in my eyes. There you go. There's your life. Let's go and see Bob. Looking pretty well kitted out for a guy on day 13. I'm sure people can do much better, but given the oppression that I've faced, I feel pretty good about where I am. Also, Vending machines restock every day, I'm told. Jailbreaker, lockpick, costs 300. Okay, that's a sandstorm, very sudden sandstorm. I thought it was an airdrop. Uh, yes, please, give me a jailbreaker. I'll buy that, I will eat that. And then I'm going to steal your money right in front of your eyes. <laughs> Fast forward 20 minutes, Jake asks where the blaze is he put his bicycle. Won't be a problem. We have a mini bike now. A mini bike that needs refueled. The orientation of the traps, I believe, does not matter. This better be worth it, Bob. Ooh, that is good, actually. So I paid 300 what can I do you for? for the. Um, Machines that'll make you grin from ear to ear. 300 for the lock picking thing, and I get 500 out of the old cash. Good trade, if you ask me. Uh, but you're not asking me. A rad remover mod. I tell you, that'd be good for all those damned uh, green goo zombies we're bound to start finding. Where did you find that bike, Bob? Auto turrets, spotlight, dart traps, speakers, blade traps. Mmm. Oh, my days I could go for blade traps. I want blade traps. I'm certainly not going to be making those in my own time, right? With a full no money back guarantee. Blade trap requires trap skill 25. We're nowhere near. Let's see what revs your engine, survivor. It's not a hurry, but I would like that blade trap a lot. Laser sight. That's cool and all, but it doesn't zoom in, so I don't like that. Good for a pistol, not so good for something like my rifle. At least I don't think so. Ugh, still no proper scoping, huh? Resources or whatever. Although concrete, if I can't get a concrete mixer, I might need to buy that. Better level steel pickaxe, not worth the money. Impact driver 4, already got it, my friend. I want the gatherer and the tarp. The weapons don't speak to me in the same way they did before, now that I have my steel spear. Uh, Fisherman almanac, hypothermic resistance. Oh, oh, be still my beating heart. Blade crafting, assault rifle, trap, spear, armor. I do want the armor ups. I really want the armor ups. Yeah, better armor, better everything. Eggs are nice. Just give me the eggs outright. Eggs for eggs and bacon. Better than finding the damn things. Bandage, splint, usual selection of expensive armor. More expensive than I'm after. Okay, so ultimately, what was I looking for here? Steel tool parts are also a good thing to get. A few books, probably the Rad Remover mod, basically a few grand worth of stuff that I want, so we definitely want to 
pillage and take. I knew you were gonna buy something. And I did buy stuff. I'm just that nice. Are you allowed to visit traders in other biomes? Yeah, I can visit them. But by and large, I meant to stay here. If I really needed something, I'd go on a pilgrimage to the traders. But surely I'm fine as I am. Gosh, this is sordid visibility. And, uh... I'm wearing the wrong bleeding thing here. I was wondering why I couldn't see. I actually uninstalled the lighting mod. Now, I do like the lighting mod. But for a stream, I think it's just too bloody dark. I was re-watching yesterday's stream and I realized half of the stream was in black and white because I was using my Sam Fisher mod to see. And I didn't enjoy watching that so much, so I decided out it goes. I think when I play in my own time, I would be using that mod some more. Alright, uh, I don't think it's worth my time digging out this stuff to make the additional spike traps, so let's just get this out of the way for now. Very satisfied with the performance of these spike traps. Let's just make sure they're still around. Helps me feel nice and safe. And I might as well do it now while it's storming, because I don't fancy my chances at noticing threats around me during these kinds of conditions. Uh, oh, thank goodness. I accidentally pressed that. I have no wood! <laughs> what a problem. Um, what a solvable problem. Here's some wood. Take it. Take it some more. Get that thing fixed right up. Needed. A very frequent thing. This shouldn't be a problem. I can jump right over this. Thanks to my glorious skills in parkour. And to be clear, this is not my Horde Knight plan. This is just my keep my base relatively safe through the, uh, the Knight's plan. when I'm sitting there crafting, or even just returning here. This won't kill a determined um, feral that's after me, or perhaps even a biker. And certainly not a rad zombie that's after me. It'll be, it will buy me time. It'll buy me time to panic and contemplate how I've ended up in this situation. As I said, although these don't give experience, Zombies still drop loot bags if they die to spike traps. I think dying to anything still makes them drop their loot bags. I saw a zombie die to a spike trap that was in a POI. So I didn't even place the spike trap and it still dropped their loot bag. Seemed like a good trade for me. Alright, good enough. And we can surely jump over this. Whee! That's a little tighter than I'd like. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Give the aloe. Alright, anything to worry about? Ditch anything that I don't think we need. Ingredients go in here. My desire for bacon and eggs is defeated by my need for meat, huh? Tragic. Take all of that, though. One thing I certainly want a lot more of is glue. We can make it slightly cheaper, I believe. Just make as much as we can, please. Blue is duct tape, and duct tape is life out here. While we're at it, make sure we have our nasty little piss water drinky thing. And drink up, drink deeply. Actually, we're also a bit hungry, so let's eat up the stuff that causes me to be thirsty. Probably got space for eating about three of these things. Oh, we'll have another two just in case. Eh, one should be fine. Right. Drink up and drink deeply from our makeshift well. 
the lovely plywood well. Build a ramp either side. Evil can evil it. Do I trust my pathetic little mini bike to handle such things? Personally, I do not. Right, take that out, put that back in, keep it sorted. Food and drink, enjoy that, enjoy that. Sort the rest. I forgot to sell my silver nuggy to Bob, but I've got a job to do anyway. Otherwise, this all seems very agreeable. Fine. God, I do not like all those birds circling overhead. And I do not like my lack of 762s. 762s need bullet casings. Make me all of the bullet casings, please. 762s also need bullet tips. I have some, but in order to have more, I'm going to need some lead processed into here. It's busy, though. Perhaps a little too busy. All right, you can have that. I will want more forges down the line. For now, this will have to do me. But uh, this forge <laughs> is my key to having infinite money. So much money. Not much point putting more uh, farming blocks down. I don't have the seeds for it. All right, forgive that. <laughs> Muted myself to stop the coughing and the spluttering. Give me those bullet casings. Give me those 762s, which I severely lack right now. Sod the farming blocks. Those are less important right now. Then my beloved 762s. Keep the backup meds in here. Very good. Bullet casings are kind of ammo. All right. All right, all right. <laughs> so little ammo for all my stealthing about. It's gonna make me feel quite bad about going and doing this job with so few bullets. If I need to solve my bullet situation, I'm gonna to need to go mining. If I wanna go mining, I'd like minor gear. If I want minor gear, and I do want minor gear, which is the one that I really want. I wouldn't be able to get a whole lot for the full set bonus. Which is the one that has the good stuff. The damage by your gloves is good, but I think the helmet is the yield, right? Yeah, so the helmet is the top priority. Oh man, the outfit's good as well. Which of those, if any, do I already have? I've already got minor gloves, so I need a minor outfit. Maybe I should kind of put these around. I'm never going to want these ranger gloves, why didn't I just... Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll scrap them, because I, um, I need armor parts, don't I? Yes, yes I do. Have you tried robotic sledges yet? Um, I have diddled around with them a little bit in my own time, but I've not done it on stream, and I would like to rectify that soon enough. All right, let's go and get all this experience, even though it raises the difficulty of the game. Didn't unlock anything new for us. Oakley doakley. Perhaps let's get a job done. Been a while since we've actually... Ow! Down with that sort of thing. Have I got any more trouble causing. I should just clear out all of the nonsense around here, shouldn't I? But I can do that later. Right, mini bike. Ugh. They want me now that I'm injured, don't they? Mini bike. Let's keep you fueled up. I was worried that would use all of my fuel, but it didn't. Excellent. We're on the road again. Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum. Yeah, the robotic sledges are part of my plan for my, dare I say, horde base. Will it work? I don't know. Probably not, but I will try it. I think the horde base will be a little bit similar to what I had in the last one, but it will be evolved. The trouble is the thought that I need to get that horde base erected in two days, and I can't see that happening easily. No concrete, no good building materials altogether, and a lot of things I want to do. So maybe I shouldn't be wasting my time with missions, instead I should be resource acquiring and horde base building. Such a severe lack of time in this entire run. Stop moving. I wonder if there's easy loot to get here. Well, it's easy when you know where it is, and I don't know where it is. 
This is just retrieve. Yeah, this is just a fetch quest, right? I don't even need to clear all the zombies, so. I should. And let's make doubly sure about that. Yeah, it's just a fetch. Easy. So let's see if we can find where the goods are. If I were goods in this kind of place, where would I be? I'd be up behind that barricaded door, of course. I've got somebody over here that wants a piece of my brand new good spear. He's horny, short for the Horned Reaper. He's chums with the Dungeon Keeper. How did Dan Bull live that one down? Probably because he knew what he was doing. It was actually a piss take. The Hand of Evil strikes again with the lyrics and then it just gives you this fade in of EA. Wow, my gamer senses are on point. Safe as houses. Secret weapons bag. I like secret weapons. Fetch any attack. Flashlight. So close. I don't need flashlight. I need a scope. It's a shame I'm not still under the influence of popping things open easily. I might hack that thing open with my pickaxe anyway. I'm in dire need of some good loot. All right, how long is this going to take? Uh, I guess that's not that bad. We're already one-fifth of the way through it. Probably need to repair this thing mid-operation, though. Is there stuff that I want to dismantle here? I'll have a quick look and see how my impact driver performs. All right. What's the odds that this was not worth my time? Pretty low. Armor up, tools digest, medicine, steel parts, bullets. Very, 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 very nice. I'm going to modify you straight away with that structural brace mod. Lower your degradation and deal extra damage. Actually, I should put that on the steel spear. Sorry, I know you've done a lot for me, pickaxe, but the steel spear... I need the extra damage on the thing. What do you mean I can't put it on? You can't have that and the tempered blade? Excuse me. All right, well, I'll put the structural brace mod on because this thing will make the pickaxe, assuming the pickaxe can have it. It cannot, oh, Jesus. All right, then. Wait a second, this didn't this didn't go the way I wanted it to, right? There you go. You're complete. And now you get modified and take that on. Satisfied? Maybe. Anyway, point is we took that. I really like that aspect of the game. There's a lock. What do you mean you don't have the key? Well, I don't care if I don't have the key. I'm just going to break it. Feels good. You know what, this is quite a few parts. Quite a few parts. Quite a few parts. <laughs> Who cares if we don't have the right animation for it? I am the key. I like it. There's a zombie in there, I think. Does that look like a zombie to you? Yeah, but he's not a problem. I think he's in an he's behind an invisible trigger. And we don't care, because we just come in and secure the loot. And that was so good, we're going to do it again! And even the car comes back. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, more impact for the impact driver. More better. Alright, nothing wrong with getting headlights. Headlights are good. A little too hasty. I missed this polymer. Polymers are good. I need to figure out where to put some dew collectors, somewhere that I'm going to go often, but also... Oh. 
also not too close to my main base, otherwise I'm going to attract witches and all sorts. Alright, fine by me. We're just going to do this again then. Don't know where the loot bag is, but this stuff probably takes precedence right now. <laughs> all those rocket launcher parts I'm going to need. All those chairs I'm going to need to disassemble. Save the radiators though. Radiators are for smelting whenever I have a forge. Oh, this is modded vanilla. Yeah, the game is largely vanilla. I have some quality of life mods. I have eight times the zombie spawns. Ambient ones, though, not uh, POI mod, uh, not POI zombies. But the biggest balance change is this. I have a massive inventory because I absolutely hate the inventory management of this game. Craft ammo, trap crafting, vehicle crafting. Although we don't craft our vehicles, we'll still learn it. More vehicle crafting, more trap crafting, a stun baton? That sounds like scrapping to me. But now that I think about it, it's worth 62. If I were to repair this thing, how much would it become worth? Whoa, okay, right. Repair things more often. If they're high quality, get them repaired. Impact driver, we're catching up. And I see no good reason not to just chip this thing wide open. I'm too high up for zombies to get to me, they'd have to break through something. And then I'm sure I'd hear them coming, much as they can hear me, using my uh, lock pick. Oh, that's right, normally I pin the mods that I use at the top of the thing. I keep forgetting that, because Twitch loves to auto-undo that. Hold your horses, hold your horses. Uh, hmm, where is it? Yes, this seems about right. Run and mods, info, link, post, and pin, and tell Twitch not to unpin it. I will be the one to decide when that happens. There we go, go. All right, where are the goodies? Fortifying grip mod? <laughs> another iron spear. All right, well, that one I'm just going to scrap down. Could I perhaps get this other grip on the thing? Yeah, there we go. Gain health, but only if you're on low health. Not a great trade in my view. I'm definitely just grabbing all these goods. So if you're not familiar with this game and you're wondering why I'm getting all these goods again, when you activate a mission on a place of interest commonly known as a POI, it resets the building. I could blow up this entire building until it's just a smoking crater in the ground, but if I then took a mission for the area, the entire building would come back to its normal self. I don't think I want to do that. I want to find where the... where the drop is. It's right below me here. Interesting. Let's see what's behind here whole lot of nothing. Hang on, hang on, I see that camera. That camera's coming with me. Are there any games you don't have the inventory management in? Don't have? Plenty of games have some kind of inventory management in. Maybe the question is ones that I don't mind. Avorion is always my go-to example. I think Avorion has a very good inventory management system. I think you're on the other side here. I don't. I do not want to drop down. Let's just do this. The reason I took a fetch quest is because it's nice and safe to do. Yeah, there we go. And we are not very powerful. We had a quest not too long ago where we had to deal with a rad zombie. That was not radical. It was an oh god, I'm going to die moment. Give me these back, please. Even the other one. Even the other one. All right, there we go. Got the goods and away we go, go. I'm sure there's plenty more to be having and scrapping here, but my time must be rationed. Holy smokes, all of these guys weren't happy about me getting up to no good. But I did get up to no good. Now you see me, now you do not. Whee! I'm coming, Bob. Although... 
Not before I have my filthy way with these vehicles. They don't know, do I? They don't know I'm here. They don't need to know I'm here. What are the speed values of the bike and the mini bike? And for that matter, the motorbike, if anybody has those to hand, please. Because I'm curious if normal riding on the mini bike is faster than fast pedaling on the bicycle. Because I'm pretty sure doing the super speedy mini bike uses a lot more uh, fuel than just going normal pace. Yeah, you did mean to say hate. Generally, Minecraft-style inventory like this, I do not like. But I also don't like weight-based systems, like Kingdom Come Deliverance. My rule of thumb is that an inventory system should never stop me from enjoying the game and interacting with its core mechanics. Looting is a very core mechanic in this game, but you are constantly hamstrung on, oh, I need to go and drop my loot off, or sell my loot, or triage my loot, because... My inventory filled up from doing half of this POI. That I do not enjoy. Well, there you. I knew I could count on you. Here you go. Oh, I was thinking about making one of these, and he's just giving one to me. Did I actually read up on how to make one? Yes. Now I feel like a fool, but I still. Your nose is so high in the air, you could drown in a rainstorm. I'm actually I'd wanting to make that. Too. Good job. Glue sewing kit, scrap polymers, cloth fragments. Yeah, I should just make one, so I don't want to take this as my prize. I'll take the bundle then. Unless... Robots degrade slower? Nah, give me the crafting lot, please. Fetch and clear. Clear zombies. Warehouse sounds nice, but the warehouse has goodies. Unless... <laughs> Fetch quests are actually a kind of good thing, even if it's lower tier for me right now. The danger is too high to take tier 3 zombie killing because of the severe risk of rad zombies. Harvesting tools, handgun crafting, rifle crafting. Well, the rifle crafting is certainly welcome. Motorcycle travels at 9 blocks out shift, 14 with the shift, 7 and 10 for the mini bike. But how about pedaling? Oh, there we go. Sprint speed, mini bike, and bicycle are the same. Huh. Makes one wonder why, then. Yeah, I don't trust that. I'm going to have to put down little building blocks for jumping over these. Because it does non-trivial damage running into those. All right, triage my goods. I got all these farming plot blocks. I may as well put them down right now, although that's more of a nighttime job. Let's do it anyway. These aren't really orientated the way I want them to, but whatever. These can always be picked up and moved along down the line. Now, what am I doing? This is a nighttime job. You are, for now, designated a crafting ingredient, even though I know you're not. Where are my farming blocks? There you are. For some reason I have no raw dirt. Hmm? Get out of my inventory. How's the smelting coming along? Wonder bar. Smelt that, please. And the battery goes in the battery home. You are a crafting ingredient, even though I like to sell you. You're a mod. Often I do a lot of dropping off of one item here and there. But I only need to drop off one item here and there later on. I wanted to smelt those down as well. And I just break them all down. Maybe plant those seeds. You're for selling. You're a raw. Once I have one of each item uh, in storage, just clicking the auto deposit items takes care of all of that for me. The game is very nice like that, or at least the mod is. Right, let's do some more jobs, although I would love to go out and cut down more wood. Not to mention plant. Yeah, that's something I should do with the farm plots. I should go somewhere, like, over there. Over somewhere. 
in the distance and make a tree area. Somewhere full of trees. What were the things I wanted to buy off of Bob? And where did I leave my mini bike? Over there. My favorite customer. What can I do you for? You want vehicles? You can buy my junk. Silver nuggets sadly don't go for much, but it's something. Now what was I eyeing up off of you? Certainly want your armor up books. Give me those. And I probably want seed crafting. Also, do you just have seeds? No, no, that's a wrecked thing. What a shame. That came with a full no money back guarantee. Let's go. I've got work to do. Yeah, the rad remover. Well, I'm hoping to just not run into any rads just yet. What's the cutoff for rads, if anybody knows? Rad zombies, that is. Let's do ourselves a favor and just get rid of a bunch of these trees. Gonna need them gone eventually. Glance around for some aloe vera. I see none. That doesn't mean they're not there, just that I don't see them. I have no honey. Right, I would love to cut, some, cut down some trees that have honey for me. Infection, currently a bit of a threat for me. Yeah, I was thinking as I rode around on this, is this minibike actually any faster? Oh! Oh god! I thought you were one of those carve up for meat zombies. And you've got a friend as well. Not a big fan of the soldiers, but the soldiers probably not a fan of my upgrade. Give me the cloth, give me the cloth, give me the cloth. You hurt me, I hurt you back. I'm just stealing everything. Let there be no evidence that- Ooh, pumpkin seed! Oh, this was worth it then. Let there be no evidence that you were even here. Not even your campfire. Not even your mini cooler. I bet it's made of polymers. Not even the stony soil? Not bad on the stones. Yeah, but I think hitting stone blocks is probably more worth my time. So I don't know what the growth rate for trees are in general, let alone desert or not desert, but what I've heard is that they grow better in... Uh, farming plots than not, so I think I'll take my remaining 20 odd farming plots and set up my tree forest a bit away from here. Maybe even, no, not in the city, I don't want to attract too much attention. Maybe just out here. I don't know how far away it has to be to not have horrible implications for um, for b -b 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 performance. Oh, hello, Wasteland. We like the Wasteland, right? Yeah, look at that. Everything just getting darker by sheer proximity to the Wasteland. I don't like it. I don't think I like my time over there at all. But there are a lot of cars. And just look at all these resources lying around to be harvested. CPU assassination. See, I don't know what it is that the trees are doing, but our experience during the last playthrough was when we have a lot of trees near our base, when they, when their growth stage goes up, they cause a huge amount of lag. 
for reasons beyond my understanding, because I struggle to imagine why that would be in any way performance intensive. We did get some honey, excellent. Big believer in having back up honey. Let's keep it right there. And that means I want to lock another one of these. And there's our locked goods. Very good. Let's go and do this job. Sad looking bike. I'll be happy to have the motorbike, but I think the motorbike costs something in the region of 30,000 simoleons. Now, my intention is to get so rich that 30,000 will not feel sore in any way. Drop off. I'm having that. Last time we grabbed one of those, it was really good. Is that it over there? I think it is. Stop covering it up. I want that. Really denigrated from the experience, in my opinion, having a marker where the drop points are. I want it to be a go and get it now, or make a good estimate of where it lands, or ignore it. I feel that flows a little bit better with what we're doing. Hmm, I hope that cloud persists for a while. At this rate, is it going to drop inside the city limits? Don't know why I thought it would only drop in the wilderness, probably because that's where all of them have dropped so far. Uh oh, how do I get over there? This is getting complicated. Too complicated. Crumbs. I don't like the idea of that smoke dissipating. Where did it land? Can it land on the roof of something? Hmm. This is bothersome. Where did it go? There's a problem, it's kind of dusty enough here already. Should I climb up somewhere to try and see if I can see it? It kind of felt like it landed around here. Oh, feral. Less of your feral nonsense, please. This is why I upgrade. Hmm. Oh, 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 Jesus. Any swan spot any plumes of smoke? This is a problem. Because uh, I do want that. Whoops! Oh, Christ. I not think I was dropping down that far. Yeah, it's the real drop. They're giving me the ambush drop. I'll be out of this so you don't mind. Oh, they mind. Ups a daisy, ups a daisy, ups another daisy. Come on, we're not here for any of this. I'm here for the airdrop. Where did it go? Is 
See, I'm not even sure if it was over here. It might have been far more over in that direction. But it's a question of uh, time investment to go and check in on that. Bullets are welcome. A lot of plant-related stuff here. What's in these? Nitrate? Eh. I'll take it. More interested in your polymers, of course. Isn't that the crate on top of the other building? Crate on top of the other building. Other building? That, perhaps? On top of Stein? Uh, that might just be Stein's drop, but we'll find out if we go and get it. Alright, Stein. Yeah, it should have an airdrop. A uh, load of smoke coming out of it, but it doesn't. It is the supply drop. Well spotted. Don't know why the smoke stopped coming out. Antibios, a mod. That's quite a lot of forged iron, though. And the books, including very well desired armor books. Sledgehammer, less so, but good find. That forged iron was pretty sweet. Captain Swalks might be a little less sweet. Let's just let sleeping sleeping Swalks lie. Right, now to get back to that job I was doing. All these people can just stay right here. That was very fortunate that it was uh, near where we were then. And even more fortunate that you noticed it. Well done. I would not have noticed that at all. I was looking for a plume of smoke, not the box itself. Clearly, that's my mistake. By the way, how close am I to making my own gasoline? Mm, quite far away. I need vehicle books, eight of them. How about needing vehicles, eight of them? I need to stop bringing my... I need to stop bringing my mini bike into such... Oh, God. Enough of this. I feel like a certain demographic of a driver here. Get out. Don't bother me. I've got a job to do, Doc. Get back to La Mulana. You need that thing done by Space Age. By the way, isn't Space Age right around the corner? Is anyone going to be streaming that? I have no intention of streaming it. I'm not even sure I'll buy it on release. But I am interested in watching it being played. The, sto the smoke stops once you get a certain distance from it. Oh, damn, okay. That'll be my problem right there. Lovely chubbly. Don't like you meandering your way over here, tons of fun. Hmm. I see they're opposed to me taking that final car. Is there an argument for doing light attacks so that you proc the dismemberment on the head more often? I was wondering about that. I don't know if you're more likely to do dismemberment on a heavy attack or not. Haven't run the numbers. Strudel told me to stream Space Age for you. Oh. Thanks, Sea Fusion. You're always there for us. Hey, is there a box of loot in there? Is there a box of loot in here at all? The Bendy Apartments, hmm. Well, radiators are loot. But I don't see box loot in there, and I'm not willing to go any further to try and find some. I was here for the vehicles, and I took the vehicles. Now let's get back on the job. This game is so much fun. And it's so much fun to be outside of that gosh darn burned forest. Burn Forest was a nightmare. I thought I saw a box of loot in there. 
just a box of loot sitting in the open. No, it wasn't a box of loot, it was whatever that is. What is that? Cement. And a cement mixer. Which I can't have, can I? What if I could, though? And what if I could have this uh, delicious snake? You know what, this little pit here might well be worth my time because I really like... Wait, what? Drugs. Well, yeah, that too. Ooh, good drugs. Yeah, we're unable to make cement, so if we're able to just grab it right here. Although this is just... It's not cement mix, is it? Yeah, not quite what we need then. What about you? Good amount of stones. I like good amounts of stones. Alright, let's move. Try not to get too distracted by all the deli- WIRE CUTTERS! Oh, yes! Oh, we can set up the electrical traps that we bought if only we had access to energy. And you know what Bob was selling? He was selling a generator bank. Might be worth getting that for the barbed- uh, the electrical fence. Mmm, look at all those vehicles. Look at all these vehicles around here. Holy moly, right. Needs must, and I must need. Oh, cripes. Oh, I thought you were something like a police dog, not a coyote or what have you. Good job alerting everyone to my presence. Yeah, look at them come. Okay, no thank you. Look at this, though. Want vehicles, want job, want everything. Want the vultures to go away. Tingle! No, no, and more no. The rosy rupee land must end. Nitro's planning a day one multi- ah, uh, multiplayer. Eh, that's not what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, so I know that little trick, Kane. I'm keen on giving it a go. Just as much as I'm keen on keeping a low profile right now. A lot of zombies over there that want a piece of me. Each. Alright, don't sweat it. Ooh, five skulls! Nice. One shot, one kill. Rotten meat is good. More rotten meat is also good. I sod this. I don't need the extra noise. Silence. Starting to question my decision here. Alright, just get the goods and it'll all be worth it. Seems perfect for a Horde Knight base. Yeah, if I clear it. I think we can make some assumptions on how it goes on a five sculler. Be quiet. Ratty wins again. No, you don't. Get down. That's the rat from Stronghold, but surely we've all played Stronghold here. I have it on good authority that every single person in this community is German. Worth it. Rotten meat is hobo stew. Rotten meat is farm plots. Rotten meat is good. You can just eat it raw, but you're going to hurt yourself more than you help yourself. Hmm. Bo 
Bones too. Bones are glue. Bones are bone knives. Wasn't I meant to be here for some cars? <laughs> There's so much loot in this game, too easy to get distracted. For some reason, we're treating human corpses as having animal fat. Don't think I didn't notice that pick up. Pumpkin bread, blueberry pie. Lovely. Wait, that's tier two food. I should not push my luck here, right? Grab the stuff that's out in the open and not bringing all the boys to the yard. Because we know this place can very easily turn into rad zombies galore, and that is not what I'm here for. Uh, you're not a big issue. Grabby fall guy is no more. Good pile of wood here, right? Uh, those were good piles of metal pipes, I believe, and I just let them collapse. Polymers, 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 polymers. Long pig. Polymers. Uh, I let it fall. Never let it fall. What is this? Clothes. Okay. Quite a few piles of clothes, I see. Cloth piles, I believe, can have legendary components in them. Ugh, to think I came here for the vehicles. But there are a little there are a few too many zombies spawning around here, so I think I will just take out Nez. PK spear to the face. Still want those vehicles though. That's what I came here for. What about the police car? Mm, I think not. Although no, no, that's far too risky. Princess Beatrice and Lupin. Ah, I was hoping I could just pot shot you, but nope. That is another kind of pot shotting, though. Lovely. Gosh, I just keep attracting too much attention here. Maybe I should do the job I was sent to do, huh? feels so much better having an actual weapon, though. That iron spear kept me good in the first area, but it was way outclassed in the burnt forest. There's a pretty scary trigger. Out the eyed, avoid tied to the button for the garage. Yeah, well, I don't intend on going there, that's for sure. Uh, although I could certainly go for that entire bus. That's where Princess Beatrice went over to. Sadly, I'm not sneaky enough to sneak up entirely. But maybe someday I will be. Money. Seeds. Seeds for pumpkins, and I know how to make pumpkin bread. Mm-hmm. Getting a good amount of lights. I think those headlights are 40 simoleons each, so that's pretty good. Getting pretty hungry is less good, but I'm sure we'll survive. Will we? Why would we not? Did someone say polymers? Did someone say a forklift? Well, I don't know, I'm not forklift certified. Yeah, I saw the box. Well, car devouring is the build I made from day one. Our very first build-related decision was to make the money to buy the wrench so that we could be a car devourer. So it should not be surprising anyone the way we've ended up making this. 
Shamway. I was just turning hungry, and you've got no food for... Uh, you know what, I'll eat that. I'll take the rest of your rubbish as well. That's a pathetic haul, but that's loot settings 50% for you. It's much worse than 50%. Is that another crate? Construction site box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> imagine that as your end of POI loot. I don't want to imagine that. That's tragic. Is there any good use for corn flour at all, by the way? In my experience, it's just a way to make yourself thirsty. We can look at it, can't we? Here's our cornmeal recipes. Oh, that's an expensive recipe, but not insurmountable. Actually, that's a pretty good way of turning all that into better food. But cornbread makes you thirsty. Pumpkin bread doesn't make you thirsty. It costs a pumpkin, though, and it still costs the water without giving you thirst or bringing down your thirst. Ah, yes, the future vod. I will watch as I study to fail my exams. I won't spoil this for myself. But I'm passing by, hoping you're having a good time. Well, I'm usually having a good time, and this is no exception, so thank you. Where did all these zombies come from? I'm here to do a fetch quest. Leave me be. I'll give them the slip around here. Or will I be overcome by the greed of tearing apart this vehicle? Or any of these vehicles. How about every of these vehicles? We are speedy, we are stealthy. Surprisingly stealthy, actually. Uh, I didn't see what that book did. I should have read it first. I thought it was just a regular spear guide, but... Nothing regular about it. This lady has a name, doesn't she? I don't think Wen Shou is her name. Alright, what what uh, spear-related book did we just get? Mm, spear Hunter. It was either Degrade Slower, Bleeding Damage. I think it was a Bleeding Damage. I'm pretty sure I didn't have that. Bleeding Damage is lame in this game. But it's better than not doing Bleeding Damage. Bleeding is like burning. Although I'd actually say Bleeding is better. Oh... Downed opponents suffer 50% more damage from power attacks. Hell yes! We are becoming the spear master at this rate. How many more do we need? Just one more. Then we do 10% more damage and kills with spears refill stamina. Phenomenal. Okay, we want to be all over that. It just says refill stamina. How much does it refill? If the answer is all, then uh, that would be an amazing build for a Malay Horde Knight, especially considering the penetration. Wasted pass and gas. Yeah, I'm guessing this does not have a loot box. But it does have a bunch of core cripes. You get out of here. Didn't expect a vulture as part of a zero skull area. They're a pain to deal with, so they are. Also, the day's wearing on. I should get this job done. But I keep getting distracted by fat lots of loot. And how could I not? It's so fat. I don't trust these. You can catch fire standing on top of these glowing embers. Stick our fingers in the register and actually grab some decent money. Not bad. Murky water is also surprisingly not bad. Nasty. They infected me and sprained my leg with that little glancing shot. Wait, wait, were you on the ceiling? I was just on the ceiling. 
Unfortunately, we don't have a big need to run or jump currently. So it should be fine. Lights might be worth a wrench. Were you the one that sprained my leg? You're certainly not helping matters. Lights might be worth wrenching now, since you can get them in one hit. That's quite a lot of mechanical parts. Hadn't thought to look up and grab those. Okay. I had no good reason to expect there to be a loot box here, but I did want to check. Alright, that's all she wrote here. Let's move on. Unless... Unless... Well, there's a wall safe, but I'm not about to try my luck at picking that. Secret weapons, on the other hand. Good lord, there's a lot of zombies around here. How could this happen? Kick them when they're down. We do bonus damage. However, the sprain in the leg does weaken us against feral zombies like you. Oh, yeah, I could certainly do with that regain stamina on kill. When there are so many to bring down. Hello, ATM. Tempting to just pick that open with my uh, lockpick. But I do have a job to do. <laughs> if I can deign to remember for even a moment. I want this though. Good thing it was a leg sprain and not an arm sprain. That'd be a different story. Laser Kiwi, get out of my face. I've got ATMs to lighten up. How is this game still so popular? What do you mean still so? This game only came out, what, in the past month or two? I know it's been in early access forever and a day, but I don't do early access, so for me, this game only just came out, and it's great. I expected it to be a train wreck, but it's not. Or if it is a train wreck, it's a highly amusing one. Why is it when I tune in, you're always breaking open an ATM? Because it's free money. Takes a bit of time, sure, but... The payoff is, I believe, better than a car. Oh my, look at all these cars. This is definitely costing me more time than I should be spending here, but the needs must. You know. Why am I so injured? Holy heck. Uh, I got dinged a lot worse than I thought back there. I suppose I am hungry, which is also lowering max health, but it'll be good to get back to base and eat some of my food. Is that a fit? That is indeed a crispy feral. 
Okay, this is getting a little, by a little I mean a lot, dangerous. Very glad I had this SMG at the ready. Jake, you have a job to do. I'm aware I've got a job to do. But you think we could double dip it? Even with my uh, crummy leg? Gammy leg not making my life easier here. Yeah, you'd think I never left the burning forest. You got a base to build. A base can be built at night. All right, never mind the double dipping, because I don't know where the loot is here. Ooh, well, something to be said for vehicles being loot in their own right. At least the uh, crispy zombie didn't respawn. All right, no sense skimping on this. No sense at all. We have aloe aplenty and cloth is cheap, so just do that. I don't know if I have the tech to make cloth fibers, though. Part of the reason that I really like fetch missions is that they work well into... Is this a door? Huh. Yoink. They work well into the game being such a Minecrafty game, because you can just bulldoze down a wall to make your way in and whatnot. Let's get our stretch arms over there. Blueberries for blueberry pie. Empty. Oh, oh, into the cash register we go. We take the money. We take the jukes. We take the register itself. Oh, I'm in your soda machine as well. Oh, that was a structural support soda machine. Life is good, but Rome citizens hunger for more. All right, let's hobble our way out of here. Sprained leg or not, we can still mini-bike our way out of here. Another vehicle, you say? Well... Aku wouldn't settle for partial obliteration, and neither shall we. Oh my, look at all these, look at all these. I want them. Give. 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 Give way. Whew. A cracker book. High quality loot location right there because we are on severe book austerity. Always time for crack, crack a book. Maybe not with a sprained leg and a couple hours till nightfall and you get back to Bob. Hmm, the vet. I wonder if there are a bunch of zombie dogs in the vet. You know what? This is actually worth checking on the way back of all bleeding places, because these have a high chance of seeds. Of course, this being low loot settings, they have a high chance of bugger all. I think it was some pumpkin seeds right there. High chance of cash register. Oh yes, don't mind me. Just pirating this. Hmm. Forgive me for hoping for better. Seeds in your CD trash? No, but cloth is still welcome. Eh, I tried. Ooh, how about the lights? Uh, it's something. And something beats nothing. Still many orders of magnitude more loot than interloper. 
So they actually put out a dev diary the other day for The Long Dark. Seems we're going to have this DLC finished by the end of the year. Although people waiting on episode 5 are going to have to wait a little longer. Sucks to be them. But that ain't me. I'm not an episode lover. Quite the opposite. I really do not like the episodic content of The Long Dark. Hey, my sprain's gone. But I've already looted your car. Okay. Uh, already done. Hello, Bob. Great Scott. Gas prices went up again. I'm prouder than Who's setting the gas prices? Definitely crafting skill magazines. Yes. Any more jobs? <laughs> no, I'm not doing night jobs. I think we'll wait until tomorrow to get a new job then. And let's actually remember to wear our enforcer glasses this time. You name it. Old Bob's got it. That's not true. Right, what am I selling? What am I selling? Do I even want these nomad boots? Run speed. Despite the heavy armor? That's tempting. What are my current boots? Uh, quite like the salvage stamina of the scavenger boots. Hmm. But run speed is nice. Eh, I'll part with them. Bye bye. Fat blueberries. I gotta smelt these radiators down. How many engines are you willing to buy off of me, Bibbly Bob? Sell the auto weapons thing. 10% more damage to safes. Ooh, that's useful. I wonder if that works on ATMs. Uh, sell my batteries. I'm not a big believer in steroids. Although they're an emergency item, aren't they? I'll still get rid of them. Nobody needs that many springs in their life. Nobody needs headlights in their life. Dosh is dosh. Hmm. Anything else to part with? Uh, the clothing mesh mod is a waste of time. Alright, we got plenty of dosh. What was I looking to buy? Possibly steel tool parts. These things are great, but... I was also thinking about the generator bank. But I'd rather have a battery bank if you had one of those. It doesn't appear to, though. Because I could get this, turn it on with blade traps and help out in certain situations. Nah, I'm struggling to see a use for that currently. The blade traps, though, I do want. Give me those. I'm sure I'll get a battery bank at some point. He sells plenty of bank-related things. That rad remover is sorely tempting. I think I have to take it. Yeah, I'm going to need that. The armor plating mod isn't good enough. I want his better armor plating mod. But maybe it's one of those beggars and choosers moments. I guess I'll take it. Yeah, the, U, the UI in this game is dire. No question about that. But we make do. Level 3 steel pickaxe. I'm fine with level 1 for now, especially given the price of this thing. I want the tarp and I want the gatherer. So give and give. Water filter I don't think is worth the effort. Did I ever find another cooking pot and grill? I don't think I did. No, I would have taken them over if that were the case. Do I need another pair of them? Only if there's nothing else worth buying. And I certainly don't need this junk. All right, I will. Sucks to buy a grill. I have some more of those in the back room if you're interested. Not right now, Bob. Fall damage, melee damage, mining, harvest. I don't think it's worth it for the six minutes you get. But I would like another mega crush. I can't afford it, but I still would like one. One is great for getting out of jail, but I would like more for getting out of super jail. Any deaths today? Absolutely not, Young. Although the first night here in the desert was horrifying, because it was already nighttime when I arrived. Alright, there we go. You just stay right there, wee minibike. And since we have learned that we cannot trust jumping over this, give ourselves a little... Ooh, aloe plant. We like aloe vera. I don't think the zombies are smart enough to do this, but there we go. I can make this jump, but I fail it more often than I like, so 
Leave it not to chance. So I would quite like to just dig down in general. I might make this my digging area. Which means I should start. What kind of digging shape should we have? Part of me thinks five by five. Although if I'm doing something like that, how about we make sure that we have a way out of this nonsense? Also more aloe vera for more healing, because we hurt. It's gonna be horrible to discover that the zombies know how to use that. All right, we're learning all sorts of things about harvesting. We're learning all sorts of things about not spending our skill points. What did I want to do for them? I think I wanted the farmer. There we go, Farmer Jake is in full control of the situation. I'm also going to take Pain Tolerance because dying is such an enormous setback. What encourages the player to go to different biomes? Some different materials available, for example, getting yucca plants and... Uh, aloe vera here in the desert but also the loot goes up the more dangerous the area you go to and that's a pretty compelling argument in itself the danger also goes up however not that we needed more danger here i don't think i can count to five very well all right anything to worry about yeah food and drink and by worry about drink, I mean eat all the nasty thirst-causing foods that you have first. Make sure your health is high so that the damn vultures don't go for you. These things give high of health a pop, so that's A-OK. -okay. Put on anything we need to forge or smelt, and then we get to work. Alright, that should do us nicely. You are dehydrated. Find something to drink. Oh, don't I know it. Take that off. Put that in. Get out our bare hands and slurp, slurp, slurp. Didn't he die to biker zombie? What are you talking about, young? I think you've been dreaming about me again. Certainly died on my first run, right, when I was getting to know the game. Who would have thought? Man is not perfect at game, first time he picks it up. Alright, surely we're good with that. We are slaked. Still kind of hungry though, right? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Right, what is the best thing to have a rad remover on anyway? Honestly, my lever action rifle. Since that's most likely what I pop the rads with first. It's got an extra slot though. I might still keep the flashlight on just for the extra damage. Also, be sure to keep it reloaded. It was a nasty surprise to learn that every time you open up and modify um, a weapon, it unloads. Let's make sure we've got our grills going in there. So does that mean, I don't know, uh, keep plenty of fuel in you. You make me <laughs> nothing right now, it seems. What can you do for me? Bacon and eggs. We like bacon and eggs. Don't use all my eggs because I want to be able to ditch them there in a hurry. I got more meat. Just grill it up as is. You got all that glue. Glue is good. Also, forging is good. I think that's enough clay for now. Get that out of here. Get these radiators smelted down. We like radiators. We also like 762 ammo. Much as we can, please. Oh, that's not a lot. What's our problem? Bullet tips. Bullet tips need lead. So we're going to need to forge down some lead. All the more reason I'd like multiple forges, but uh, once we're a bit richer, we'll be able to have specialized forges. 
Come back when you're a little mm, richer. Uh, not modify. I want you fully repaired, if you don't mind. I can already feel that SMG breaking on me at an important moment, but for now, I'm sure we're okay. More bandages, please. More bandages means more aloe cream. And also, I don't believe I've ditched all my stuff sufficiently. There we go. Tear apart the chairs. Armor, ammo. I don't know about traps thing yet. I think. I think. I think. I think. I want one. Wood storage crate. Get. <laughs> We're busy with all this other stuff. That's fine. We'll have that in a moment's notice. That's a seed. That's also a seed. I don't really think I want to grow chrysanthemums here. So I just shove them over here for now. Pops make beer, and beer is good for selling. Buckshot is ammo. It's funny, I thought I had buckshot here. I think I left my buckshot behind in the other place. More damage to safes, more harvesting stuff. Armor plating. Can't stack different kinds of armor plating. You've already got pocket mods up the wazoo, so I think we'll shove it on our shoes. It's just 1% less damage to take, but it all stacks nicely. These meds are good, right? So there's our emergency antibiotics if I end up infected and cannot cure it. Happy days. More first aid bandages. They're incredibly useful. You may want to look into making blueberry pie. Yeah, I was looking into that. What was the problem with it? Eggs. Eggs are not trivial to come by, although I'm not drowning in blueberries either. Hmm. Keep chugging that down, my friend. And then put on those. Pop this open and learn how to make seeds. Hey, we make pumpkin seeds. Make robotics and make better spears. Keep those radiators smelted down for vast amounts of brass. Radiators, so, so good for brass. You can just uh, tear them down by hand, but you'll get more returns if you forge them. What was this again? I believe this is traps. For now, I don't have a lot, so take my tool cutters, take my blade traps, and I believe I left some traps behind in crafting ingredients. Something here was designated trap, and I'm sure it wasn't. But I see nothing. Where were those electrical bits that I got then? Maybe I put them under... Am Here we go. Fence posts and those auto turrets. They all count as traps in my book. Junk, junk. And junk. Crafting ingredient. You're busy doing a whole lot of not much for me. That's food, that's food. That's some delicious water. All right then, and let's craft. No, craft is the wrong word. Let's plant what we have here. There's not a lot of rhyme or reason to how these things are put down here. Once we have a good sustainable point, we'll just be We'll putting, be putting them into a bit more of an orderly pattern, I imagine. All right. Liking how I'm not seeing zombies around me. That's very promising. Maybe I've killed enough zombies that it doesn't want to spawn any for a while. With that in mind, I'm going to clear the ground I don't like how busy the ground is. Too many things going on on the screen to distract me from what I wouldn't really need to pay attention to, which is all the zombies floating around. Just takes one nasty rad zombie coming in here and I'm in a very, very bad situation. 
Although maybe rad zombies can't spawn yet. We did meet one last time. Can you dig an anti-zombie ditch? Yes, but I wouldn't want to dig a ditch right now because the zombies can spawn... Um, well, anywhere outside of 15 blocks from my sleeping bag. But I don't think it's likely that they're going to spawn within my fence here. The reason I'm putting down flooring on the ground is that zombies, I'm told, but have not confirmed, do not spawn on player-placed blocks. So the idea is eventually the entire base will have my blocks on the floor. They're just plywood for now. Eventually they will be probably a normal wood. I don't see any need to cobblestone my floor. It'll be good experience upgrading all of my floors when we get to it. The green pillars signify the edge of my base. Thinking about it, I could probably turn them off since the edge of my base already signifies the edge of my base. There we go. Let's get rid of that visual clutter. By the way, I still want those bullets, so let's stack you, stack you, and... Begin with the lead smelting. Get some lead into here, and that'll allow me to make some bullet tips. For the bullet tips are needed to make the 762 ammo, which is otherwise locked due to lack of gunpowder. So with that in mind, let's make as much gunpowder as we can. Whew, that's rather a lot, but I'm going to want rather a lot, so make it so. I see no better use for my nitrate powder, considering I already have more farming blocks than I can use currently. Hmm, you know what? I would like a bone knife. Hmm, don't like having this fool. You know what? Molotov cocktail has proven to be one of the most useless items. It just doesn't do damage. I'm very unhappy with fire's performance in this game. Especially coming from State of Decay, where fire is such a solution to most of your problems. Well, fire won't save you from one big nasty zombie, but it's excellent crowd control. In this game, what f what use does fire have at all? It can't even kill a regular zombie, and it doesn't slow them down. It just makes a big burning angry zombie come chasing at you. It also it doesn't do area of denial for the zombies, but it does do area of denial for you. I don't understand. I, I don't think fire is balanced here. Yeah, so those green boundary things would stop enemies, stop zombies respawning in POIs, the places of interest. But this isn't a POI, this is just out in the open. I decided this time, rather than take over an area, I would build my own little base. Feels a bit cozier when you do it that way, in my opinion. Also, you can have everything just the way you want it. Like so. If fire was buffed, then the torch would be too good of a weapon. Well, different weapons can do different fire damage. The torch only does one fire damage for anything that you hit, which is laughably pathetic. Mm, this looks good. All right, give me those bullet tips now. They're nice and fast to make. I'm more than a little curious what the ground is underneath the topsoil. Oh, there we go. There are some zombies hanging around. I don't particularly want to alert them to my position by shooting one of them. They don't look like ferals after all, so if they do come any closer, they'll just fall dead to my traps. Mm. So this is clay and sand. That would be great if I were in the business of making concrete, but regrettably I'm not in the business of making concrete, not for lack of desire but for lack of concrete mixer. You know, quiet enough down here not to arouse suspicion. I know they made noises, but I don't think that was the noise of knowing that I'm up to no good. Mm. 
Even though it's just digging a pit, this is still resource acquisition. And therefore still important. And those blocks hang onto the edge there, so they don't need any support underneath them. Also, I can jump up even while crouched. There's even a stealth book that'll allow me to not make any noise while jumping, I believe. Or at least crouch jumping. Oh, stone. Good, because I need stones. Oh, more stones. Kind of hard to differentiate you from the ground, but I'll take it. This ain't Rimworld. Sandstone is as good as any other stone. In Rimworld, it's all granite all the way down. It is the most powerful of the minerals. Striking the earth like this could easily spawn some witches. But the witches would probably run into my spike traps and die. I hope so. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with heat in this game. Heat is what you build up when you do jobs like this in one specific chunk. But yes, these stones are very welcome. In fact, I should be turning it into cobblestone as we speak. That's a lot of cobblestone. Let's limit that a bit, shall we? They would, they dumb. We have so much in common. If you do mining like this, do it while crouched. That reduces the amount of heat that you build up doing it by half, I believe. Okay, there we go. Nice to actually get resources. Stone. I have long been desiring some stone. Stone in good quantities, that is. I mean, sure, stumbling into a nitrate seam or an iron steam down, stream down here. Seam would be nice. I'm perfectly satisfied with stones. In fact, one could say... I am dangerously satisfied by stones. In an ideal world, I pick up about... Well, lots of stone. Yeah, approximately lots of stone would do me just fine. Wasn't I meant to pick some miner gear? I don't think I had the goods for it, but if I'm doing something like this, miner gear would be very welcome. Yeah, they don't know what's going on. And if any of them had tried to come in, they've died to my wee spiky traps. Wonderful. All right, if you're not doing much other than that, uh, well, you are doing that. Mm. Give me the bullets and continue to smelt down my radiators, please. As says Molotov, I'm not hanging around with one errant Molotov in my inventory. Get out of here. It helps with the heat. But the girls are still coming eventually. Yeah, but then you just kill them. What's the problem? The problem, of course, is if they spawn a bunch of rad zombies on me. Right, so what were we looking at when it came to miner gear? I have the miner gloves. Currently ore damage, not a big concern for us, huh? Hmm. I actually wish I had a little robotic drone with me. The one thing I'd want my drone to have are my different armor sets, so I don't need to keep... Uh, Fishing them in and out. Is there anything we're doing other than mining tonight? Nothing comes to mind. I would love that miner helmet, though. Miner helmet, even at level 3, I think is worth my time. So I will actually craft you. Wasn't the outfit worth my time, though? Reduces stamina cost. I will do that then. Again, even though it's level 3. 
But the boots... Well, the boots would get the set bonus, but I don't think that degradation is worth it at all. It only costs a measer, uh, measly uh, repair kit for it. What about my regular get-up, though? We've got the gloves, we've got the preacher outfit. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I particularly need right now. So get back to making me first the 762 ammo, which I'm desperately short on. Yep. And then get back to gunpowdering, pretty please. As much as you can. I'll wear that and wear that. And I'll wonder what I'm doing with all these farm plots. Maybe I should make like a little farming chest over here. I don't want to get in the way of my queue right now. For now, I will call you a crafting block, and you'll be happy with the designation. Get these bullet tips out of here, get the seed out of here. Ah, I know it's far less action-packed than what we were seeing last stream, and you know what? My heart is grateful for that. I need these low points just to, just to calm down a bit with. Also, cobblestone rocks stack to 1,000. Sad news for me. It's not a raw, it's not really a crafting ingredient, it's a building ingredient. I'll need to triage that later on. But for now, I've got diggy diggy work to do. I did put the helmet on, right? Yeah, good. Helmet, gloves, and. No, I didn't put the gloves on. Even though I was looking at those gloves. There we go. Don't like the way those zombies are acting over there. But down we go, go. Mmm, yield. I yield, I yield. Never should have come here. One great thing about this game is you can make it as calm or as dangerous as you want at the given moment. Mostly yes. They want in. That's okay, Christopher Robin's getting himself killed. Christopher, I thought we were friends. <laughs> you think that gives you power over me? Boy. Winnie the Pooh's home run derby was something else. Adding a second block as stairs or ramps would save all the jumping. I think it's fine. I can still crouch jump my way out of here. Plus, I don't want to complicate matters too much. I'm just here to get a job done. Keep it simple, stupid. The kiss method. Mm, Sunday 14th already. Harrowing how quickly time passes when you're on the five-day timer. The fun thing about the stones that I'm getting is that they can stack up into stacks of 6,000. Stack of small stones. Ah, you need the art of mining. I didn't know that. Crumbs. I thought we just knew how to stack stones up. Okay, that's not ideal, but I can still work with that. Can still work with that. I think I'll take my acres and start making my forest tomorrow. If it causes performance issues, at least I can bring back my... Oops, not that. Be strong. I can bring back my farm plots. 
by digging them back up. I think you need to put a land claim block down to do that, but I'm not 100% sure. It's starting to feel like a very dangerous pit for zombies to come falling down into, but we should get advanced warning about that. We would hear them break through our little wooden defences. Is that a screamer I heard? That might be worth coming out of my pit for. Might be worth coming out of the pit generally, given the night is almost done. Get it back on, get it back on, get it back on. And put it away. Gloves, torso, helmet. Easy peasy. I didn't have any performance issues when I placed like 10 of them, but I spaced them out a fair bit. Yeah, I placed 100 of them, and I definitely felt the performance. There we go, actual ammo, finally. Haven't had this much ammo since before I met that radiated zombie who ate most of it. It was a harrowing experience. Hmm, what are we doing here right now? The food and drink situation is A-OK. -okay. The smelting is continuing unabated. I have rather a lot of stones. Stones are raw. So in they go to the raw pile. I'd really just like to get some digging done. Digging and general resource gathering done. Hmm. But also the forest planting. Yeah, there's nothing stopping that happening as well. What was the color again? I should really make a note for this. Brown is metal, white is nitrate. Gray is something and black is shale. That means gray is stone, right? That doesn't sound like everything. What's lead? Maybe grey is lead and stone isn't coloured. Hmm. Definitely want more forges. How many forges can one man make? With all of this, I could make three more with three wooden logs. I think I'll do that. Wood log. One, two, three. Craft it for me. And then forge one, two, three. But I want designated and dedicated forges. Yes, yes I do. Said I wouldn't do this until I'm richer, but now I just want to do it. Give me those three forges. And since it might be troublesome to get access to the uh, place I'm placing them on anyway, let's go... Yeah, what the heck. Cobblestone. But not cement, heavens no. I'm gonna need a lot of wood to fuel these forges though, hmm. Yeah, rather a lot. What's your problem over there, son? Your problem is that you're dead, Snake. But you also have a big fat friend. Am I willing to shoot the big fat friend? I don't think people will notice me shooting the- Oh, hang on, he did want to go up and over. Well, Anton did... Oh god, that didn't take care of him. And he was a uh, feral fat freak. Now he's a dead feral fat freak. Can you do advanced flipping of these things? No, it appears not. It's not giving me the prompt to do so. Alright, what are these things going to do for me? I'm thinking stone for now. Put about 400 odd wood into each of them. And then... I really should make a building 
pile for all this. Crafting ingredients, batteries, da 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 I should have something here that's just building ingredients. Oi! Yeah, yeah, you get down there and die. A few of those. I can't space for one, two, three of them right there. So you here are... That is a rad zombie. Go down, Tanzra. Yeesh, you'll just wander around and make a mess of these. That's uh, a little scary to know that these things will just idly spawn. And it looks like they won't despawn with the coming of the morning. Hmm. Hmm. Less of that, please. Okay, you just... Yeah, just do what you were doing there. It's fine by me. Yeah, they heard I came in on some ammo. They figured they'd lighten my load a bit. So, 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 I believe I called you the wrong thing. Right, let's take out all the building materials. Farm blocks are building materials. And that's about it for this. Uh, buckets are building materials. Building materials. Get in the cobblestone, some cement. Stones are not a building material. Buckets, farm plots, cement, sand. Eh, sand is arguable. No, sand is a raw, but cement is not. However, these are coming with me. Why? Because they're going in here. Get going. Kind of wish I had the nice things for speeding up the smelting of these, but these things rather nicely melt down into stones, quite a lot of stones. And I have a lot of dirt, so I can make more with that. That's essentially going to be the stone part of my economy. I would also like some brass part of the economy, but that's going to take a bit to take off, I think. Smelt down the rest of these radiators, and... Hmm, what else to smelt down? More iron? Probably comes a point where you have enough iron in you. But we're not at that point, so get to work. Hey Jake and chat, do you have an end point where you'll be done? Or is an end built into the game? I'm enjoying this. So I haven't figured out an end. Have not figured it out at all. The end is never the end, is never, etc. Okay, nothing to worry about. Let's just have our morning breakers of grilled corn that makes us thirsty for some reason. I've never felt thirsty after eating corn. Not on the cob, at least. And then we put on our nasty, disgusting filter so we can drink the piddle water. I don't like the switching out. I wish my enforcer shades had another slot so I could put it on those instead. Actually, if I made better enforcer sunglasses, I could do exactly that. Do I have enough left over? Oh, baby, yes. And that will increase my bartering skill as well. Sweet. All right, I'm doing that then. Do that. Then make all of the gunpowder ever. We're going to take off the cigar. We're going to scrap that down. Ditch things in general. Make sure the enforcer sunglasses is something that I keep on me. I'm missing something I keep on me at all times, and I don't know what. Give that its cigar, give it its piddle water thing as well. Take that off, put that on, modify you to have the piddle drinker. Continue to shove everything away, keep it sorted. Yeah, I think I'm missing honey and something else from my always have on me kit. Oh, it was the piddle drinker, wasn't it? That is rather convenient. There we go, and that actually saves these from needing to be locked. And that means now when I need to drink from the well, I just put on my cool shades, and then we realize we're too cool to get dysentery. They're planning on putting an end game into this. 
I suppose State of Decay has an end game, and it's quite a nice thing to build towards, so... No shame there. You there, you're making a bunch of stones. That's good, we'll have you make more stones later on. I uh, also need to put down my water collectors somewhere. Somewhere I go often. Maybe over here, actually. You think that's far enough away not to cause me problems with, um... Screamers? I don't know, because I don't have a good feeling for how heat works. But maybe I should do it anyway. Yeah, I need access to lots of water. How many dew collectors can I make? Absolutely none, because I have no duct tape. Alright, how much duct tape can I make? Absolutely loads. Alright, uh, make me a bunch of it. How are we on those dew collectors again? I need four each, so I can put down five. Five seems reasonable. I believe I called my dew mods mods. Dew, 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 more dews. Excellent. So yeah, let's set up the water part of the economy then. We're going places now. Heat affects 9x9 nine nine chunks outside of that. Yeah, but how big's a chunk? Unless by chunk we mean a single square, like that. I wouldn't call that a chunk. I'd imagine a chunk is a collection of squares, but I don't know. Yeah, there's the question. How big is a chunk? Riddle me that, if you please. Sixteen. Ooh, that's a rather large zone, then. Hmm. Then maybe that's too... Maybe that is too close. Dunno, really hard to say. Now surely that's so far away that it's not going to be a problem with heat. And you know what, even if it is a problem with heat, we just kill the screamers, right? They run into my spiky traps and horribly die. Well, not rad screamers. Yeah, chunk is 16 by 16. Yeesh. How far is one of these squares, then? One square is a meter, right? Yeah, one square is a meter. If a chunk is 16, that's essentially needs to be 160 meters away, then. 200 to be safe. Alright, that'll be our dew point, then, I think. Right there. Ugh, but I wanted it to be somewhere we kind of always go en route. How far away is that? Ooh, okay, we can actually quite safely put it out in the desert-ish area here. So no big deal going, say, there. Alright, maybe that's where we'll have all of, all of our dew. Right around the hill area here. Alright, very good. Have I made these dew collectors yet? No, I was looking at them. I wanted to make five. We shall make five and place them down there. So we solve the water part of our problems. Get loads of water, so we can have loads of glue, so we can have loads of duct tape, so we can have loads of everything. <sighs> okay, what are we doing now? Check with Bob, check with Jobs, get Cracker Book done. I don't think I have anything to sell to Bob or otherwise care that much about. These cobblestones I have, by the way. Take all but one of them in there, please. And how are you doing? You did my radiators, so get that iron smelted faster. Hick! Pardon me. You've got the gunpowder. Leave the gunpowder where it needs to be. Keep this sorted. Keep it cool. Perhaps even too cool. So somebody on YouTube had this fantastic idea, and I instantly agreed with it. If I die on a horde night, I do not get to loot the horde night loot drops. And then somebody here, I think it was Lona, sounded like a horrific idea Lona would have. If I, if I do have that happen, I have to open them up and look at the loot, but I'm not allowed to take it. All right, any jobs for me? A fetch quest. I'm all about fetch quests. If you need some work, if it gets too nasty, get the hell out. You looking to rev your engines? 
He won't have anything new, right? It's just got the same stuff that we saw before. Those water filters, I don't think are worth it. Nah, far from it. Steel pickaxe, up a level sounds good, but eh. <laughs> Short arms and deep pockets. I know some people from Yorkshire that I could use that for. Alright, jolly good. I really do need to get my hands on some more honey, though. Correction, Jake, it's a 3x3 three three chunk for heat, not 9x9. Nine nine. Oh, man, now i got to redo my calculations. Better to have the right info than not, but okay, 3x3, three three, so that needs to be 3... Uh, blah, blah, blah. How big was a chunk again? A chunk is 16x16 16 16 and it's 3x3. Three three. Add one for more, so it's 4, 4, 16, 30, so I want it to be about not very far away. Well, does that mean this still works, then? That works fine! Sweet! Could you just put it on the opposite side of the trader, then? Yes! Yes, that is good. That is even better. Because I want the dew collectors to be somewhere that I'm practically always going to. line the roads with dew collectors. Got to be careful not to put them too close to Bob, though. We learned a valuable lesson that you cannot pick it up if it's right next to the uh, trader, even if you put down a land claim block. Oh, nice. Dew collector stack. They're also sometimes very difficult to place. There we go, go. Get me more, get me more, and get me more, get me more. These are amazing. And I believe every trader always stocks those items. And I have no reason to believe that the AIs will ever aggro on those things. Why would they? They don't get in the way. Famous last words, I'm sure. I definitely want to stop by crack a book and then do the fetch quest. Very tempted about that vet, though. Right, what could possibly be in a vet? I must satiate my curiosity. No need to worry about dogs if they don't have dog houses, huh? It's only a two-sculler. How bad could that be? I don't trust this thing. No need to worry. Mmm. And that stuff isn't difficult to get thanks to all the aloe around here, but I'm still grateful. I'm also grateful for the opportunity to just steal everything. Up, are you? No, but you are going to get into my farm plot. This is very suspicious. What is inside? Mm, nothing of great import, it seems. Actually, corn seeds, a uh, great thing to have. More corn, more food. Corn might make me thirsty, but we've largely solved the thirst problem with all those dew collectors. Or so I'm going to insist we believe in. <laughs> Bye, Goost. This feels untrustworthy. Horned Reaper is there with a huge amount of health. What? Is that a white? It is a white, isn't it? I never made that bandoulier, and I said I would. Where is he and what's he doing? Uh, 
He's being incredibly fast is what he is. You see the way he just legged it over there. Stop being so scary. That's more like it. Get caught up on. Oi! God, I love parkour. What would I do without it? I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd die. Whites are very, very scary. I didn't realize they were that fast, though. I don't think I could outrun that. Well, I could crush Juice outrun that, but would he give me the time to do so? I don't think so. Because on top of everything else, whites uh, do a lot of damage. Speaking of lots of damage, that's what we do to wall safes now. We read a book. I think someone doesn't want me hacking this safe. Sounds like they're just barely outside, though. Let's not uh, chance that, shall we? Alucard will die. Daddy issues intact. All right, well picked. And, ooh, agility mod. So I'm not here because I think this is great. I'm here because I'm curious. I saw a vet. I thought, what could the vet possibly have? And that's something I like about this game. It's very good at giving me intrinsic motivation. I do things in this game because I want to do them. But it's also uh, extrinsic. There's fat loot. I want the loot. I think I can hit these things for acid now, right? Well, that one didn't, but I still think I can. Okay, corn. I guess all cabinets are just treated as food cabinets. Forgive me for ex uh, expecting some medicines here. What the... Wouldn't be a POI without zombies coming out of the rooftops. Well, that was out the ceiling there. Classic seven days to die. I believe you were made of polymers as well. Polymer, 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 polymer. Not a lot, but it's still poly... Zangief. Ah, damn. So hard to sneak up properly like this. Yeah, these cattle feed things. Good for getting that fee, uh, the seeds. It's called greed. No, no, no. I'm trying my best to justify it. We don't use the G word around here. I'm always open to people telling me if there are any secret stashes, like loose floorboards and things, because I'm feeling a bit too much time pressure to go and sniff around every nook and cranny. And I'm certain there are plenty of nooks and or crannies. Hmm. I spy you up there. Ooh. Don't mind reading me some of that. Don't mind stealing me some chairs either. I found a POI where a certain door only opened after I killed all the zombies in a the room. They've come a long way with their POI designs. Yes, how advanced. but I still generally feel good about just tearing down walls in order to advance through POIs, rather than following a so-called intended route. Ned Nickerson, your marriage proposal will be shot down. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe the good stuff is in here. No, I already knocked down part of that. POIs are fun, though. It's a good thing they're fun, but 
It's almost surprising how fun they are. Uh, still, haven't found the loot. Where's the fat loot? Are you the fat loot dog? I'll tell you what you are. You are more animal fat, more leather. I think there was another dog I felled around here. I think I shot it over here, but... It appears to be gone. God, never mind the hidden loot. Where's the loot at all? I'm under the impression every POI has loot. Maybe this is part of the POI? Still says Animal Hospital, so maybe so. What are we thinking? Floors giving out underneath us? Uh, that was also a white, I believe. Say no to scary, scary Speedy Gonzales. He just does not care. Down, Jason Myers, down. Okay, right. The idea that whites are just casually spawning fills me with dread. Oh, well, casually spawning through the... Uh, Missing parts of the walls. Eggs? Eggs. Or an egg. Very, very scared about going down into areas like this now. Very, very scared indeed. I would rather have ways out. when things go bad. Not if, but when. I swear I can hear them breathing down there. Hmm. can also feel my lack of building blocks. Let's just slam in another hundred of those, please. was all just paranoia. Still not happy being here. Let's have a way out, shall we? Should have come in this way to begin with. to worry about. I'll take their television as collateral. Take their stove as added collateral. Taking you because you made a brass. We like brass. Oh, we like lots of things. Where's the loot, though? Or is this one of those spiraling underground mansion places? Up there? That looks like a box. Boxes mean loot. I don't trust this whatsoever. Let's just do what we do. Just Oh boy, still not trusting it. Certainly not trusting that. You want to not get up there? Oh, no, they do want to get up there. Wow, 
Watch the feral. Oh, the feral's Lubu. Stay down, Lubu. I'm not going to pursue you as long as you don't pursue me. Right, my plan was to knock this out so they don't get up here. Then I can have my filthy way with the boxes. Hmm. All right, now we're talking. And we've learned a valuable lesson. Don't go through all of that. Just cut out the middleman and get up here. When sneaking always lands silently. Yes, that was the book I was talking about earlier. Lumberjack outfit. Increase carry capacity. Give good light armor rating. You know, that's not bad. I might actually be superior to my preacher outfit. The carry capacity is whatever, but if I get that with a bunch of other lumberjack stuff, it would make cutting down trees give a lot more wood. Medical journal, fort bites for selling, recog for selling and making somebody very unhappy. Hey, do you get leather out of one of these things? There's a leather trunk after all. Barely any. Certainly not worth the effort. Speaking of not worth the effort, that's what killing you is. Doesn't seem to be anything worth my time in here either. Just trash. Very good. I feel like there's more. I feel like I missed something overall here. But I will take what I've got and go. Curiosity is sated. You'd have room for that bandolier mod. Yeah, the one that I still haven't made, but I swear I'll get around to it someday. Ooh, vehicles, especially that bus. What do you mean I'm wet? Wet from what? Uh, maybe all this rain that I can hear and not see. Now I see it. Look at all those goods. Cars are just such amazing boxes of loot. Vehicles in general. I still have a point unused. Maybe a bit more pain tolerance? Yeah. Might seem a bit cowardly, but I'd really rather not die. Especially knowing that whites are now on the loose. You a man called white once? It didn't look like the white that we see here, though, thankfully. The real use for your vehicle, blocking enemies like that. More books to sell. More books to read. More books to sell. <laughs> More damage at night, yeah, don't mind me. Let's get rid of these so I'm not tempted to stop and grab books that aren't even there. Let's grab the real books, the cracker books. What's the implication here that I'm going to crack open a book? Or is it a slur, like books for crackers? Alright. Be ready to run if things look south here, and looking south would be... Horrible, horrible whites. I'm here for books. Not that book, though. That's just for selling. Uh, nobody heard that. Mm -mm. Sure love all this nothing you get with low loot settings. I know that sounds facetious, but I do actually love it. It's nice to feel the austerity. 50%, remember? It claims that it's 50%. Seeding, armor making, armor making very welcome. Is that? No, it's not a white, but I know there are zombies behind there. We've seen them before. So let's loot as much as we can on this side before angering the horde. Armor, extremely welcome. Your corpse, extremely welcome as fertilizer. Yeah, the zombie apocalypse made everybody ooh, made everybody take up reading. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a feral. Certainly running fast for someone that isn't a feral. Ferals, uh, plural. Whew. Boy, I would love to get that um, boost to stamina when I take out enemies with a spear, because as soon as it's multiple ferals, even the power of the steel spear is starting to come up short. <laughs> Just think about how much book loot you normally get here. And I swear it's uh, it's emptying out containers and making the containers that have stuff have less stuff. And worse stuff like paper instead of books. This is an absolute front runner for any job that Bob's gives uh, Bob, yeah, Bob gives me. Workstation crafting. That's great and all, but I need vehicles so that I can make gasoline. Oh ho ho, nice. Do love the magazine extender. I think I have one already in my SMG. Is that true, SMG? Yeah, yeah, it is. But I found that one. Now I can make them at my leisure. I think that this is getting in the way of my ability to see zombies over there. So I'm going to knock this down to give myself a better sight line. Might be a zombie to snipe. Or maybe there aren't zombies in the center, but that's funny. I could have sworn there were. I remember a fat ass popping up over there in the past. But I see no zombie where I expect many zombie. Oh well. Repair tool, spear crafting. Although we don't craft spears, we just buy them. Look up. Hmm. Yeah, the, the ceiling does scream surprise, doesn't it? Robotics, that's something. I feel like I heard a zombie ruin the suspenseful surprise. Was it you? Probably. You're feral after all. There's also a bird out there. I wish that I was a bird. <laughs> True ambush. No ambush at all. Pipe battle. Yeah, at this stage in the game, still learning about pipe stuff. Those workstation crafting mods, very welcome, though. Hmm. They are certainly well uh, ready to pop in from above. I can feel it. Plenty of bandages. Yes! Oh, that's great. Making bandages out of plant... Uh, no, but not bandages. Making cloth out of... Um... Plant fibers. Don't need to worry about planting loads of cotton. God, I can just hear them up there. White! Uh, 
Alright, so we've got a job to do. <laughs> yeah, goodbye forever, cracker book. I've had my fill. Actually, I wonder if I loop around. Oh, that, that is the Olympic sprinting white right there. I'm a little tempted to pop his noggin, but I know that uh, he takes a lot of hits. So, to that respect, it's not at all worth it. One white, you can handle it. Such a cowardly reaction. I am definitely a coward. Iron spear. Uh, away you go. I don't have a problem with that, do you? Well, evidently. Maybe that means that I could make my way back to crack a book, safe in the knowledge that the white is not there. As long as he doesn't notice me just rolling around like this. Does he? Sure doesn't. the biker will. You know, it can take a lot of bravery to know when to run. Of course, you fools would all be dead already. But me, I'm alive. He's back. <laughs> He's absolutely back. Oh, boy. Okay. He really is fast. Just leave him be. Just leave him be. I'm a little curious what's around the back, though. Must be a way to... I think there is more loot, right? More loot around the back of old Cracky Book. What do my loot sensors tell me? Hopefully that I'm right on the money. Oh boy. You're like a feral version of this thing? Ow! I think that's exactly what you were. And you're not the only feral version of things around here. Right, this cracker book clearly doesn't want me here. Let's get on with the job. Does that mean the white that I left here is still here, or did he go back to his home? Jeez. Those ferals are becoming way too commonplace for my liking. <laughs> 2 nil to Cracker Book? What do you mean, Cracker Book's been emptied of its books? Sounds like 2 nil to me. Hey, the Umbrella Secret Labs. Oh, I'd really like to check that out. And it's a five skull location, so I guess I'd really like to check that out later. Don't suppose you have any nice loot just hanging around the outside? Probably not. It's going to go down and deep, no doubt. Uh, hold that thought, I feel way too messed up right now. Damn ferals. <laughs> Maybe market on the map. Ooh, now there's an idea. 
Ten percent more damage against mountain lions, I guess. Fifty percent sneak damage to sleeping victims at night. Great, unless that only applies to humans, in which case, not so great. All right, uh, this whole thing, I guess, is the umbrella place. Umbrella Labs, or maybe just Umbrella HQ. Umbrella. All oh, right, I was in the middle of something. You guys don't want to accidentally you again. Maybe I can get on with the job for once. If that's not too much to ask. POI zombies are sleeping in POIs. It refers to that. Good. Yeah, of course it wouldn't make sense for players to be sleeping. Players, to the best of my knowledge, don't sleep. Can't sleep. Probably would if they could sleep. Is this piggy bank my POI? Bank, you say? Oh, no, it's a pizzeria. I think. Mama's pizza. Uh, sure, where's the loot in Mama's pizza? Probably up top in this area. Probably. Hmm. Oh, well, there's something here. Sure doesn't look like fat loot, though. Uh, I think the whole idea is come along and then go along and up here. And then maybe the fat loot is to be had up there. Probably, right? Ooh, easy now. I'm going a little high. A little high, a little risky. Especially with the knowledge that the ferals love to be everywhere. Oh, gosh. Somehow shoved me clean off there. I'm not happy about this. Oh, I'm not happy about a lot of things I see here. Barrels are plenty, it calls me plenty of problems. All because I just want some fat loot. Is that another white? That is absolutely another white. Okay, so I came here for fetch quest. Where's the loot, and where do I leave? That's my friend the white, isn't it? Oh boy. Oh boy, he's got friends! I did not agree to all this friend having that you're doing. Oh, I'm leaving the mission. Yeah, I just failed the mission. No! 
Okay, this white nonsense is getting out of hand. Eep. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Remember ages ago we were offered a pump shotgun and I turned it down. Starting to have second thoughts about that one. Grab that. Lower damage when on the vehicle. Sounds good. Alright, well, none of that worked out. Back to Trader Bob's we go. Although, what might work out are these vehicles. Oh, yeah, so I think cities already spawn more ambient zombies. The 8x mod is having its way with me. Multiplies on multiplies. That also cost me ammo and some meds that I'm not going to be seeing again. Uh, you heard me doing this, didn't you? Uh, it's okay, though. I'll take all this nothing and make you nothing as well, Carmen Effect. Fat loot was indeed at the top of the red ladder. Yeah, I suspected it was going to be up and up, but I didn't want to leave myself... On a roof with nowhere down but broken legs, especially with zombies hot on my heel. And seeing the white was just the icing on the proverbial cake. But the cake was death. I believe that zombie is called Tourist. I've heard to him referred to as such. Good at hearing me here. Get down, little missy. And don't mind me, just pirating this mail. Right, so about these police vehicles. Am I willing to take a chance on this? I might be. Might be. The numbers are a little iffy. Thirty-four, thirty-three, thirty-two, thirty-one. So normally breaking this breaks the lock and then you can loot the car. But of course the siren goes off and everybody is unhappy. But I have heard, and this might not work, and if it doesn't work I need a backup plan. The backup plan is run and jump up to the top of Ma and Sons. Yeah, that's my just get out of here plan. Yikes. Yikes my way away. Uh, I know you want that bakery. We all do. Oh, you're a feral. Right, that explains a thing or two. Hey, I wonder what happens if you break the lock for me. I bet that wouldn't um, set it off. Although it might. That did it. That didn't spawn the horrible zombies. That or we got the 20% chance of it not doing it anyway. Nice. <laughs> 8x mod, it's clearly just a buff. All that free EXP. I wouldn't call it free. Those bullets, though, I'd call that pretty free. Oh. all over the place. I'm wondering if the bakery is worth my time. I'm not sure if I've checked out the bakery before. A lot of 
fool looking shelves there for all the loot a man could ever need. Relatively easy to destroy a wall to make my way in. More ferals than I can shape a shake a particularly sharp stick at around here. Holy moly. No wonder if I'm getting hungry with all this fighting going on. That look like a certain kind of zombie to you? It does to me. Damn that brick beard. I need an answer to whites. I need an answer to high tier zombies in general. And I think the answer is auto shotty. Oh. Huh. This all goes underground. Nobody noticed that. Yeah, snipers do handle them well, but even with a sneak shot to the head, it was only doing about half of their health and damage, and that's not enough. Is there going to be loot in there? Do notice that the day is wearing away and I haven't done a single job, and tomorrow is Horde Night. Terrifying implications. Also, I see you there. Oh. I wasn't the only one doing some seeing around here. Olympic class white right here. about ringing that doorbell. Crack open with SMG. The whole town knows it. Oh. I guess that means you're still... Alright, so let, let's see. How does this work? Yeah, about half of his health is gone. Are you going to get through that? Whew. I just want the bakery, right? Is that too much for me to ask around here? Easily dealt with, you're just underestimating yourself. I was able to squeeze through this earlier. I'm sure. No, perhaps I didn't. I think I took one look at the white and went nup, nup, nup. But now, now I feel the power. The whites fear me. Where's the food? Where's the everything? Everything when we can have nothing. <laughs> that vending machine actually operates. 
I did want some more Mega Crush, but no. It's a shame you can't just loot those vending machines, destroy them outright, and take their goodies. Of course, then you won't get the respawning nature of them. Hello, goodbye. Murky water for me, what a shame. Uh, vending machines restock daily, so actually having your main base near a vending machine I reckon is quite an advantage for getting all those goods. Alright, what's the story behind here? It's behind more than just there then. But this just leads outside. That's of no use to me. Books are of use to me. Trap crafting, body armor crafting. What is this? Probably a bookshelf full of books that I'm destroying, huh? Okay. Just had to be sure it wasn't a white before I made my move in here. I'm so not thrilled about being low on health, let's just use these very liberally. I never did that mining or uh, tree run that I said I'd do. Hmm. What are we looking at around here? I think something's looking at me in this room. Oh, no. <laughs> I think you know what I was trying to do there. It wasn't shoot the car, it was scroll far enough to disassemble the car. Hmm. seed for my seeding and feeding is good, but I reckon if I want the loot, I gotta go underground, despite not really wanting to go underground. with your type. Pretty happy about all the seeds. Hard to deny that. Got plenty of farming to do. Oh, come on, I'm here because I want the fat loot. This doesn't look like fat loot. Just an unlocked way out the back. All right, where was the where was the way down that we saw earlier? I don't want to sound too complacent. Craft armor piercing, rifle, harvest tool stuff. That's fine. Don't really have much in the way of food. Food that I'm willing to eat at least. But we saw a way down. Now I can't find it. This is suspicious. Really like the exploration in POIs like this. 
I guess it's just part of the POI I've been to, though. Yeah. Okay, where in the world was the way down? I'm here for fat loot and nothing short of it. Here you are. Yeah, one of the first places I popped my nose into. Okay, well, uh, absolutely want a way out of this, but I can't place that. But if I wanted a way out, I could... Oh, wow, you made a concrete. Okay. In that case... That'll work. Yeah, I can jump up and out like that. Okay, what's going on down here? Hopefully it's just a nice, simple... Hello, loads of weapons? Loads of weapons! Excellent. For those of you just listening and not watching, there were zero weapons. Or weapon accessories. Gorilla, Gorilla, and DK Kane are here. One down. No, not one down. Yes, one down. Plenty of seeds, though. That I like. Hmm, this place is getting awfully suspicious. I don't really know what I'm looking at here, but maybe there'll be some food. No, there'll be a book on making better armor. Some armors make you less hungry. I think the Nomad gear, is that the one? Hmm, I didn't come all the way here for one box. There must be more back here. Okay, what are we thinking on this being a complete trap? I'm thinking complete trap. I'm going to invest two of these and immediately looking back to make sure nothing spawns behind me. Hmm. I still think it's a trap. Come on, in no world is this not a trap. I don't see any zombies, though. No easy way for them to pop out. Maybe around that... Okay, I would also say I was expecting a bigger trap. Oh, there's my bigger trap. Ubiquitous, you, uh... You're larger than life. Yeah, with so many gotcha moments, I don't blame the paranoia. Me neither. That's why I... We're not done. Who else is still there? Well, it didn't sound like many, so let's just make our way regardless. Give me your polymers. And your chairs. You're already open, but could I have you? Ooh, nice, you're made of lots of forged iron. Excellent. Ammo pile, microwave, coffee maker. What time is it anyway? Time to get back home after all is said and done here. Ah, there was another way in. I'm having that gun safe. I came all this way, I want my goodies. But perhaps I will make sure that the rest of the place is a bit more secured first. Rifle crafting, a mod. Yeah, the mod I could probably install right now, but let's hold off on that. 
Don't want to waste time when I'm here. We can do that kind of triaging back home. Another water purification mod. Oh, that's certainly welcome. Good mining boots. That's welcome, because I didn't want to craft those. And now if I just get them, I'll certainly take it for the set bonus. No good reason not to. Is there a zombie over there? No, no, it's just a slumped down mattress. Looks like one of my RimWorld prisons. What was that? Just a little glass thing, huh? Here's Jakey. Oh, okay. What in the world were they doing under the bakery? The situation raises more questions than answers. I think in ye olden days, the bakers were considered untrustworthy knaves. Always bastardizing their flour and such, but yeah, what a creepy place this is. Well, let's get out our lockpick. We've got some lockpicking to do. Yeah, Sweeney Todd's Bakery right here. They were trying to recruit the guy with two fires and science in that little cell. I think there were some weapons on the wall. Really? Oh yeah, I thought that was just uh, part of the design. And it was just part of the design. Alright, so something I often overlook with the gun safes is yes, they're full of guns. Whoa! It's worse than what I have. That's a shame. Alright, what do you scrap to? Okay, that, that was pretty poor overall, but here's the ticker. Take the whole freaking gun safe with you. It's made of forged parts. Forged steel, I think that is? Hard to tell. No, it's forged iron, but it's still worth my time. Alright, cool. Glad to know this POI now. Don't bother with anything above ground. Just come underground and admire the no guns. Wait, isn't this suspicious? I guess not 5,000 concrete worth of suspicious. I need to get home. I'm getting too hungry and too thirsty for this nonsense. Ah, so that's how we get there. Or that's a way to get there. No nasty old foul trash turning this thing around at the end. Okay, fair enough. All right, a fun little diversion, as they often are. This game does have spades of fun going for it, and I appreciate that greatly. I think that's one of the advantages of waiting till the end of early access, right? This game has had its decade of adding these. Somebody said whenever they did an early access big update, there'd always be a new bunch of POIs. So here I am, coming at the end, swooping in to enjoy all of the goodies without having to go through the frustrating waiting period. Kinda want that other police car. And that other car. I still have time before Bob shuts up. Uh, was this the thing? Okay, kind of. So I believe if I give it a gentle little tap with my bike... Hmm. Maybe a little less gentle. I don't know if I have to be on or not on the bike for this to work. Yeah, what the hell, let's just ram it a bit. Yep, that's the ticket. Unless I'm just getting lucky each time, it prevents the zombie spawn. Lovely. Not sure if I like that trick. And the whole point of these things is to be a high risk, high reward thing. Might avoid doing that in the future. I did want to confirm that it works first though. Lest I feel like a fool. And I don't need any help with that. Hmm, 
devilishly hungry and thirsty. We really need to sort that by going home. To be honest, it was more a dreading period, waiting for what nonsense the changes the fun pimps would have. It took me a while to clock that the fun pimps are the developer. I thought people were just making up a nickname for the developers, but that's actually their company. The fun pimps. Let's go and raid William Birkin's car. After everything he's put me through, it's the least he could do for me. My own level three wrench, you say? Scrap, I say. William Birkin drives a crappy car. Also, I'm having the Duke tokens out of the parking meter. We still in five day horde nights? Yes. Which means I really need to come up with a solution in about 24 hours. Within 24 hours. Steel bolts and things. Great for all that archery I don't do, but somewhat wish that I did do. Drive by look inside. Looks like a fairly normal office front there, but that's exactly what Umbrella are going for. Completely normal. There is a Raccoon City Police Department. I made absolutely sure there was before I finalized the map that I'm running here. So I already know it's over in the winter biome, but I don't know exactly where. Aside from that, I can't think of any foreknowledge I had coming into all of this, which is good. Foreknowledge can certainly ruin an experience for me. Although in some cases it can be mandatory, like knowing your way around the map in the long dark. So, not a very productive day. We tried and failed a POI. We spent resources on whites that, uh, well, we learned, didn't we? We learned that whites are terrifying. We cannot headshot them in one go, not even close. We only take about half their health off. Even with all our buffs to hurting enemies while they're sleeping. Grim. All right, let's see what we can do here. Hey, bub. I failed, man. Greetings, survivor. How can I help you? He's right, I did survive, didn't I? Not interested in either of these. I'll take a job in the morning, then. If your head like you're so tight, you probably got burglar alarms on your... Step right up and see what tickles your pistons. Tickles my pistons, ooh. Right, get rid of all these books since I have no real need for them. Bar brawling, night stalking, more night stalking, even more night stalking. What are you trying to say, game? I guess I'll hold on to the agility mod. Could be used for that down the line, although God knows what it would be. He's not interested in more engines, but he's always interested in Dosh. Hmm. Anything else worth my time a selling? I suppose the bigger question is anything worth my time a buying? Goodbye, hunting rifle. Hmm, headlights are always good for selling. Lovely value out of those things. They're a big score on any car you take down. Right, don't think there's any goods I want. Oh, maybe, maybe if he's selling me some concrete, I could go for that, because I'm still not finding a concrete mixer of my own. Do you happen to sell concrete? He sells, uh, not. Yeah, I think that is what I'm after. Cement, it's cement mix, that's it. But it would appear the answer is no. You still have a book to sell. I do indeed overlook that, thank you. What about parts? I was tempted by your steel tool parts, but that's about it. Armor parts as well? Hmm, mm, mm, maybe not at that kind of insane cost. But at the same time, maybe. I don't know, so that's a hard one to want to, to spend. I'm a little bit tempted by the generator bank, just to get some energy going, to get some electricity. I think I will take the generator bank. Forget an elixir, cornbread, animal fat. I've already got all the books out of you that I want, surely. And you don't do seeds. Hmm. Tempered blade, barbed wire, cooling mesh. Steroids that I gave you. No, we're good. Repair kits. You don't want to end up stranded or have your gun jam on you. 
No, he's not wrong about that. Right, I do want the ability to lockpick with impunity, though. Loot bonus, eh, it's too short-lived to care about. Yeah, I think we're good here. Let's grab the water and go back to base. So far, I think the only whites we've seen spawn in POIs, so maybe I'd be relatively safe heading out at night. Especially now that I have a good spear, i got some weapons that are in dire need of repairs. Let's just keep these repaired so they don't jam on me during an important mission. Oh wow, these things filled up all the way. I think you'd uh, check these twice at- oh right, no, the good ones were filled up. Very good. Yeah. It's time to put your chairs in the wagon. We are closing soon. Yeah, regular ferals, not such a big deal now. Although multiple ferals, still a bit still a bit of spook going on with those. Sand, pretty good ingredient. Forge I've already raided. And you can't disassemble stuff inside his store. Much as I would like to. Alright, all the weirdos will start going crazy real soon. So let's get back into the safety confines of our, dare we even call it, base. Triage our goods and get to work. Mm, look at all these stones. How about before anything, we make sure that we... Oh, I had these things on. No, that's good. The point was to have those things on. But now I want them on to drink my nasty filth water. How's your inventory so big? I use a mod to make the inventory much larger than Vela, because I really do not like the inventory system in this game. Detracts from a lot of the fun for me. Alright, alright. There's food to be had. What are we eating tonight? Mm. I think corn is better for if I need to get a lot of health back, which today I do not. Same for the grilled meat, so let's just enjoy our bacon and eggs. Maybe get rid of that baked potato. Maybe not. It's good to have one of each thing that I get plenty of so that I can... So that I can dump them very swiftly. Which, yeah, there's a pinned message and it's in the title with my mod list as well as some other information about the run. So if you like any of the mods you see, you can grab them yourself, or if you hate them, you can channel your hate. Although that doesn't sound productive for anyone involved. Alright, there we go. That's surely all the eating and drinking one pokey little survivor needs, although we'll see we'll see about that. Drinking, fooding, da 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 da. Right. Maybe I should start making tons of money. That does sound like a good idea. For that, I want all my brass out of here. Oh, that'll take a while. But that's fine. Get to work on it. I know that point of that brass was for bullet tips, but we already made our bullets. And I have a healthy number of them. Although still not nearly as much as I would like. Let us, however, take the stones out of here. I think I already did. Uh, no, the stones went in. I need to smelt out the stones, which is fine. Get me all those small stones out. Get me all of those small stones out. And you don't even have small stones. Hmm. Fair enough. And you, whilst you're busy working, smelt down that for even more brass, because we love brass. Triage all my goods, and anything that I still have is something that we don't have space for. We don't have uh, set aside, do we? New kind of armor, lumberjack armor, mining boots. Now we have the full set of mining gear. Lovely. If we need to go mining, which we may or may not. Uh, I picked up some new kinds of food. That's you, you, you're an ingredient. Uh, I suppose to that effect, the can of pasta is an ingredient. That's kind of a med, that's kind of a mod. Make sure I'm wearing the hood. I could well go for better assassin gear now that I think about it. This uh, armor rating, or the undead damage resist, is all well and good. But the idea of... What would you do? 
6%, that's actually kind of pathetic. 20% is great, but 6% is just nasty. All right, forget that, keep the preacher stuff. I want the damage reduction instead. Had a couple of mods, but these mods should probably put on something. They're both iron breakers. You've got space for one of those, because I want you being incredibly powerful. And then what else is there? What do you have? you got your shaft. Let's get you iron breaking. Good, very good. All right, satisfied enough with that. There's another mod to chuck away. That's an ingredient, that's an ingredient. Those are seeds which I need to plant. The generator bank is a building material. Scary sounds going on out there, huh? I should make more cement blocks while I'm at it. Not cement blocks, uh, cobblestone blocks. Yeesh, that's a lot of time to make. Can I just make a thousand of them? Take six minutes of that. And thinking about it, do another batch of 1,000. There we go. Got to think about the economy. Right, not all about making golden rod around here, but I'm certainly about planting my corn and maybe even a bit of yucca. Actually, the yucca's a waste of time. There's yucca everywhere here. As for that steel arrowhead, what do they smelt down into? Probably a bunch of iron. 273 becomes 275. Well, it's not terrible. That's kind of food, and let's plant the rest of these. And if there's stuff to be had, I could put on my farmer gear to get that mm, tiny, tiny little boost to what we gain out of it. Still got two more, huh? Two more, huh? It still says corn plant, but it looks fully grown to me. Yeah, yeah, it would say growing if it wasn't done, like these pumpkins and this hop. But the blueberries and the corn are ready to go. I only have the farmer outfit, but the crop harvest bonus is probably worth it on its own. Farming armor. That's a tiny, tiny boost on the seeds. I don't think it's worth it until... Yeah, I said this earlier, not worth going farming stuff until we get level 6. Although since I found this... That's the lumberjack. Since I found this, that's probably worth wearing for it. So give me the blueberries, the blueberries, the corn, the corn, the corn, the corn, the coffee. And nothing else is good, good to grow, so down this goes. We've got coffee beans and blueberries, but no actual seeds for them. Well, that's fine. I don't think I'll plant. I don't think I'll smush those down into seeds. Although it might be worth my time. Think of all the coffee I could make. Think of all the blueberry pies I could make. Think of all the corn I could do what exactly with? Grilled corn, cornmeal, corn seeds. Ah, but it's an ingredient in hobo stew. If I had good potatoes going, the hobo stew more or less solves my food issues. Although it takes quite a bit to unlock. Meat stew less so. I guess it would take quite a bit of knowledge to figure out how to make that stuff more delicious. Can you upgrade your preacher gear? I could do one level of upgrade, maybe two on the preacher stuff. Yeah, one level of upgrade on the Preacher outfit if I got some more armor crafting kits. And I can't do that because I lack duct tape, but I can solve that. I have duct tape aplenty, kind of. There we go, go and take that back. Right, is there anything else to do with our evening? We are smelting away all the brass we can. I'm at the point of wanting a huge, huge stack of brass, which is exactly what we're doing. We'd also love some huge stacks of stones. For if I'm going to activate my infinite money, I'm going to need brass and stones to start with. Of course, it won't all be stones forever. I might just cook up all this corn. Yeah, go on. 
can hear something spazzing out out there. I can see them spazzing around out there. As long as they're not coming along to cause me grief, we're all Gucci. They did fix the stone stuff in the forge. Five stone comes out as one stone. Really? That looks a lot like five stones to me. Good. Look at that. In goes one bit. Out comes five. Cobblestone rocks. One and one. So I still think it's working fine. Right. Still have the soil. That's fine. Still making the cobblestone rocks. That is also fine. Of course, I want to take the ones over here and get them smelted aplenty. Oh, it's actually turning five into one here. Ah, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Okay. My stone plan is not working then. When did they change that? Hmm, scary stuff. Oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well. I still think I want the stones out of here, though. Yeah, I'll still want the stones out. Okay, so I had a little trick there and it's not going to work. That's a shame for me. The trick was throw in loads of stones. Get out more stones we put in because we padded out with dirt. But no, no infinite stones for me then. Take them out of cement. I don't have a cement mixer, so cement is a waste of time for me currently. Hmm. That's funny, because I was trying this out not very long ago. Hang on. 1.1b14 update? No, that wasn't that. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's going on over here? Lots of zombies, that's what's going on. Why did they suddenly aggro over here? Perhaps just a wandering horde. Perhaps. Of course, we have this wonderful problem where the loot bag is stuck in the trap. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll be hard pressed to complain about zombies just presenting themselves to me. by Professor Herschel Layton. Another loot bag to the left. So there is. Another similarly difficult to locate loot bag. Ah, there we go. Bow hunting skill is of no great concern, but some yucca juice is very welcome. Thank you zombies for killing yourselves, making my life just better. All right, well, I hope they haven't fixed my other trick for making obscene amounts of money. I guess I better try it out. One brass is one brass. There's two 250 brass in there, right? All right, we're good. We are still good. All right, well, I guess rather than being stone smelters, you guys are gonna be brass smelters. But I need a lot of upfront brass. And I'm going to need more forges. We have a bunch of the brass coming out right now, and that's good seed money, but it takes quite a while to come out of here. So these guys' jobs will be smelting down every drop of brass I can get my grubby hands on. That speaks to doing more cars. Car radiators make me drown in the stuff. Yucca juice goes in the food and drink pile. Cobblestones are building materials. And painkillers are meds. Yep, 
Yeah, forges drop all their content if you destroy them, so I could just destroy this to get out all that iron, lead and such, but I smelted down the iron so I could make things like forged iron. Of course, currently I need that brass out, but yeah, these guys, rather than being stone, are going to be all about the brass. My big, big brass. With that in mind, I would not mind having another forge. But the forge needs another wooden log. All right, I'm still making uh, all the cobblestone, which is significantly less of an issue now, isn't it? Forge also needs duct tape, but I believe I was making duct tape, huzzah. Trader can take three stacks of brass per reset, excellent. If destroying the forge drops a stone, does the five to one still apply, or will it drop all five as 55 stone? I suspect it'll drop it all as the full amount of stone. So if I destroyed, well, none of them have stone in them, but I suspect that's a way to still make the returns. But I'm less inclined to destroy a forge over just stone. Stone is not the, stone is not the answer here. Stone was just a catalyst and I can make do without that catalyst. I'm not sure I can make do with this low amount of wood. I really need to get going on that, but I also need to build something that resembles a horde base. Well, I want to make good on my plan. Whether or not that plan's going to work is a different story. So yeah, I guess tomorrow I'll be spending more time just building up. I have an idea. Whether or not it's going to work, I don't know. The main thing is I need a backup plan. The backup plan is just somewhere to run, to cower on the roof during horde night, and some mega crush to drink to run around during horde night. Because I suspect I'll need that as well going to be draining this thing of its uh, bra uh, brass for quite some time. Could you tell me what makes the appeal of the game to you? To me it looks like quite the run in the mill. Progress make better gear, better gear makes you more progress. So well, that's all very true, but it feels very good to do all the things. The looting feels very, very good, and it has that strong feeling of I'll just do this, I'll just do that. It's got to get stronger. And the... The dungeoneering in this game, combined with a Minecraft-style building, blends together exceptionally well. You see a building, you think, okay, well, I could go in through the front door. Probably a bunch of zombies waiting for me, but how about instead I build a tower up onto the roof and do it from the top to bottom? Or how about I just blow up this wall, get the drop on the zombies? Doing those things makes you feel good. Well, it makes me feel good. I can't speak for what you enjoy. But I can always speak for what I enjoy. God willing. Plus, while in Minecraft it can feel kind of nice to build a base, I also find it feels quite empty when you end up with nothing to put to use with the base. Now this is considerably better. Hmm. Wow, the crucible is a long way to make, but I don't think I need to make any steel goods for a good long time. Get that stuff shoved away. Right, is there anything else I need to do tonight? I feel like I'm just wasting time. I could go mining some more. Going out and chopping down trees seems a bit of a hassle, given they're quite far away and it's still really full of zombies out there. Which is not necessarily to my benefit. Although getting some more aloe would also be very welcome. If only I had more. Uh, that's right, I was going to make this bandool. Do you want to be able to reload faster and... Yeah, maybe I should make that level 3 Preacher top. Preacher outfit requires armor crafting kits. Armor crafting kit, 1, 2, 3. Goodbye duct tape, goodbye sewing kits. Hey, can I make sewing kits? Can you ever make sewing kits? Surely you can make sewing kits. What do you mean you can't? That's going to make getting armor crafting kits a real pickle.
It's loot only. Wow, that, that is rough. Alright, level 3 is not a great step up, but I want the extra slot. Unless I already have something with an extra slot that I'm not putting to use. No, it's more or less getting put to use. Alright, I'll take it. It's still another bit of damage reduction after all. At least I'm not running around in nasty old sticks and stones anymore. Scrap that thing down. Give me that. Give me that. Let's put you right on and double modify you. There we go. Now we reload significantly faster. And we get that tiny, tiny boost in defense. Yeah, maybe every trader sells sewing kits. That'd be nice. Just the idea of being locked out of them so harshly feels bad. Feels very bad. Alright, do I mine down for more stones regardless? Stones are still good for making cobblestone. Which is a good thing to have you spend your time doing. Maybe that's too much cobblestone, but make some of it so I have plenty of building materials. And me, I feel very naked without a full stack of bandages. I'll have to make do with four out of five. Also, the bandages. I can now make bandages, not bandages, the other thing, cloth. I can make cloth out of plant fibers. That is freaking sweet. The numbers probably still mean that you'd rather grow cloth, uh, cotton rather. But being out and about and suddenly needing some cloth, that seems really good. Anyway, I'm drowning in cloth fragments, so how about we liquidate them down something? Make a whole bunch of bandages so I can make a whole bunch of first aid bandages down the line. And while we're at it, can I even think about making first aid kits? No, that's a very long way in terms of medical. You need beer in a first aid kit. What a joke. Also, you need sewing kits. What a nastier joke. What do you see scrap into? Just cloth. Damn. Hoping they might scrap into the sewing kits. Contemplating going down into the mines. Also contemplating just going out and exploring for some goods. Seems relatively quiet out there. Let's have a wee gander, shall we? I'm very much in the mood for some aloe. Am I in the mood for iron? I suppose so. Resource acquisition is good acquisition. I know, I know, I'm not wearing my miner outfit for this. That's okay, that's for when I go way down. I find the aloe vera quite hard to spot. The yucca's easy, obviously, it's just standing out like that. But the aloe vera, I see there's some. Give it to me. At least we're getting three per harvest now, thanks to our super-duper farming skills. I still have a point to assign, but I can think about that later. See, the aloe vera can't evade me if I just shank everything. If I shoot you, is everybody going to notice? I mean, I'm very sneaky these days. Nobody's going to notice. Nobody's going to notice. They didn't notice me, they just heard a noise and they're going towards where the noise was. Do 
Do not be fooled, do not be spooked. Although it's a lot easier not to be spooked by this. Uh oh. A lot easier not to be spooked by this when I have backup plans. I didn't the first time we were in this situation. My first night in the desert was a terrifying night in the desert. the aloe vera hiding at. Ooh, now this is a nice find. This is almost wish I'd taken my minor hat find. Jake likes the nitrate. Nitrate is farming blocks. Nitrate is gunpowder. Gunpowder's 762s. been there, been and gone. Uh, shouldn't have mined out the other bit of nitrate, now I can't remember where I spotted it. And everything's all black and white to me here. I thought it was just the other side of you. Ah, there it is, right? Yeah! Always best to set a mar map marker for the mines. Well, the map already shows us it with uh, the colors. Okay, hard to see because I'm covering it with my big fat arrow, but white for the nitrate. Brown for the iron, black for the oil, gray for the lead. And stone, I don't think shows up because stone is everywhere. Once you get through the topsoil. Think of all the extra yield I could be getting here if I was wearing my mining outfit. But that's okay, I'm just here to take a cheeky little skim off the top. My greater desire, of course, is to get some plants. Hmm. Take a bite of peach. Oh, Von Dougals didn't like that. But we all love Von Dougals. That's why we'll give him rest eternal. Ah. Darkness gives way to the light, but it's day 15. That divides by five, meaning it's Horde Night. How do we feel about Horde Night? Hmm. Well, I'll feel a lot better if I have my three backup plans and something that I can almost call a horde base. So I think I better get to work on that rather than taking jobs. Although if there's a cheeky quick fetch quest, maybe I could, wouldn't, should do that. Get out of here. No time for you. I didn't even catch your name. Well, it's easier to see now. Let's see if I can spot any aloes on the way back. Aloe, aloe, eggs for my bacon and eggs? No. Aloe, nasty spoilt trash? Mm, kind of. Might as well take a clear quest so you can prep a POI. It's not so much about prepping a POI, it's just about having a way to get to the ceiling. Or the roof, rather. That will be my cowering, somewhere with a relatively difficult to access but sturdy ceiling. 
but close enough to here because I do want to try out my Grand Master plan. Well, it's not a Grand Master plan. It's a new plan. It's about as grand and masterful as the last plan we had. Which is contentious at best. Eggs for eggs and bacon? Nah. Okay, never mind that. Make our way back. Prioritize aloe. 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 Vira. Sad day for Maria Theresa von Habsburg there. Hello. There'll be people watching this in the enlightened future going, Christ, how's he missing that aloe and that aloe and that aloe and that aloe? Have you amazed what you can miss when you're streaming? Or maybe it's just more having a hundred eyes, a hundred pairs of eyes. Which I do not. Oh, the triple yield on the aloe feels really good, though. I got 71 aloe. I should be making that into cream as we speak, because I don't think there's any other use for aloe vera, right? Just seeds and cream. All right, give me all the cream that you can, please. And I shall endeavor to turn that into bandage. Eggs for eggs and bacon? Ugh, what's a morning without eggs and bacon? It's most of my mornings, that's what. Normally I have muesli for breakfast. None of that store brought rubbish either. Oil shale? Oil shale. Not great returns on it though. Aloe, aloe, and we'll make ourselves a little jumpy part over here. The zombies may use it, but that's the zombies' problem, not mine. Hoppa. I just don't want to catch myself on my own tricks and traps. I thought you were meant to have oatmeal or porridge. Ah, well, I did plenty of that when I was living in Sweden. That was a good hearty way to start one's day. Right, how am I doing in terms of brass? I can't brass as raw, and I have rather a lot of it. Did I smelt all my brass? Hopefully all that brass came from the many, many radiators. Because if I was smelting it all, I was setting myself back a bit. Right, dump all of that stuff. Mm, aloe leaf isn't really meds. It's not really any of these things, but I guess it goes into meds because it's a precursor. I'll make uh, one more of those first aid bandages, if you don't mind. Gotta remember to sell my silver nuggy when I grab the job. Otherwise, I think we're good to go. Wait, the job? I said I might do a cheeky fetch quest. Otherwise, I want to prepare a defense here. Where are you moving to after this night? Uh, I will be staying in the desert for two, if not three, Horde Knights, because I am so far behind in resource acquisition and research. I mean, I'm dying here to the whites. Imagine what's gonna pop out at me in the snow area or the biome. Uh, the wasteland biome, I mean. Fetch from the bank. Oh, I think I could manage that. have a look. You're as brave as a bigamist. Well, I'll be dead. Well, I can't win for What's a bigamist? You looking to rev your engines? Take my silver nuggies. You don't have any things worth me buying, right? The GS. The GS is 135 currently. Any more of those breaking my way into things stuff? No. Okay, I'll live with that. How about some Mega Crush, though? Yeah, I would feel a lot more secure with two more Mega Crushes on me, if you don't mind. Lovely. Caught a glimpse of your character. You look snazzy. Yeah. I guess we'll take a drink since we have this get up on. Food and drink. Snaffle down the grilled corn and then the more grilled corn. And then the even more grilled corn. And one more grilled corn for good measure. Make sure we grab all the water and all the corn. Dispatch it all. 
food and drink not currently having water in it. We take our lovely big gulp of water from our little well. At least we have to see our nasty hands here, but we don't know where these gloves have been. Do we? Oh, we made them, actually. We do know where they've been. God knows what it's made out of, at least. Alright, put that back on. The aloe cream is whatever. Maybe I should have made it over here rather than anywhere else. Make that bandage, and I guess I'll do the fetch quest. If I'm doing the fetch quest, I will certainly want my jailbreakers. But shouldn't I make the base first? That makes a lot more sense. Make the base first. What's the base going to need? Building blocks. But I'm low on wood, so maybe I should just make cobblestone or concrete blocks straight away. How many concrete blocks can I make? Oh, not a lot. Oh dear. Okay, I guess it's cobblestone base for us. Okay, well, I can make considerably more of them. Let's grab a hundred of those. What else am I going to want? I'm going to want you. I would love these electric fence posts, but I'm not sure I'm in a position to have those set up for Horde Knight. I would also like the trap door. Is that going to be steel door again? Can I even make steel door? Would it be steel door or steel double door? Probably just steel door, right? I need something with a bit of oomph to it, some lasting proposition. Alright, I'm gonna want two steel door. I'm actually gonna want four steel doors if this has any hope of working. Give me that then. Hmm. Uh, cobblestone is 1500, concrete is 5000, so. Concrete is almost three times better. I do not have a lot of hope for what I'm going to build here, but let's build it anyway. So my grand plan is to build a horde base next to Trader Bob. As close as I can to Trader Bob, in fact. And what my horde base will set out to do is make all of these zombies Trader Bob's problem and not mine. Let's see if we can make that happen. Means I'm going to need to build up a bit. I need to have a good understanding of where my land ends and Trader Bob's begins. Oh, also. Not the. Alright, oh, he puts barbed wire outside of his home. Make sure I have all the Jews. I'm going to have a hard time getting away from the spear next time I play. The spear has such lovely reach. Not having that reach is going to hurt. Alright, maybe I should make something out of building blocks first, so... Just keep it nice and simple. It's up, 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 up. Because I can't put it there or there. Mm-hmm. You know, I'd like to say, oh, maybe I can even cheap out with wood, but I don't have the money for any of that. I will have to make this kind of wide. Okay, this is going to have to go up higher than I want. I don't have all the blocks or the materials for this. Alright, maybe one more. over here? I don't think so. I actually think I want it one more over to the side. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
gonna have that over, it'll be too long, and then over here. And I wonder, do I want that? So I gotta be careful, drop down here, it's gonna hurt. Uh, I want this, but only half the size up, I think, something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so... So, so, so... Yeah, I don't have my cobblestone blocks on me, I need to go and get those. But the idea is that I'm gonna have you over here punting them away. Poof! Away they go. Actually... Hmm... Hmm... It's a little dangerous to have it right there, I think. Maybe it would have been better right here. Um... I have it down and up. Now, I've never tried this before. But this is something that came to me essentially in a dream, so I want to give it a go. They come along... here... Maybe have them come along, they'll stand here. And then I want them to jump up one more time. So hopefully this thing here just goes ba 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 bang punts them right in. We have noticed that they do like to do this kind of climb. Maybe like is the wrong word, but they do climb up. Punt, and then I have a trapdoor into my beloved base. My beloved base that is up here. It's going to be door, door, and then my base. My very sad base that, uh, well, I guess most of the ground bit's going to have to be what little cobblestone or best stone I have. I'm running out of these regular building blocks. Okay, okay. I don't like the idea of having to make do with nasty plywood uh, blocks here, but I haven't really had the time to be working on a proper base. Or maybe I have, and I have gone and squandered it. Also, how am I getting down here without breaking my legs? I guess this somewhat prevents the leg breakage. Hay blocks, yeah, that's right. Hay blocks to run and jump onto. So the idea is that you are going to be here, punting the zombies off over into bobs. You seem to be rotating your way around rather a lot. Please rotate the other way. All right, good. Punt, punt, punt. Punt like your life depends on it. I'm getting back up that way, heavens no. And then I would want another similar way for them to come up on this side so that they... If I cut them off from there, they will want to go the other way rather than destroying everything because I don't have strong foundations, not by a long shot. Please test it first. That's a good idea. Um... That's a very good idea. Especially since I really need my own kind of defense up here, like a door here. Maybe even another door here. Or no, what I should have here are my cross shapes. Uh, it doesn't want to show my cross shape. There we go. And how did I manage to make that kind of mistake? Make this, and then switch to advanced. What are the odds they just get over this again, as they have done so in the past? I reckon probably quite high. Alright, get my door over there, and all will be relatively well. Maybe. 
Let's go and get those doors, shall we? How do I make a hay block anyway? Hay bale. Let's have some of these on the ground for me to fall onto when everything goes horribly wrong. Ah, I can't put them on that side, of course. All right, well, maybe if I fall down off of this. There you go. Gives a zombie something nice and soft to land on to, huh? All right, let's go and pick up those doors. Try and erect them up there. I need to make the base at the top a bit bigger. And hopefully with the automated punting of the zombies, I am free to shoot stragglers and take care of any birds. Or so the hope goes. Please test it first. <laughs> how strangely nice of you to care about how it all goes, young. What brought that on? You want them landing soft unless you want your wood blocks getting trashed. I don't want them landing uh, anywhere other than Bob's Emporium. That said, the trap door... Yeah, the trap door is a concern. I need to reinforce the bottom bits as much as I can. Oh, this is going to go so badly. Oh, well. That'll be my problem. What did I come back here for? Those doors, I reckon. Give me them doors. You're a minute away from making another one, but I can worry about that momentarily. I always want you to succeed. I think it'll look hilarious. Good old young. He's always got my back. Even if he doesn't know it. And you don't know it. And nobody knows or appreciates it. But you still know he's got your back. Too many trees. Deforestation is life. Just not for the trees. Yeah, no eggs. How's a man meant to enjoy eggs and bacon with no eggs? Right, let's just make sure I don't accidentally fall into nothing here. Hopefully I set this up correctly this time. I made a terrible mistake with it before. So, steel door with advanced rotation. I think that's what I want. Although it does look like it could go around the side of it, doesn't it? That way I can open it up as a trap door and then disconnect them from coming over here. Of course, on their way up, they end up getting punted. Wait, now I don't think the punter is in the right position. Because I'd want them jumping up before they got here. Hmm. Maybe that means this should be a block. So they have to wait and jump over it, and this should be where El Punto is. Yeah, they get this far. And then before they get a chance to jump over, punt all the way over there. All right, that kind of makes sense to me. Which kind? Ah, would you like to volunteer? Please come up here. Oh, I'll be upgrading these building blocks, that's for sure. Hello, friend. Wait, punter! That didn't punt them far at all. Kind of was terrible at its job. Oh, but it's not in the right place, is it? Because they were, they were walking through this thing. Right. Yeah, no, this thing needs to be placed there first. Whoops. Yeah, bad angle. Less of that. That's why we test, right? And again, I need to put it down from the other side or else you don't get the angle for some reason. Hmm. 
Where's my punter? Super punter 3000. Oh, tell you what, old punter here could maybe do with some repairing before it's big day. Pow. That means you need to be gone. Okay. I'm hoping it angles it up a bit. That's why I put this thing a little bit down. Yeah, da, 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 da. and then come over here, and then also we want a door here. A good, strong, sturdy door. On simple rotation. Good, good. And I think I want one on the other side as well, although I probably want this thing to be a little bit longer. Yes, all right, this better not break my legs. Okay, good. Maybe now I should try it. We got a zombie volunteer? A biker, no less. Hello, biker friend. I want you to speed up a bit. I think they speed up when they take damage. Uh, maybe not. There's this wonderful path to get to me. So the idea is also... Oh, that does not punt anywhere near as far as I need it to. I, I thought they would go flying over there, not just, you know, lightly love tapped over. Hmm. Perhaps my brilliant plan is not quite so brilliant. More punters, you can only have one. Uh, what? Hmm. Well, that doesn't work at all now, does it? Oh, golly gosh. Had it in my head, they'd go absolutely flying. Like, pew, off they trot over to there. Hmm. Hmm, okay, that's not going to work so hot. Maybe occasionally it will punt them really hard. I worry greatly about this whole block, though. Hmm. It might still work to a degree... Nah, nah, if I can't punt them in, what's the point? Okay, now I'm in trouble. My brilliant plan doesn't seem quite so brilliant. And the fire rate on this thing is really slow because that's an intelligence build thing. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Only does once every two seconds. 30% faster fire rate. Maybe, maybe you need that damage thing. Maybe the damage also makes it go further. But I don't have the points to go intellectual. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Pump and over there. Okay, that's not going to work then. Forget an elixir. That's just very expensive. I'd rather not. Okay, back to uh, plan A. Cower on roofs. Who's got the nearest cower happy roof? Yeah. Hmm. Well, when this came to me in my sleep, it certainly looked different. What do I do? Do I take this stuff back? Maybe I'll keep it here. Keep it here as a testament. Yeah, I think I will. I think it can still work. Well, if it's if it's just going to droop them over like that, I don't think so. Must be a way for it to punt over. The idea was I might be able to get all 64 zombies stuck in here so that the tr uh, the Horde Knight has them all stuck there and I'm free to be out here safely. 
but it didn't work out that way. It does work. The point isn't to push off every zombie, it's just thin out the herds so they don't stack up. Yeah, that was also a thought. I could just keep it like that, and then, you know, thin them out when there are too many there, open the trap door, and then have another one. But I feel like on this very, very flimsy... Why is that even damaged? On this very flimsy place, I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's better just to cower on some roofs. So I need to find some good cowering roofs. Hmm. We did make note of a nice... Oh, no, I'm thinking of the burnt forest area. Oh, uh, hmm. Guess we better have a look then. Maybe the bank can help us out. They're going to punch that little foundation before the night is through? Yeah, that's why I need to just sadly cower through tonight's horde night. It must be done. Not a lot of smelting going on here. Just tearing out all of my brass. I guess that's fine, though. Maybe the Umbrella HQ is sturdy. I bet it's very sturdy. It's also very large. I don't know how good the roof is, though. What should we do with that in mind? If it lands on my property, it's mine. Tell you what else is mine. All that glue that I need. Loads of glue, please. Nice to see we've got loads of bones. Also loads of murky water. I'll keep this because I think that's going to be useful for the upcoming uh, bank heist. All right, well, let's get out and find a place to cower for the evening and set it up for cowering. For that, I will likely need a few more building blocks. Not 179 ought to be fine. Glue is my current holdup. Yeah, that's why I am trying to do as much watering as I can. The bones, well, we, we get plenty of bones just playing normally. Hmm. Wait, what in the world is that? And what should it be? I'll tell you what it can be. I can just chug you right down. It's meant to be some of my cobblestones. Not sobblestones. Save the sobbing for later. There we go. Have that take up that spot. Any thoughts on where you'll set up your permanent base after day 25? Nope. Although probably on a 5 skill POI if I can. Or maybe I just level a 5 skill POI and build a base on it. Something like that. I reckon when I get to that stage in the run, I won't be streaming anymore. It'll be something I'll do in my spare time. Meaning I need to come up with a conclusive uh, way to end this run. I don't want it to just peter out because I've had my fill. So I need to come up with something. I'll tell you what I can come up with here. Stealing somebody's corn. As long as there are no more nasty feral bikers stopping me from doing so. If there are boars trying to stop me doing so, that's fine. I could do with the meat from some boars. Not bad in the plant fibers here either, although that's certainly not what we're here for. Could do with one of those Bob's, Boars, and Carl's corn places to get my hands on super corn, though. Super corn sells for super tons of money. Right, what am I doing wasting my time here? Put down Ernie Hecklerock. You might wonder, why did Ernie Hecklerock just keel over and die there? Because we can now do bleeding effect on enemies. Alright, this is me getting distracted, right? What does this do to help me during my current struggles? Absolutely nothing. Get a little job done here and eye up a place to cower for the evening. 
Because I think until the game starts throwing demo zombies at you, they're pretty bad at tearing through big, strong buildings. I mean, look at how much time they had to tear down what I was hanging out on in the burnt forest. It wasn't huge, and it was only partially made of concrete, and they still struggled greatly with it. Hmm. I need through here. Thank you. Also always interested in getting these, and if I've already emptied them, do not make the same mistake. Huh, why does this building feel so familiar? Something about it feels just right. Looks like a piddly little bank. So many gosh darn barrels. Right, you're no ferally bugger, are you? I feel bad having Flon's name in the game now. Doesn't feel good to keep killing her, I'll tell you that. She's giving her all. Just a fetch mission, right? Oh, I shouldn't have uh, reset it. There's an ATM to enjoy. Crumbs, and I wanted that ATM for myself. Well, I wanted to double hit this ATM. Holy moly, there are so many fattles! Are you a feral? Oh, don't, don't, do not leave the area. Getting tired though, getting real tired. That hit me? Holy moly! Fill that one. At this point, I wanted to blow up, take out the other zombies with him. certainly bought something. Can't be killing all these, but I do want the Speedy Gonzales taken care of. This is almost a use case for fire if they didn't have so much health. Alright, my brilliant idea is run and try and lose it. Wait, what are you doing? Absolutely knew I was in there. Oh god. Feral soldier's a problem. Uh. <laughs> 
So about finding that place to cower. At least we're getting plenty of experience with cowering. Yeah, the game does have grenades. They're not quite as terrible as fire. But I don't think I have the wherewithal to make grenades just yet. No. Impact grenades are better, but still no. Oh, hello. No, not like that. Like that. Take the old windowsill drugs. And ask myself, where is the package? I'm glad you're getting your little giggles there, Huff Dud. I'm only doing nervous laughter. That's all I can afford today. What? What? From where? Do you come from above? Oh, uh, they're coming from somewhere. this open window affords us a, an answer. Oh, we ain't done yet. This worked out, strangely enough. Uh, broken legs time. Oh. I don't like being here anymore. Yeesh. I didn't even get to pick the ATM, which I do think is worth my time. But I need peace and quiet to do that. Oh well, oh well. Just gotta eat some losses sometimes. Ooh, hey, there's an ATM. What if I picked both in short succession? now. You seem suspiciously interested in what's going on here. It's just me doing maintenance work on this ATM. Not amazing money, but it's something. Yeah, what was that about ferals not being a problem anymore? It's seeming like a pretty big problem to me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. All right. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, it's another bank. Aha. Uh -huh. It goes away to explain the ATM. And more ATMs. Holy macaroni. And another ATM. Gosh, I wish these people weren't on my case. The jailbreakers last six minutes, huh? God, I might not last six minutes with all this going on. Don't you mind me, Bellcat. At least you have the good grace not to be a big scary zombie. The greed compels me to have whatever is in that ATM. money, one would imagine. But what about the other ATMs? What if I can just have all the ATMs?
We cool? Be very quiet. <laughs> she's worse, she's one big scary BR. The inherently scary BR menace. Right, now that's a good call. You think they'll just let me in here? Hmm. Hmm. If I can get away with just knocking out this, I think I'll be okay. Because I might be able to stretch Armstrong my way into the bank and uh, lighten the coffers of that ATM. Pick the door. Wait, the door can be picked open? Huh, don't know why I didn't even think about that. But, what about this? Yeah, never even occurred to me just pick open door, because not once have I done it. You can't lockpick doors. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, because the doors are special. You need to find the in-game lockpick thing. Is that really true? I feel unconvinced. I also feel watched. Why are you getting up? Because you were feral, that's why. Okay, nobody noticed. Uh, running out of time to find that magical place to cower on the roof. But you know what, looking at this bank, it's pretty sturdy. Maybe this bank is what we do. Oh, Christ. Radioactive fun. Whitey fun. I don't think I'm getting that other one. Oh god. Where did I leave my bike? It's over there, huh? Happen to be out of healing. It's right over there, isn't it? My bike. All right. Well, uh, using my hacking ability has no longer become an option, which is a shame. We were in a good setup there until uh, big green and ugly came out through the roof. Wait, where's my bike? Jeez. At least I retrieved the supplies. Unlike last time, I got the job done. But let's let's get this back, get some healing, and for the love of God, find somewhere to take shelter. We are running out of time for that. I do think the bank might be a pretty good place to take shelter in, though those walls are strong. As long as there's no nonsense on the roof. And if there is nonsense on the roof, I need a backup plan. Job done, Bob. Where's your mind at? Good day. I bet your nose is so high in the air you could drown in a rainstorm. I'd Muffled connector. Too. Well, this is all quite terrible. I'll take the first aid kit though, since I'm in dire need of healing. You're so tight, you probably got burglar alarms on your garbage bags. 
Another fetch job, eh? We like those. I should have some work. If you're as worthless as a side saddle on a saw. Although anything that works with the uh, banks is rather nice, but we're not seeing any of that. I've got some work for you. I'm about to fly mm. off the hand in your hands. That yeah, I will take that. I'm not going to do it, of now. course, but I wanted to take it for now. And to be clear, no restocking with more of those uh, really good hacking candies or whatever they're called. Both banks had good wall hit points. Yeah, I'm thinking that bank, the one that I ran away from. Oh, hang on, I ran away from all the banks. Well, the one where I pierced through the wall. I think that's the one to hold out on the roof for. Right, how about those uh, first aid bandages? First to aid, last to die. Yeah, I do think I need a lot of bandages on me for some reason. Give me the whole fat lot, please. In the meantime, triage some of my other goods. Let's take some food and drink. Just show them down on some grilled corn. The one with the ATM that you picked but didn't loot. Did I pick it and not loot it? That sounds about right. Well, that can't be right. No, the one on the outside, maybe. You did. I did loot it or I did not loot it? Well, that's all right. We're going back there. It's already open, so I can just open it up. Now <laughs> you didn't loot it, of course. All right. Um, yes, let's hold on to some additional stuff there. Ditch the cash in case future me needs it more than current me. Keep ourselves some meds over here. See you. I'm just going to use you before tossing you away. All right. Maybe this time with gusto. Although, where was that bank? I, I don't recall. Can't be hard to find. It was somewhere in that direction. Surely 66, 762 is plenty for the horde. You make a compelling argument about that, but can I actually make more? Drink, you're getting low. I thought I was meant to be drinking as well. See, it's all coming apart. I just wanted to have a lovely, relaxing session. Well, at least I'm not accidentally drinking without my filter on, giving myself dysentery on top of everything else. There we go, slurp it up. Yeah, so when it comes to making 762, it's a no-go because no bullet casings. And even then, I'm pretty low on bullet tips, but bullet casings, you say. I can't make that many of it, but make me about a hundred of them, please. Eh, make me 500 of them, please. And then every other last bit of brass, squeeze out of you. Take that door. It's a valuable building material, don't we know? Put that back on and get back out there. Ooh. Once more onto the breach. He smelted only like 50,000 brass, but now he has casing. Seems like a small oversight. No, it's all part of the plan. The plan involves having a lot of brass. Brass is the key to having limitless amounts of money. Alright, we're not doing this job, and I don't want this job distracting me for a wee while, so let's just remove it from there. And see if we can remember where that bank was, and see if we can get to its roof safely. And the roof is one thing, but of course, having a backup plan for when the bank falls is the other part of the plan. Maybe it is Umbrella. Should we have a look at the Umbrella roof? I mean, that looks like one big building for them to have to chew through. Cannot get over the problems I'm having with ferals here. Nightmare ferals are nightmare, no joke. I think this is where the sledgehammer would come in. The sledgehammer would knock them on their arse just about every time.
I don't even trust that. I want it all the way up. Couldn't they break the glass and break this, though? Right, just in case that does happen. Maybe it's bulletproof without glass. No, no, it's certainly not. Oh well. What's on the ceiling, Wesker? Well, it's not zombies. Building seems durable. Yeah, maybe we could just fly away in the chop. This, this looks bad. I do not like the implications of the, uh, the doorway there. <laughs> Office chair. But maybe they'll never make their way up. Especially if I block it off, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's assuming that I'm free to do so, given the difficulty of this POI. I might open this up and find something that I wish I hadn't seen. Like very high power stairs. Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy. At least feral fatties are the slowest of the ferals. to see the POI like this. Oh, that's good, that's good. It's just a sheer drop. Then it's unlikely that they will stack up here. At least I hope they won't. Maybe I should have made that steel door for here as well. Just waiting for the radioactive white to come running up those stairs any second. I was thinking that myself, that's why I was in a hurry to knock it out. I'm very grateful that it was just fatty, because if it was something much worse than fatty, I'd probably have to abandon ship already. Alright, do the other one as well. Feels like a perspective trick, doesn't it? Surely they won't even think to try coming up all that. Oh, that was my one bit of cobblestone, okay. Yeah, no chance, no chance, cube. I'll be safe as houses up here. Although, yeah, note to self, uh, bring some cobblestone, maybe even cement if I have it to block that off, and then just shoot down the crows and have a lovely horde night up here. Speaking of horde night, night is approaching really rather soon. Wing powers, I think that was another 
Uh-oh. Yeah, I do not like the implication of them breaking the glass down there. I think I'm fine dropping down on that. Although, also, why risk it? Right, so when that fails, when the entire Umbrella Corp comes crashing down, where do we go? Maybe we just run across the street to this building. What even is it? Oh god, it's a white is what it is. Is that the bank, though? I think this is the Kraken book. Yeah, the Cracker book. Yeah, yeah, I should definitely get myself some hay baling going. Where's the bank? I can see it falling on 200% without demos. That's just for one horde. Oh, you can't see it. Okay, good. I don't think we're in demo territory just yet. World is too dangerous. World is far too dangerous. Whew. A lot of thumb sucking going on in this run. Wasn't this the bank? Uh, that's the eternal resting point. Where in the world was that bank? I really should have made a note of it. Quick glance at my fuel to make sure I'm not running into those kinds of problems. I'm pretty sure it was next to this. This is the half-built bank, right? The shop, but maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't be faffing around like this. Maybe I should be getting on with my uh, job of surviving the night. But you're right, I am thinking about that money that I left behind. Uh, what does that look a lot like over on the left? What could that possibly be? I don't know what it is. I've never seen that. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Right, how about I go back, I grab all the goods that I could possibly need for a horde night, make sure I get way up to the top, and suck my thumb for a bit. Although I'm really unhappy not having a backup plan. I think I want Umbrella's HQ disabled there, we all know where it is. It's very obvious on the map. Having a hard time navigating right now. Sure, that's not the only hard time awaiting me. Yeah, I went too far over the wrong way. Also, what? What is showing up on my map currently? The cracker book is, right? We don't want that showing up. Been there, done that. <laughs> Met the white. Got the white's t shirt. So, when things look really bad, where are my hay bales? Thought I said I wanted to run over to the building over there. So, over on the southwest corner, we have some delightful hay bales to land on. Hmm. 
can't miss him. Oof. Can't miss him. And then what, we absolutely leg it over to here? Is this even going to save me? Possibly. Foreboding. Won the horde destroy the blocks? Absolutely, that's why we are trying to make our way. Oh, you mean destroy the hay bale blocks? I don't think so. I hope not. <laughs> There's always hope. Building's made of concrete, that's a great start. Building has a way up top, that's not a great start, but at least it'll take time to get up there. Surprised there aren't zombies here on this on the roof. There probably are. Hey, this is the Cracker Book. The Cracker Book. White! Well, at least on Horde Night, you'll be the least of my problems. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> I should travel lightly so I don't have too much to lose. Yeah, insane level whites as well. They got massive hit points and they only take 50% damage to boot. Such a defeatist. Ah, you're welcome to try, young. You're more than welcome, and you know it. He's also not wrong, though. It is a defeatist attitude. But if you're outnumbered 101, you might be defeatist. That doesn't make it wrong. Yeah, getting killed does lower the game state a bit. At least there's that. Right, what are we going to need up there, and what are we going to not want up there? Let's assume I'm going to die. Maybe even make a storage box known as Death Crate. Now how's that for defeatist? What would I not want to lose? I can't not have my steel spear, right? I need a way to fight things. I can't not have my SMG or lever action. Uh, hmm. Couldn't bear to part with my impact driver. Leave behind the hunting knife. Leave behind the nail gun, right? Things that aren't going to be actively helping me out there. Leave behind the dukes. Leave behind the fancy sunglasses. Leave behind a couple of my lockpicks. Leave behind most of my fuel. Goodbye, cruel world. Better plant those tatties while I have them. I know I have some gear for this, but I'm just going to get these now. I don't have time to be switching out my my goodies. Corn is grown. The rest of this is whatever. <laughs> you can tell from his attitude, he truly has left his Scottish roots behind. Why are you going to say such mean things? A bunch of meanies in chat today. Here I am dealing with a very stressful situation. And all people want to do is say nasty things. How do they manage that? Uh, do I have any spare concrete? I do, I've got a bit of concrete. Let's take that with me. Let's take a bunch of these in case I need to make some cobbly stones while I'm at it. Otherwise, otherwise... 
Here you go, death crate. Take that. I'll keep two on me. Uh, I believe I already have all the ammo that I, well, own. Where are those 762s I ordered? Well, they ain't ready yet. Well, when I'm dead, let's have some 762s to come back to. Of course, the problem right now is the lack of bullet tips. You have lead here, though, so once you're done with that, how about you do make me some bullet tips, please? You're currently making me all of the brass, right? Yeah. Make me all of the bullet tips while you're at it, please. Hmm. It'll be a chill experience if you stay put. Yeah, that's the dream. Which does make me want to bring the impact driver, or a wrench. Couldn't I bring a wrench with me? There's some stuff I want to unscrew up there. Just a low-level wrench will be fine. I'll, I should have time on my side, after all. And I don't want to get hungry and thirsty out there, so let's bring ourselves some... Hmm. Pumpkins on their own don't seem too bad. Plus they give health. Lovely health. I'll bring this yucca juice with me, and maybe not the grilled corn. Yeah, bring the grilled corn. So bring some water with you as well. The crushed juice is for if I have to absolutely pelt it out there. Okay, and uh, just in case I need one, how about a stone axe? The best stone axe we could make, please. All right, now let's let's go marching out to death, shall we? Why does he why does he seem so unthrilled about this? Also, rolls, brass. Once I'm done with this, we are absolutely activating unlimited money strats. I've had enough, had enough of this oppression. Of course, I also need to come up with a horde design that can actually last out this kind of situation. Can you buy or build any version of the shotgun for a backup backup weapon? When it comes to shotgun making, we can make a pipe shotgun, and that's it. We don't even have the knowledge for pump shotgun. We're only at three on pipe shotty as well. Two points available. You know, I could put a point into Boomstick and get access to that, but I'd rather buy my way into that. Hmm, off-topic suggests Kenshi. Oh, hell no, I hate Kenshi. I'm sure there's a great game there if you're willing to learn it. I'm not really willing to learn it. Far too much jank to get that far. You know, I might want or need some repair kits where I'm going. I'll make my two last repair kits, my two last bits of uh, duct tape. Let's have you at the ready. Sad little wrench. Sad little hammer as well. What's the other sad little thing I was thinking about? Hmm, probably just me. Hmm. I was thinking about something. Let me think. I'm stuck up there going, oh god, oh god, oh god. I've got cobblestone, I've got concrete mix. I've got more stones than I should actually really have. Give those back. If you want to buy or use a shotgun, skill points will still be needed to use it effectively. Yeah, but I'd rather buy it. I'd rather buy the shotgun before putting the points in. Uh, stone is a raw. Get in the raw pile. Hmm, raw pile is growing nicely. I like to see that. Any thoughts on EU5 so far? Has it been called EU5? Plant fibers are raw. Get them over there. Hmm, I've actually got some pumpkin seeds to plant while I'm at it. Anyway, no, not really. I haven't been keeping up with its development. I don't tend to follow development diaries for games. I prefer just to have the game when it's out. That makes me a lot happier. Hmm. You know what? I have a single duke for the enemies to uh, break their teeth on as they bite through me. Hmm. 
You'll need something to do. You don't have a lot of ammo for pot shots. Yeah, I'd like some ammo for pot shots, though. How are we doing on those? There's my 762s, see? We got what we needed. Now we got loads of ammo for pot shots. Weird looking base. This is just a manufacturing hub, it's not a base. We don't have a base. <laughs> I tried building one, but it didn't work the way I wanted it to. So we're going for the backup plan, which is sniveling and crying on top of a POI. I had this idea of stacking up quite tall there and punting zombies into Bob's trader area. So they'd be stuck inside there. But the punting wasn't strong enough, so that made me go, oh, uh, hmm. And given that game stage is 138, not a lot I can really do right now, but tremble in fear. 92 shots, enough for three feral green whites. Yeah, assuming I can nail my headshots. All right, well then, let's get over to Umbrella HQ, make ourselves cozy on the rooftop. I better knock out the ladder at the top as well, in case they come in through a window and start climbing their way up there as well. What's your game stage on the umbrella base? Oh, God, heaven help me. Maybe I should put down a lot of traps. Might be a way for zombies to kill themselves and get me some added uh, loot bags. Because they're certainly not going to die otherwise. I took the steel axe didn't, uh, with me, didn't I? Shouldn't have done that. The pickaxe as well. Although the pickaxe I could see having some uses. Nope, nope, nope. The stone axe can do all those jobs and I won't feel sad about dying and losing that. The orange skull is the bonus to difficulty that comes from the location, as in we're inside the desert, that's adding a skull. The red skulls are the inherent danger from the POI itself. So this POI can be more or less dangerous depending on where exactly it is. Yeah, I do think there's something to be said for putting down traps. Maybe catch and kill the errant zombie and have a loot bag to enjoy. Besides, if I die, I lose these traps, and if I don't die, it's not difficult to get the wood back. And maybe I should absolutely laden the way up to my cowering home with these traps as well, so if they do get up, I have a way to notice and run the heck away. I didn't just block my motorcycle route with that, did I? No, motorcycle's on the other side. Kind of fussy on where it wants to place these. I'll give you permission to be fussy. Alright, good enough. So, we know that if things go very south, we can run over to Crackabook over there. And by no we can, we mean there's a white up there. And that white is not happy. For reasons we don't truly understand. Oh dear. Well, this is why I came up here a little early. So, what's waiting for me? Probably not much point in having the silencer on this. Oh, there's something I should have left back at the base. <laughs> Don't have more of those. Let's 
It's going to be a miserable time to discover there's a secret trap door up here. Time to relax and get some wrenching done. I need to keep my wits about me in case there are any vultures coming at me. I can hear the zombies inside there. Just have to hope they... Oh, what is this? The black valve. Let's not do anything like that, shall we? Let's just enjoy a little bit of loot up here and hope that we can live long enough to put it to use. What's the second backup plan for when Cracker Book comes crashing down? I drink all three of my mega crushes and I run for 20 minutes straight. A good plan, don't you think? Alright, before this all starts, I need a water break. I'll be back in just a moment. Uh, all right, ready, set, go. Can we see the game state? Yeah, 138 for game stage. Loot stage on this five skill POI, however. Wait, that doesn't seem... Hmm. Oh, well, whatever. Maybe I somehow broke the uh, the scaling for that. You'd think it should be higher here, right? 138... 136. <laughs> Did someone go and stealthily uh, do in my mod so it does even less for me? Maybe. Alright, so, if everything goes to plan, and it's not a very good plan, 
We sit up here. The zombies spend all their trying time to break. I don't like the fact that I can hear them here. I really don't like that I can hear them right there. Uh, so, crack a book, anyone? Well, this is why I took out the stairs. Okay, okay. Oh, nothing seeming destroyed over here. The game is jittering a bit from the, no doubt, 64 zombies that are spawning around me here. Yeah, we're already 20 minutes deep into this terrifying horde night. Uh, there's a dire wolf down there. Nothing new. We saw a dire wolf on... Our first run, too. Of course, if he wants to go and kill himself on my traps and drop a loot bag for me, I would not object. I, I should practice my run and uh, run my way over to the hay bales technique. Hay bales are down there. That seems like a pretty big target to miss. Get on top and punch a hole so you can see what's going on. Now I know you'd love that. I would not. See, punching a hole means potentially making a hole for them to come up through. If they stack up high or get one of those creepy crawlers jumping up and over. No, I'm happy to just imagine that they're all having a particularly wild session of Settlers of Catan down there. We'll trade stone for sheep. Manette. No, no manettes. Oh, they had a very spazzy way of running out there. I know that that place won't be safe to jump to either because there are windows looking out over to it, and those windows have 10 HP. Gosh, could you imagine spawning on top of me here? I don't think they can spawn up here, though, right? If they do, best thing I can do is run and jump up to here. Simply delaying the inevitable. Mm -hmm. I really hope the whole tower collapses. <laughs> I hope that that's not a way up. But no, good sturdy concrete should keep us uh, safe for a good long time. So we're already an hour deep, we need only wait another five hours and all is well. Except the thing is, even outside of Horde Night, the desert is deadly to me. Boy. I don't like the coppers. Don't like the coppers and their spit. <laughs> yes, sadly, William Birkin took out all of the innards of that helicopter. We can't fly away in it. Thank you, Umbrella Secret Labs. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stick in the desert, snoozer. Maybe for another two Horde Night sessions. I'm not able to scale up fast enough to handle this situation. Having to spend time moving, building up a temporary base, getting local supplies, getting the trader jobs done, does not leave enough time to actually get strong enough to deal with these Horde Knights. And because I can't deal with the Horde Knights, I don't get the fat loot from killing all these zombies. So it's just all round bad news for me. Yeah. Well, hopefully not two more cowering up here, but I don't know how I can deal with these Horde Knights with what little I have right now. Not without doing some uh, massive cheese like the old tightrope bases I see everyone doing. You, know, you basically just build a pillar with a tightrope. They barely make it along the tightrope, mostly falling off, and then you just one by one splat them as they come along. And because they can path to you, they don't rage out and destroy it. 
I'm really curious how damaged the building will be when the night is done and dealt with. Depends on how many, if any, demos are down there, I think. If you want to see a gauge of how the zombies are doing, you could take a look at how they performed against the base that I was in in the burnt forest area last time. They did not do well. Speed in that cat. Wait, you're eating it? Oh, that was to be in a, an actual animal. I can figure out the punter set up by the next horde knight. I believe in you. I would like to figure out the punter setup. It seemed like such a good idea. Take all the zombies, make them someone else's problem, but I think the problem is you need to upgrade your intellectual because maybe the damage on the punter makes it uh, punt them further. I don't know. Maybe I should test that. They're not coming through here, right? Nope. Why is there all of this here? Why are all these holes here? Oh. Oh. What? Not a question I want to know. Why am I seeing artifacting through that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. They're taking out the building structural support. Move to the outer walls. <laughs> yeah, I certainly don't want to fall through any of that. That is scary, scary to look at. What's with these zombies though? Why are they not gunning me down? Are these just idle zombies in addition to the Horde Knight? Still wish I had a scope. If Jake survives, does a horde of spawn, uh, zombies despawn? No. No, they do not. Is that the same dire wolf? I think so. I would like it to die and drop me its fat loot bag. I'm doing my part. It's up to us to take out Umbrella. And then Claire took that literally. Yeah, nothing to worry about. I think there's another hole in the ground there, though. turning Umbrella's hordes against them. I don't know what's even in this building. <laughs> and uh, I suppose if I ever come around to check it, it's already going to be trashed and mashed. Unless I get a mission for it, that'll restore the building. And just imagine how that's going to lag the game, trying to rebuild all of this POI. I need to really think about how we deal with the situation from here on out. I need to get a lot stronger. I do have an incredible money-making plan, and I believe I... Did I just despawn? No, it's just... Uh, spawning distance. I have an incredible money-making plan, but it's not instantly loads of money-making. It's more of a compounding money-making plan. 
so. So, so, so. Gosh, they're all ferals, aren't they? No more normal zombies to be had around here. So much loot to wrench, and all we're doing is sitting on a roof. There's not a lot of loot to have here, and I'm a little scared about going away from the the sides after seeing that happen to some of the support there. Three traders to look for high tier weapons. All three of them could take three stacks of brass. Yeah, exactly. But I have bigger plans for that brass. Plans that will come into fruition after this horde night because my brass is busy smelting out and that's all I need. My Owaka Empire begins with the Owaka seed money and that seed money will come from one stack of brass. Oh. Game wasn't happy about that. I don't think the game overall is quite happy right now. Don't worry, I know a lot about being not happy right now. Two points to spend. Is there anything even worth my time at the moment? Since I quite like being all sneaky, yeah, I could actually see a very good use case for going up in agility. And I shall. Yeah, from the shadows. I never thought I'd be doing a stealth build. In fact, I believe one of the first things I was talking about when I was running this entire, well, run, was how I watched somebody do a stealth run of the game, or at least some of it. And I thought it didn't look very fun. Well, this is not traditional the stealthing, this is just, oh god, please don't see me, I'm going to die stealthing and I've got up my sleeve, oh I want that boar, but I don't think I'll be having that boar when you ramp up, put a wall around the forges so the screamers, uh, screamers can't see you and they die to the spikes you think? I don't know much about how the spawning of those screamers works. Probably pay to find out, huh? Do they know where you are when they spawn, or do they just spawn near you and the game hopes they make their way over to you? Uh, noticing more things kind of crumbling here. Stuff that's not even close to me. Just reminding myself where Mega Crush is on my hotbar. There's a debug command for seeing the structural integrity. I wish it wasn't just a debug command. It'd be fun to just look at it and see this whole place getting redder and redder. Maybe I should go to the other side. <laughs> Here's a thought, what if the bit collapses here and makes them a very convenient rampway or stairway up to my location? That would be a problem for me. Yeah, I would love to know about that kind of stuff for heat. Kane, if you could... Well, you know how to send that stuff to me. I'd appreciate it. Chief Irons! Alive or dead, it's Chief Irons. Even looks like him. El Abominad. Having these pipes, don't mind me. As far as I'm aware, no, you can't just kill off all of the horde, there will always be more spawning. That said, I once saw somebody play a bit of the game, and they mentioned how they killed the horde so quickly that the horde stopped spawning by about 2pm. I don't know if that was an earlier build thing, 
or if that's something that you can do, but I haven't noticed it be possible. Come on, Darewolf, run into my traps or something. I'm not sure if you're worth dumping another 20 odd rounds into, but if you drop goods for me, I would like that a lot. I'd like that a lot less. Before A21, it was normal to do it with uh, 1.0, it was supposed to be possible, but you'd have to kill a lot, and the number goes up. The horde design I had during my normal Nomad difficulty playthrough was rather effective. I did like trenching the zombies down, but I wonder if the numbers here would just be beyond what we could handle there. There's a lot of explosives that... Oh! Oh! oh. That doesn't look good. Don't worry about that. I'm worrying about that a lot. Not least of all how it's making this lovely convenient ramp if any of them decide to shimmy their way around the sides. I'm sure that was already there and you never noticed it. <laughs> Scary situation. I can't claim to be pleased with just cowering up here. I always would prefer to be taking the fight, but this just seems like suicide, especially since my punting idea did not work out. Seemed like such a good idea, though. Yeah, the problem is that's my side for running over to the backup plan, the white infested cracker book. <laughs> yeah, the building is under deconstruction, that's my problem. I don't think that's gotten any worse, there were probably just some weak points where they were too far away from the walls. Some support structural support windows being taken out and things like that. Ooh. All joking aside, the outer walls are going to be fine. you got less than two hours to go. Yeah, I reckon they'll be fine. Like I say, I'm more concerned about them finding a path up to me through making stairway-esque shapes like that. I mean, this is equally strong underneath, right? Yes, of course. Yeah, I might be back here again, that's the thing. Horde Knight 2.0 if I can't make some reasonable defenses. Or have it as backup for when my defenses fail me. So maybe I should make my defenses somewhere near enough by to come running here. Trouble is, so many zombies spawn around here.
Mongo's stretch Armstrong's working. Look at this chump saying if his defenses fail him. Of course. They don't have a chance to fail, but always good to have the backup plan. You know, for uh, for propaganda. We'll definitely have to have a look at this place once things lighten up and we're down there, but my problem is there are still a lot of very angry zombies down there that'll want to chase me once all's said and done. Maybe Spike trap the stairwell all the way down to the bottom, provided there's a staircase left. I don't want to remove either of those concrete panels. Removing the stairway and the path leading to the stairway, I think were great options. Are we sure those hay bales are going to keep me alive? Greatly reduces fall damage. Greatly reduce is not negate. Besides, my bike is over there and the hay bales are over there. That was perhaps an oversight on my part. I think I left some... Yeah, I left that to drop down to us. I might drop down, drop down, run over, and then bike away home. At least I know this is safe. Donk, donk, donk. Get on and leg it. <laughs> this seems like a great time for testing. You'll take a few hit points damage. You won't break or sprain anything. Uh, what if there's not a hay bale left? So, okay, broken legs can still operate the minibike. It's sad about that dire wolf going away. I did want to kill the dire wolf. But it has a way of just scampering when it takes damage. I could just imagine actually having stood on one of those when they gave away and just down I fall. I'd have to very quickly locate a way out. I'd probably end up smashing my way out of a window, breaking my legs on contact, and scrambling back up the ladder that I removed. All right, almost done. See, this is always the plan. I want to go over and check and make sure that the structural integrity on this is still all okay. Looks fine to me. But it really feels like they're just centimeters below my feet. The, this game doesn't have very good sound direction though, so it's never to be trusted. Yeah, no vultures has surprised me. Maybe the game just spawned so many ground floor enemies that it did biter from Brazil. Maybe it spawned so many ground floor enemies that it couldn't actually give me any flyers. Oh, nice. If I'm going to pop someone, I want them to at least drop me the goodies. And I imagine you spawned because I killed the other one, Liara Tassoni. Alright. The sun rises, dispels the great curse. Let's not jump down just yet. Ah. Actually, they'll all lose aggro of me. They'll lose their GPS. So maybe making noise for them to come running to is not a great idea either. The game is 
still lagging like crazy right now. Still like those loot bags before I go away. Hell, that's going to be tier 5 super loot. Oi. With that in mind, let's get the silencer back on you. Hmm. Alright, time to vamoose. I don't think I went directly down that way, though. I think I jumped onto this thing first. And then down onto you. And then hi, everyone. Hmm. Doesn't look that ill done too, does it? Wonder if I could ah sneaky like make my way Whoa Christ. Just fell clean through that. Much wailing and gnashing of teeth, right? I reckon. If I drive away... Oh man, where in the world was that bank? I'm bothered greatly by knowing that there's an ATM out there that I didn't smash open. Or rather, I went to the effort of smashing open and I didn't take the goodies from. Does anyone remember the cardinal direction from here? It was in the northeast section of town. Okay. Hello, chicken. I'd love to have a prowl around and see how umbrellas do. Whoa, white. There's the baker. There's the working stiff store. Ah, there's the piggy bank. All right, maybe if the whole world can just calm down for a bit. I think that guy's still after me, a we touch. You calm down. You join the calm down brigade. We hope that uh, Mr. Greeny Meeny isn't back. Untouched ATM. All right, we make sure you're parked in such a way that we can uh, get out of here with minimal issues. Because that big nasty green guy. Yeah, completely locked. Can't use our wee picks on it. Oh, of course I don't have my impact driver. Did you get the one out front? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did the one out front. This is the one that had 600 or so in it. Yep. Try not to open fire. I don't want to alert everybody that I'm here. All right, are they going to respawn? <sighs> did not mean to boost myself in there, but I did. Of course, I don't have the pickaxe for this. I do want my money. Isn't it on your bike? That's right, I put it in the bike. Well remembered. He 
you just be nice and quiet, okay? Everybody just chill out. There we go. Better durability, better damage output. Yeah, just payday to the ATMs. So, what do you prefer to use? The saw blade? Or the pocket ECM? No, it's not the pocket one. It's the full-blown ECM you need for it, don't you? Hey, well worth it. I'd dismantle them if I had the dismantler, but I don't. All right, let's scrap you down. Let's make sure I get back my goods, get back to the death chest, and then get away from here. I'd like my shovel back. I'd like my axe back. I heard a dog. Dog means food. But I'm not short on food, so don't get distracted by that. Instead, get distracted by your overwhelming desire for money. And evading incoming whites. Like, uh, that wasn't one, but... Felt I could feel the whites' presence. The whites are so terrifying. I thought ferals were my problems, and they are my problems. But then the whites come along going, Oh yeah, I've got like three times the health, and I'm much faster. And I hit like a freaking truck. Are we scared of this? I'm not scared of this. Maybe I should be. Those guys are fast. Like a speedy biker after me. Yeah, the whites, do they come in uh, radioactive flavor? Lime green flavor. I gotta remember, the last time we had speedy biker, he chased me a very long way. And he's still... Well, you were chasing me a long way. Holy moly. Zigzagging about as well. Uh, and there is still biker chasing me the, raw, uh, the long way. That's what I thought. Whoa. And bikers will chase until they run out of gas. Oh, please run out. Right, any more of those breaking into things? What are they called again? It's not hackers. Hmm. Sugar butts. Shock AoE. The drops. Armor crit, natural crit healing. 200% for six minutes is uh, hardly anything to write home about, though. Didn't need my mega crush. Greetings, survivor. Damn right I survived. Oh, I've already taken a job off him. Don't know what I'm playing out. But he has restocked. He's absolutely restocked. Oh, sure. What does he have with my name on it? Solar cells, but that's way outside of what I can afford. He does have... Concrete, which again I can't make myself. He's got an, another mini bike if I felt like it. A shotgun auto turret, you say? It would actually give me use for my shotgun shells. Still no sight. Laser sight doesn't count. I need a sight that actually zooms in. A scope, if you will. Anvil, steel shovel. I want the tarp and the gatherer again. I saw battery bank. Did we now? Yes! Okay, get the battery bank then. Not yet, of course. Hmm. Steel spear at an even higher level, but it's too small a boost to get. Still pump shotgun if we want it. Mm -mm. Some books worth having. Scrapping for fun for one. Lucky looter. Find more junk. Higher quality junk. 
Supercharge, increase the vehicle acceleration and top speed. Isn't that very good? That could well be worth it to finally get a bit more speed out of what we're driving right now. All right, can't craft a scope yet. Sadly not. Sadly not. All locked behind the uh, the thingamajiggers. Right, I'm under the impression he does not re-roll his stock when I save and quit, which is good because that's about what I'm going to do now. Hell yes, get that. Two points of speed, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be very funny if he does re-roll, but I have it on good authority that he won't. Right, what we will do is get back to our death chest, safe in the knowledge that we did not die. Wasn't exactly the bravest of evenings, and we have some loot bags to go and get. Hopefully they don't despawn either. Death crate, come to me. Just give me all of the goods. Oh, I love you goods, and I have missed you. My money, my ammo. Uh, yes, my fuel, my wood, my plant fibers. Da, 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 da. That all seems fine. What's meant to go in here? I'm meant to have some honey and my glasses, right? Where are my glasses? There you are. Nail stuff, come back. You get scrapped. Impact driver, get back at my toolbar where you belong. Same with my knife. And the water that we do have. Let's turn it into better water. All right, there is much, much, much to do, but not right now. This has already gone on for nine hours, just crossed the nine hour mark. Terrifying situation. It's not getting any less terrifying in the desert, but we are going to stay here for a bit until we can somewhat survive before we move on. So I might be here for another two horde nights. Maybe one of them I won't just spend cowering on the roof, but even just doing these low level POIs is doing me in. But that oppression is part of the experience and it's part of the experience I really, really appreciate. So for all my moaning, I'm enjoying this a lot. But it will resume at a later date, not tomorrow. I've got the weekly one-shot. But until I am back with this, it is a cheers and a cheerio.